And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. We're here with Andrew Tate and nine lovely ladies, man. I'm back. <laughs> Wait, is this another? Is this a record? I don't, I don't know, man. But we about to go. We about to have a great show. Tonight. Let's do it. Let's do it. All the night, in my world, city light, ain't it good? I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome to leave. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to serious. leave? Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as good seen. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's time to Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined with a full panel to include Andrew Tate, man. Surprise special guest. Uh, quick announcement before we get into the show, guys. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, where you guys can get all the exclusive behind-the-scenes content from us providing you value as far as, like, you know, making money with real estate, cryptocurrency, using Instagram to, you know, womanize, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, using, um, uh, you know, just getting everything on point, getting in shape. Fitness, fitness. networking. Yeah, man. Fitness, Cr- females, and finances, man. We'll help everything. you with the main three things, credit man, cards. so you guys can improve yourself. Credit card, improve your credit card score, etc. Um, also, we put the behind the scenes craziness on there. If you guys want to see the Blick video with the crazy chick, go ahead and check it out oh, on Patreon. Man. The uncut stuff. You know what I'm saying? Also, by, by the way, we're all safe, guys. We're all safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, yeah, back home. Good. We're good. We're, we're all yeah, safe. We yeah, man. The, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, she definitely wanted to take act, though. <laughs> she was bad as hell. All right, guys. We're also on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podca- Podcasts. Every single platform you guys listen to, podca- listen to podcasts, we are there. Just make sure you wear headphones and or have a screen protector that has privacy because one guy actually messaged us the other day and said that he got fired because they saw him merely watching our shit. Today. So, yeah, that was, was today. today. Yep, that God was today. damn. Okay, yeah. So, guys, protect yourselves, man. The haters are out there. Also, guys, we got a YouTube channel, another one, Fresh and Fit Clips, where you guys can get all the best parts of the show, uh, you know, condensed in seven to ten-minute formats, which for your entertainment, man, you might not have two to three hours to watch the full show, so check us out over there. Also, uh, we have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Fresh Podcast. We're not live streaming on Twitch this week, guys. Uh, we're doing an experiment, but, uh, you know, feel free to check us out over there. And then, uh, uh, Fresh, you want to talk about your vlog channel? Guys, for behind the scenes, man, when we go out oh, in public, outside the studio, and in the studio as well, check out the vlog channel. 100 on the way. Let's go. And, and uh, speaking of Twitch, I, I know I left my stream on, Cherry Gang in the house. But, but <laughs> Yo, <laughs> nigga goes on Twitch, right? Leaves it running. <laughs> just a, a random cheer and some lights in the back. It's like, bro, what? Yo, Cherry Gang in the chat. Let's get <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, Stupid. Bro. And okay. ladies, uh, if it comes to my show, DM me at Aaron C. Poxon. Um, make sure that your page is has photos because some of you ladies DM me with no photos. I don't know why. But and if you be if you're flying this from some other state, make sure you guys uh you know join me ahead of time and let's get it. Cool. cool. Yeah, so ch- hit him up, guys, because he'll be able to feel all the ladies that want to come on the show. If you DM me or fresh, you might get lost in the craziness or in the fresh fit podcast one. Thanks. Um, and then on Instagram, fresh fit podcast, and then uh mine is unplug fit, his is fresh Prince CEO, and TikTok is fresh and fit on tt can't wait for that to get taken down and allegedly our youtube is going to be taken down too so guys get us get it while you can days we got seven days so make sure you subscribe to the channel and and what the fuck (laughs) that's it's a joke okay Uh, (laughs) i'm trying to keep up (laughs) things move fast in the fresh and fit world yeah that is true that is true Uh, you're right uh all right cool so uh super chats and introduce ladies or we can introduce ladies first yeah yeah Yeah. let's introduce the ladies first and our uh, special guests some of you've been here before but for new people that don't know who you are give us your name your age we do for a living and your current dating status. We'll start right here. And your body count. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I'm joking. <laughs> All right, Mariana. Um, I work for Chewy as customer service. Uh, Chewy! <laughs> Yo, wait. Leaving right. soon, but, you know, still working at Chewy. Wait, she left? Yeah, she yeah. left. Mm-hmm. So you leaving too? I'm leaving too. Man. Yeah, I, I've reached my saturation point. They're about um, to find out today, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, 20, 23, uh, status single. All right, that was it. Cool. All okay, right. I'm back again. My name is Zatora. I am a medical assistant and I model on the side. Not no IG model because 
a lot of y'all went at like I didn't like that, but whatever. Oh yeah, you said that <laughs> to me on the okay. Yes, now I remember. Was okay. Like, I was there she was the when it got crazy. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Crazy. Academics. We see so many girls, man. Like we'd be having ten girls in here every single day. I, I forget faces. No offense. <laughs> no, it's cool. But I, I remember. remember. It's cool. You sit right next to me when yes. that ridiculous was happening. Ridiculous. This was happening. <laughs> I don't forget. Yes, it was too funny. <laughs> but I am 25 and recently single. I do want to apologize to the person because I kind of worded everything wrong last time. So I want to publicly say that. Just personally. <laughs> Just want to take accountability for okay. that. Apo oh, wait, apologize too, though. To, uh, too. Like, okay, so... The guy you were talking Yeah, to? like last oh. time when we were talking, like, academics, he took it, like, as if fool was a bum. And when I, like, rewatched everything, it was how I was wording everything. So I, I take accountability you. I could make something so small, <laughs> so big, bro. Yes, okay. he does. Okay. And I didn't want it to go left like that, you not, know? Now you but know how I like... felt. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I do publicly apologize for that. Okay. Right, so wait, cool. wait, wait. So question, did yeah. he um came to you with that or did he, did you come out your own? It was like more so, I was already watching it and then he hit me up with it, I knew it. as well. So it's right. just like, okay, right. I get it, you know? Hey guys, like hold women <laughs> accountable, man. <laughs> I hold myself accountable. He didn't have to hold me accountable. Stop the cap. <laughs> I'm not capping. I'm for real. Like, I tend to, especially, like, within the year, year and a half, I'm really analyzing myself as a person. Dope. I'm getting older. Like, I can't really blame everybody for things that are always happening in my life. Right. I have to take accountability for things that I do for to other people as well. That's good. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to say, this is a girl talking? What? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, a, lot of females, going yes, on. Okay. a lot of females about, don't take accountability. What about you? That's a fact. Uh, my name is Talia. I'm 23. I work as a compliance specialist. Yeah, and I'm single. And you also love Chewy. I love Chewy. <laughs> Guys, you see on the show, right? It messed with Chewy because guess what? It's going to be a lot of single ladies. It's getting super busy at Chewy, oh, so yeah. there you go. I say invest. Where, how long were you with them? About a year. Yeah. Did they expand crazy or net? Crazy. Year? What's busy. Chewy? What's Chewy? They're just constantly hiring. It's a, um, it's a pet food. Sorry. The largest uh, online uh, pet retail store. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like PetSmart online. Mm -hmm. okay. So Chewy had all you the girls. Get bitches. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Chewy had yeah. all the girls. Yeah. Who would have yeah. thought? Because we're saying Andrew's that. Because we have projections, right? We tell our guys all the time, you know, we're looking at the dating trends and we see there are more single women than ever before. Yep. And single pe people tend to buy pets, especially women, you know, because they hey. like that, you know, that, I guess what? <laughs> that companion. So, um, so yeah, so we've been saying, guys, invest in Chewy, and she was working with them for a year, and you guys, you saw a tremendous increase in just in a year working for them. Yeah, it's crazy how quickly they've grown because they've only been around since what 2007. Yeah, they're relatively still to the mic. Yeah, speak the penis, ladies, please. Talk. Sorry. Yeah, they've been around since like 2007, so they've grown like tremendously. They're hiring more than eight years old. Yeah. Okay. They need to cut us a check, bro. They cut us a check, man. They need to cut us a check, man. Get them investors and stuff for real, man. I'm surprised by now. Yeah. Facts. Yes, so I'm Sierra. I'm 30 something. Wait, really? what? <laughs> Hold up. Oh, Where's your base part? 30 what? 30 something. Um, <laughs> I'm 36. <laughs> Yeah. Danger zone. Yeah. No, she doesn't um, even look 36. Yeah, you thank look you. So thank you guys. Look so good. Um, thank you. Don't let her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Where's fuck with you? <laughs> um, paralegal by trade. Shout okay. out to you for having a criminal justice degree. Oh, uh, thank you. Not doing anything with it, but um, yeah. I switched gears to finance. <laughs> I'm a numbers girl and also a real estate investor. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Shout out to you. Cool. Thank you so much. And I your buy current more, dating uh -huh. status? Um, I'm not married. <laughs> okay. I like that one. That's a good answer. Yeah. Instead of saying I'm single, I'm just not married. Yeah, just not married. you know. All right, fair enough. That's a very smooth. That's a publicist answer right there. That part. Uh, right. Okay, Miss, Miss Marine. Yeah. Well, well, yes. Um, my name is Desiree. Twenty three. I just moved to Miami last year. Just got out the Marine Corps. Um, what I do for work, I'm a full-time student, so I'm getting paid from the Marines to go to school. Hey, that GI Bill. I go to the University <laughs> of Miami for free, and I'm majoring in interactive media and minoring in motion pictures. My dating status right now, I'm currently divorced, to be honest with you. My parents don't even know that, so they're probably going to see this right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm single AF. You know? All right, Just so dick pics, guys. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long were you guys uh, married before, um, before we... It was Before. super short. You already know military time. Yeah, military. Like yeah. Two seconds. Let like me guess. He was in the military too. Yeah, he was. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mess. That happens yeah. a lot. Yeah. A lot. You know. Did you divorce him? Yeah. It was like a. Yeah, I mean, it was like a mutual. Who initiated? Somebody initiated. I initiated. It's never mutual. Yeah, it's never mutual. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How's it mutual? <laughs> I, I don't yeah. want you anymore. I right. guess I guess I accept. That's not mutual. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you have to do something that sparks that, though. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't just happen. Like what? Breathe? <laughs> you're breathing all the time, motherfucker. I'm tired of you. Ever since I met you, you're breathing. Right, right. I want a divorce. Stop it now. Yes. All right, fantastic. Uh, Hi. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Um, I don't want to say what I do because everybody always bash me. So don't do it. Um, just say it. No. Say it again. I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. uh, say it with your chest. <laughs> I'm 24. Fuck, my birthday just passed. I'm 24. I'm single, and yeah, yeah. And for some of you guys that don't know, yep, again, she literally broke the, the delusion calculator. She was the first girl to get like a zero percent on there. For some of you guys oh, wow. that are wondering, we have this little segment sometimes. <laughs> yep. where we we pull up a calculator and we ask the girls, "Hey, well, what what's your dream man?" And she described the guy that was six oh five, makes I think uh, over one hundred fifty k a year, sixty k a year. Oh, sixty k? Uh, yeah, it's a sixty k. Damn, you're really doing uh, yeah, <laughs> and, 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 uh, black and all these other things. And yeah, man, he ba she basically broke the meter. She, we couldn't find the guy. She so, scored a perfect five out of five NBA. Yo, we had a NBA. red warning. <laughs> A rare warning is like warning. Impossible. <laughs> and, like I've never seen a red warning. Yeah, bro. They were just like, you know, like zero point zero. And it's based off the U.S. Census, so it's accurate data. But uh, all right, cool. Uh, thanks for being a good sport. Coming back. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amber. I'm a pre-med college student, and I'm. Hey, you don't gotta yell at us. <laughs> I'm just Cuban. Please I'm speak sorry. Up no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Like, speak up. Speak up. You're okay. you're very soft spoken. Oh, okay. And I'm a pre-med co college student, and I'm 19. I mean, 21. Wait, 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 I'm a stripper. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember you. Okay. Your true, you have your, true. your hair curled this time. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm 22 and yeah, I'm single. Cool. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, six, nine. And everyone's favorite Asian. Shout out to you. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. I'm Christine. Um, I'm in commercial real estate. I am also a grad student at UM and I am recently single and 25. Ooh, okay. yeah. ML shout cool. out girl. Yeah, she uh, at that she snuck back in here somehow. I didn't know what happened. Uh, we were doing the show and she just Same. walked in. I was like, oh, Same. okay, what's up? <laughs> uh no, shout out to her. She was a good sport. Last but not least, yes. Andrew fucking Tate. Hey. Hey. You, know, you know what it was? Marco, 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 Marco. Marco. You know what it was? I've been on a few fresh and fits lately, and I thought I've talked enough shit. So I need to not go. And I tried to go out to the club here in Miami. And I was about to order a drink, and I thought, why am I not drinking with my boy? <laughs> so here we are. Uh -huh. So I got a bottle of vodka, go, 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 go. and I'm here. <laughs> there we go. And you know, happy, you know happy, what the man. problem is, bro? What? You don't go to club with me, bro. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, you're just too cool fresh. I don't want to be in that corner like side man. <laughs> So uh, I have to go by myself. And everyone's just coming up to me saying, where's Fresh? Where's Fresh? <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, oh, i got to get back on Fresh. Good shot from Tate. <laughs> Good job from Tate right there. Um, all right. So I'll read these chats real quick, and then we'll get into the first question we got a video to react to. And we may open up the phone lines with y'all. Let's see. May. Possibly. We may we may do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. So five bucks, Black Wolf, Inc. We are the road to a milli. Let's go, Brandon Bebe. It's over uh, 9,000. It's over 9,000. And then it's time to... Uh, <laughs> I got you, bro. Yeah, you guys really love those anime sound effects. I got you guys, though. Uh, Ten bucks, Mr. Williams. They say when a real woman enters a room, you notice her style, poise, and glare can steal your heart. So I think to myself and look at the two ladies we have tonight and say, damn, Matt. Damn, then what the hell are they? Okay. Uh, Fifty bucks, Kenny Lister. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Uh, Lester. Uh, 25 bucks. If for any reason you guys were looking to explore new streaming opportunities, I strongly consider Fight TV 8, 8 mil apps, all TV boxes, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fights, free TV and PPVs. Yes, yes, I'll DM. Okay, just shoot me a DM at Unplug Fan. Cool, we'll, we'll talk it. Uh, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> you guys are hilarious with the names, bro. Gentlemen, I have top hats and monocles for each of you to add to your cap collection. Where do I send them? Uh, you got the P.O. Box? <laughs> yeah, P.O. Box. Uh, honestly speaking, bro. He's going to pull it up and give it to y'all. If you want the P.O. Box, it's going to be literally, are you ready for it? Literally, P.O. Box 118. Three five, Miami, Florida three three one zero one. Actually, I'll, I'll just send it to Chris. 
All right, there we go. We'll put it on the screen. Yeah. Uh, 10 bucks from Gooseland. I'm finna get some sleep soon, so I'm going to catch y'all on the replay. But y'all stay up and stay dangerous. And for the haters out there, just know that ain't no one worried about no seven days. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's cap, bro. It's cap. You know, uh, Ian Ajal is up next from Minnesota. When will y'all have an episode where you listen to upcoming artists? I got bread if you give us a chance to listen. Mm. Uh, potentially, man. Uh, we got a really book schedule for this uh, for this month. We got some interviews that we're going to do with some other content creators and some traveling. So we will see. Question for all the beautiful ladies. Do you prefer light skin or dark skin men asking for a friend? Okay, you know what? We'll go around the table real fast. Just say dark or light. And we'll start here. Dark or light. <laughs> to the mic. I don't know. Now you got to say one or no. the other. Yep. Said no. <laughs> There's no wrong preferences. Dark or light. Both. Oh, look at that. Nah, 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 nah. If you had to pick one, don't count one or the other. Ah. You said you want kids, this? right? One or the other. What's your preference? Oh, my God. <laughs> Put you on the spot now. I'm going to say dark. She okay. said dark. Okay. Mm. BBC All my winner. sad niggas out there. Yeah. Okay. BBC on the way. Y'all got a chance. All right, what about you, Miss Jeremy? Dark. <laughs> no shit. Okay. <laughs> dark. Not surprised? Dark meat, yeah. <laughs> Dark. Damn. Hey. God's children, because look, wh whoever, you know, is for me. Bruh. You are so beautiful. It's kind of crazy. She's yeah. with her publicist Bro. before she yeah. came on the show. She, in Bro. other words, she wants to be black and named Tyrone. Fair enough. Right. <laughs> what about, uh, that's, that's my what about you? Branding. I like chocolate. Dark. God damn. Yeah. What about you? I really like both, but light before dark. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Someone okay. likes that vanilla. And then what about you? <laughs> I've dated both, but typically it's dark. God damn. damn we, we got a bunch of, of, of three letters, letters on the show. Three letters. Okay. BBC. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Yo, a bunch of night riders on the show, man. God damn. Sorry, Andrew. Fresh. Uh, you're you're going to clean up fresh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fresh. Fresh. No. You're going to clean up. White lion. I'm a man of God. No, yeah, that's my line. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that line. I'm a man of God. That's my line. What do you mean? <laughs> Nolan Baptiste, uh, fresh and fit. Could you guys come out with a shirt saying "Facts don't care about your feelings"? Ooh. Eventually, oh. Vladimir, ovaries are real. We 20 need bucks, a seven-day shirt. Ooh, potentially. That'd be yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, guys, think about that. We haven't got any correspondence from YouTube to our email account, so it's cat, bro. Like we haven't got anything. Our lawyers took care of it a while ago, bro. Charles Ornelas, uh, yo, love you guys. You guys keep me on check with my life and the ladies. Cool. Ten bucks. Life of Jake's move. This Jake's move from Mississippi. Hey, thank you, bro. Just happened to say hi to the ladies before I hit the late night shift. Also, just signed up for Patreon. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. We'll That's see you on gotta, Sunday. I called in. Yeah, I called in earlier. Shout, Shout out to you, bro. Jake's move. Uh, guys, for for those that are wondering, we have a big Zoom call this Sunday, eight p.m. All patrons are going to be invited. We're going to have a big ass Q and A. Two hours. We're going to answer everything related to girls, dating, Instagram, uh, cryptocurrency, real estate investing. As you guys know, me and Fresh are both real estate investors, right? Uh, we're going to talk about uh, fitness, right? Getting in shape. You're tired of being a fat ass. Where I'm going to tell you guys about how to count your calories, macronutrients, how to bodybuild, get look aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? For, you go from pathetic to aesthetic. I will help you with that. I just coined that just now. Anyway, uh, DL Sale. <laughs> oh, man, God. House, man. Yo. Hey, yo, DL Sale. DL in the fucking house, baby. Don't he goes, somebody go, owes go, me a drink. Go, go. Uh, Miss Speak into the mic. Yo, chat uh, inside 300 meters. All Marines can light your ass up. So look out for Miss Devil Dog. Okay. Shout out to uh, DL Saint, man, in the house, by the They're way. supporting, man. Yeah, behind support the, for real. Behind the scenes. Real G. Uh, mm -hmm. A day with Lance. Five bucks. Greeting Mr. Tate Meyer Fresh and Conehead Chris. Oh, no. <laughs> keep doing your part, society. You guys have helped me through a lot. Much love from Louisiana. Thank you. Ten bucks from Kevin Fu. Or Fu? Oh, wait, Fu. Andrew just bought Hustlers University, but the big question is, what brand are the shades you always wear? Been looking for the longest. Thanks. You're never gonna find them. Oh, I'm not even wearing them today, but you're never gonna find them. You're never gonna find that brand. They make 250 pairs per year, and you have to find them by accident. I found mine at Blue Marlin Beach Club in Ibiza. I was sitting there spending twenty five thousand dollars on fucking lunch. And I found some nice sunglasses. So everyone always says to me, hey, I want your sunglasses. Like, bro, you got to go to the fucking, you got to go get ripped off for lunch like I did if you want my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about Hustlers University here a little bit later, guys. We're going to we're gonna actually put the link in the description for y'all. Uh, it's an excellent course. We'll break it down a little bit for you guys later on in the show. Resist the slave mentality. Five bucks all the way from Great Britain. Shout out to Tate and Myron and Prince. I hate that girl. Myron. Uh, Myron. Driving BK from London on a night out. 25 mile per hour speed limit. Fail society. God damn. Um, and then uh, DL Saint once again, and then Ambience for the Soul. Shout out to the GOAT, Mr. Tate. Every girl that says she's an entrepreneur, you should make them spell it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, uh, oh, Lena, man. Lena, 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 Lena,
<laughs> you know, Alina, half the letters, right? Half the letters, ready? Spell the, the first half. First half. You got it. We believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> e first four. <laughs> you. Wait, is it E U? Is it? It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's right, all right. E, you, all you right. Oh, God damn. Yeah. Yo. You say you're a business uh, owner, babe. You're a business owner. Yeah. 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 Lena. Yeah. I gave you a chance and you said EU. Is, is it not? Uh, e N, 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 N,
I don't know, bro. Every time like, anyone says the name Fresh and Fit, there's some kind of beef, some kind of hate. And I come on this podcast a lot, and they're like, hey, did you hear that Fresh and Fit, uh, he drive by this motherfucker? I'm like, what? what's going on with you both? There's always someone has beef with you. Why? Right. I don't you're, know. Too, you're too handsome, Fresh. Is that what it is? <laughs> you're too rich, flexing the Lambo in the club. Bro, I'm a nice guy, bro. Nice I don't, I don't guy. know why. Something's happening. I don't know what it is. You're both, you're both too, too successful, too smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I mean, man, you know better than us, man. People be hating on you more than us. Yeah. <laughs> nah, everyone loves me, bro. Uh, <laughs> now, now they do. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, you know, people people going to say what they want to say. You know, we're just going to keep making the content. And it is what it is, you know? Yeah. yeah. You can't even defend yourself anymore without criticism. You know, when people cri- people criticize you and then you fight back to protect your name. And they're going to say that you're a fraud for protecting yourself. I want your next intro music. Next time you bust out some old music, you got to put the, the criticize song on. Yeah. Who, 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 who sings that? Alexander O'Neill or something criticized. You know that song? How's it go? I ain't singing for you. Don't try that one. Don't try that one, Fresh. Don't try that one, Fresh. That was so well, close. He, well, he close. A, yeah, he, he doesn't know any American pop culture. Like, if you ask him, hey, have you seen this movie? Like, Wolf Wall Street. No, bro, I never saw it. He just came to the United States a couple years ago. No, man. Yeah. This guy, man. Well, let me six years. No American pop culture, man. The Wolf of Barbados. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay, all right, cool. So, first question for ladies. First question, ladies. We'll start here. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. She went first. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we're going to do it anyway. Okay. So. There, we're in Miami, right? And obviously, there's parties everywhere. There's celebrities. Mm-hmm. You know, you might end up at this club. Next thing you wake up at a celebrity's house. Mm-hmm. And you don't know what's going on. It's a question for you. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had an experience where you were dating a regular guy? Things are going fine. You randomly end up at a party. You meet a celebrity. And you see a whole new world. And you're like, wow, this is crazy. But you understand how their life is. And you're battling between the regular dude mm-hmm. and a celebrity. Mm-hmm. And we'll start right here. So you're asking which one I would choose? Basically, yes. Okay. And if you understand mm-hmm. how his life is, like the rock star life mm-hmm. versus the regular guy's life, what do you prefer? What? Yes and why? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You, but you started off with the regular dude. Yeah. I feel like home is home, you know? Like, you need to know where home is and nothing's like that. So you would stay with the kind of like boring lifestyle, regular guy that you want to be with versus the fun, crazy lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, I get with a regular guy. Really? Yeah. Because I don't, I seem crazy, but I don't even like going out. Like I don't. Same. I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I don't really like going out. I don't like the party life. It's like too much for me. So I would be with my my regular guy. Maybe, you know. He's he's my guy for a reason. Do you meet regular guys in the strip club? Huh? No. That's why I'm single. I like Yeah, I meet my regular guys, but I don't want no regular guys. I want no other guys. I just want to be by myself. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay. What about you? Um, it kind of depends on the personality too, but uh, I don't really like the attention that celebrities get, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't pick the celebrity unless he had a really good personality. So yeah, probably Stop the regular, cow. <laughs> <laughs> most likely the regular guy. Okay. What about you? I don't know. It just depends. I feel like when I get older, I'm probably going to want a regular guy. But right now, I don't want a regular guy. All right. Because I want to party. Yeah, there we you go. Yeah. Shit. I like the honesty. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Regular guy? Absolutely not, because I'm not a regular girl. Mm-hmm. But um, in terms of who, like, what kind of guy I would like to be with, obviously have that bougie side, because, you know, I'm kind of bougie, but still be humble. You know what I mean? Like, basically, you have to be on my level or higher type of thing. Okay. And that's my vibe right now. Question for you. Yeah. Have you ever been at a celebrity party? I have. Okay. How was the vibe? How was the energy? The vibe was immaculate. It was fantastic. Immaculate. So, what, what But I had to sign an NDA, so I'm not going to say nothing. Aww. <laughs> Feel me? Those Ooh. are the vibes right now. Yeah, we know. I know, because I saw you there. No, you didn't. Yeah, <laughs> Where? Don't say it. <laughs> yo, yo, don't don't test don't right. I'm it. telling you right now. I'm don't test it, right. I know a little something. <laughs> All right, what about you? Well, it's the balance for me. I mean, I quit Hollywood a long time ago. So I know what it's like on both sides. So I mean, I can be with that celebrity dude, but he just has to have that human moment. Can you can you break down what the Hollywood side is versus the regular side? Because I feel like most people 
they kind of dance around it, but they don't really know what it is. Can you break it down? It's it's a lot of groupies. It's a lot of, I would say, um, you know, people that want to get to know you in your circle, a lot of clout chasers, mm-hmm. um, you know, just a, a lot of people that you may not know that want to just be around you because of who you are and what you do. And I guess this, you know, this, um, the image you perpetuate. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if that person is, you know, solid to the core and has that human moment, I can vibe with him if he's a celebrity. Okay. Long as when those, you know, cameras goes off and, you know, you put your phone down, we can chill and we can vibe and we can like connect. So I'll do either one. See, fresh is done. You're fine. It's done. Put your phone down, G. Right. Yeah. <laughs> put the phone down you. sometimes. Nigga, I'm a nobody, right. bro. Yeah. You, you know what's <laughs> funny? I think we need to, time you, down. you know what, though? You kind of need to reword the question because what, what girls will do yeah. is you'll ask them a question like this and they instinctively understand that the chance of a relationship with celebrity is zero. So they're saying, oh, I'd stay with my guy at home, da da da. But not, none of these girls are fucking celebrities for a relationship. They're fucking a celebrity to fuck a celebrity. Mm-hmm. So the real question is, would you still fuck him and then go back to your man? Because when they're saying, oh, yeah, I, I'd choose my man, or you choose your man to pay your bills and stay at home and cuddle with, of course you would, because celebrity ain't interested in that, right? But you might still he's get, trying to boom, boom. Yeah, he's trying to boom, 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 boom. But you might still sleep with the dude. You might still sleep with the dude. Now they're all laughing. Look at them. Look at them all laughing. They're all like, yeah. He's right. <laughs> Ain't no cop man. No, cop yeah. man. Listen I, to Bob Marley. But no, it's true. It's true. Women, women, women Myron have, Marley. True. Myron Marley. Myron Marley. <laughs> women have no intention of trying to get a celebrity to be loyal. They just want to sleep with the dude. So now they're sitting going, oh, yeah, I choose my man at home. Choose him for what? <laughs> that's, a, that's such a very good point. Choose him for second place. That's choose a- him Choose him for some sloppy puss that's full of some fucking other dude's. Bro, oh, oh, that's what you're choosing him for. Triggered. <laughs> Triggered. Can we say that on YouTube? Yes, you uh, can. Okay. Yes, sir, I'm, you just, can. I'm just checking. I'm just, thinking, I'm just checking. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's uh, who's up next? Oh, it's me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I mean. He's he's really right. Like that was you'll go fire. You'll go fire. When girls are dating though, they're looking for a relationship. For most girls. Sorry. Sorry. When girls are dating, they're they're looking for a relationship. So yes, so yes, you want to stay with the regular guy because he's more likely to have a relationship with you. And yeah, that's I'm glad you agree. Yes. Thank you, young lady. I've got an ally on the panel. I'm getting there. One by one, I'm going to make friends. Already, I can tell you're a very intelligent, balanced young lady. So you're my ally as well. Thank you. Let's go get all these others to like me. And then once I've conquered the panel, we'll conquer the world. Right. Um, honestly, I'm so used to regular. I've always been like regular guys and stuff. But I wouldn't mind you know the fun side the hollywood that's side because right. right. that's something that i'm trying to like pursue myself anyways yeah. so if i can you you really sometimes can't have both unless that person is matured enough to be able to balance it but i mean regular you mean if he allows it, it yeah if he allows it but i mean so regular guys are okay regular guys are okay hollywood is like really fun i want to Jump into the Hollywood. <laughs> I'm gonna go lie. I want to oh. jump into the Hollywood. I mean, it's really dangerous territory, but hey, right, long as he sold his soul, he could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Mar, don't say anything. <laughs> oh, Raiden in the house. <laughs> Raiden's in the oh, house. No. <laughs> Take your soul. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's up next? Uh, me. I choose a regular guy. Um, because there's no promise. I mean, right. it might be fun with the experience. <laughs> but there's no promise. <laughs> right. Uh, so you want a fun yacht parties, mansion parties? Yeah, it's like right. for a while though. But then how she depicts it, like with groupies, clout chasing, that's a lot of energy. You gotta be willing to dish out to live that lifestyle. Yeah. Some yeah. people are not cut out for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? okay. that is true. Perfect. Go back around now, because you, you got my question before I got to. <laughs> so have you ever been at a party, right? And either you or you seeing girls <laughs> do the most at those parties. It's my people. Fresh. We'll start here. Have you been to a celebrity party? Yeah. No. <laughs> you the most? Yeah. No, I haven't been to that experience okay. yet. The spirits tell me you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the ancient spirits. <laughs> the ancient <laughs> spirits. <laughs> ancient spirits knew when the hose was. I'm catching the lies in this dream catcher. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity party? No. Known people? Yes. And like, a lot of people just crouches. Like, not known, like, very much, like, oh, around the world, but, like, known probably in the neighborhood or something. Yeah. And people just want to hang out with that t- particular person because everybody knows them. Everything they do is cool and stuff. And it's just be like, y'all doing too much. Like, that's just how I feel. It's like, people are people. Okay. <laughs> how about you? 
Um, I don't even know if it's a celebrity party because I was with a guy who was a friend of a friend of a friend, but it was like a mansion party. But girls weren't. I didn't see any girls doing the Tonight, most. Please. Okay. Just, sorry, I didn't see any girls doing the most. Just cool vibes. Yeah, just cool vibes. Yeah, I mean, I was with my man, so I was just paying attention to him. So, mm. yeah. Where's your man now? Uh, he. He the was, spirits got him. He, he wasn't ready for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't ready for a relationship. So, okay. Yeah. No, no man's ever ready for a relationship. Yeah, yeah. that's what his uh, excuse was. Four kids. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Definitely have. I have. I have. Definitely and one must place. know. How, oh yes, I have. And you have to know how to conduct yourself, though. You know, you can't. You can't get lost in the sauce in the one in, in that crowd. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Do the most in terms of what? You know what I mean. Because I certainly am the one to do the most. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, what I'm saying? Well, what do you do? I'm just extra as hell. I'm from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. BX. That's just the Living life. Good <laughs> park on, as, as, at, in terms of celebrity parties, if I've seen girls do the most. It don't have to be you. Just the like way you've seen. I haven't really noticed anyone else okay. besides me. Wait, you from the Bronx? <laughs> yes. How many years? Mad years. I was born in Jacoby Hospital. Okay. That's him talking, by the way, not me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the guy behind Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, the girls from the Bronx, uh, build, they'll build different, so, you know. This That's way. right. Okay. New York. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. She's wearing Tim's right now as we speak, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing Tim's as we speak. Bing bong. We had to. We told her, "Hey, take the Yankee hat off," and she fought us for it. She said, "No, like, no, I'm taking this shit off. I ain't going nowhere. Nah, bro. You see these thumbs outside? Yeah, B. I'll take my Yankee hat. Big Nobody, big big okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Yes, I have. You know, they titties out and they doing shots and stuff, and like, you know, they want to get next to the celebrity. I'm get next to the mic, please. Yeah, and. Yeah, I don't know if they're trying to do it to get wiped up because you can't get wiped up by doing that. They ain't trying to get wiped up. Or no. or they trying to get viral because they dare. They're trying to get virus. Catch the COVID. Oh, they are. I got the COVID. That chick spit on me the other day, bro. I'm 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 dying. Yeah, I know. Right? I'm, I'm infected. Ooh. No. <laughs> she spit on my arm. It's okay. I think I'm all right. <laughs> I went to Mexico to get the cure. <laughs> <laughs> you? I'm done. <laughs> I've never been to a celebrity party, but I don't judge. If they want to do the most, go ahead. Like, Why the <laughs> fuck you lying? <laughs> Why you always lying? You doing you. I, I'm, yeah, you I'm doing one you. to do the most, too, if I was at a celebrity party, but I don't judge. Okay. So you've never been to a celebrity no. party? No. All right. Oh. Okay, so. Stop. <laughs> you, got, you, you have time. <laughs> exactly. You have time. Exactly. Uh, what about you? I never went to a celebrity party. You got invites though. Huh? You got invites though. Uh no. But huh? I in the club, like like dancing, mm. I was in their section or in their party room. Oh, okay. And of course I do the most because I want that money. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Splits, I'm jumping. I put my leg behind my, my oh, head. Oh, snap. Yes. Okay. I just Hi. want the money. You know, it's the job. Girl. 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 It's the job. Fair enough. <laughs> How you live? I've been to one. Um, I feel like there's a collective, like, respect. Like, you know, that everyone kind of has. And I, the one I went to, they, they took everyone's phone. So it's kind of like, you're not trying to show anybody anything anyways. So. Was there yeah. an NDA? No. Nah. Mm. I don't. I don't think it's one. I think it's like. Five. Do you do quinceañeras? You? Me? Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna do it. I'm just fucking. Around. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Andrew. <laughs> I just said you're a celebrity, bro. Uh, I know, no, I, I know I'm not don't. a celebrity, bro. I'm I, know, not a celebrity. I know you're not. But in the yeah, eyes of the, the crowd, in you Europe, are. He is. How, he is. how do you see parties when you hold parties or when you go to parties? Like, what do you see girls do for the most part? I think that girls are very, very selective. And how they view a man and his status and what they expect from said man. So when you're asking girls this question, it's kind of a loaded question because they know the dudes they can get a relationship out of. They know the dudes they can convince to marry them like a dumbass. And they know the dudes where they can just sleep with him for clout. And women are smart enough to look at a guy and say, which, what am I trying to achieve from said guy? Mm -hmm. You are a very inexperienced, stupid female. If you look at a, a rock star 
or a famous guy and say, he's going to be my boyfriend. We're going to watch Netflix. No, <laughs> they know that's not going to happen, but they nope. still, they, no, no, they know. So they have different objectives and different goals based on the quality of the man. Mm -hmm. So when you talked about the relationship thing, of course they all chose the punk at home. But the truth is as goal driven individuals, right? They all have different goals, different objectives, depending on the man they see. And they'll probably try and achieve all of them as in stay with the dork at home. And fuck Chris Brown because these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game. Fire. Okay, all right. So we got, uh, I'll read the super guys, then we got a video to react to, guys. Uh, all right. We got uh, Put Ninja Fresh, or no, oh, apples during the week, pineapples on the weekend. All these ladies are haram. Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's very true. Um, I got the sound effect. Haram. Haram. <laughs> haram. A Cameron Schlit, uh, Schlitzler. Uh, I know I probably butchered that. Fresh, what happened to the sugar baby whose bills you were paying? <laughs> nigga, she Aww. found a richer nigga, bro. Nigga. What do you think? She's gone. I don't pay nobody's <laughs> bills. What are you talking about, bro? She left it for a richer guy, bro. Uh, easy money hicks. Uh, $20. Uh, forever supporter. Haters gonna hate you guys. Gonna create. Y'all bring so much valuable content to the YouTube space. My favorite is the finance content. Going to the 500K party Friday. Bring in some baddies, too. Absolutely, bro. Thank you so much for the uh, support. Easy Money Hicks. We definitely um, have a Money Monday episode, which we give you guys a lot of heat on there. Um, and if you guys check out last Monday's episode, we talked about Hustlers University on there with uh, Andrew Tate. It was lit. Uh, you want to talk about that? Tell them a little bit about it. Yeah, and, uh, sorry, guys. The uh, party is uh, Saturday, by the way. Yeah, December 18th. Uh, December 18th, guys. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. We can, I, I can quickly interject and explain what Hustlers University is. Hustlers University is a modern wealth creation method. So we have 18 professors teaching 18 different ways to create wealth in the modern world. Some of the things your parents told you about getting rich and creating wealth is no longer true. Some of it is still true, but some of it certainly isn't. Some of the things, I, some of the things they said about sit there, save money, put it in your pension, 401k, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work anymore. It's a lie. It's a trick because the generation above us decided to rinse the system and, and, and they got very, very filthy rich and left a whole bunch of people with no hopes. You need modern wealth creation methods. You need a new system, new ways, new paradigms in regard to generating wealth. So myself and a few of my other professors from the war room, all multimillionaires, we explain to you exactly how anybody in the modern world can actually genuinely generate wealth, starting from absolutely nothing. All you need is time and a phone. That's what else the university is. Bang, bang. Damn. Yeah, man, guys, times have changed. Making money online is a new way to do it. And quite frankly, I agree with the guys. They printed 40% of the U.S. currency in circulation last year, okay? Fiat currency is not what you want to do. Holding money in the bank and saving money, those days are fucking done. done. If you don't dump your money into assets that are going to generate some kind of dividend to you, whether it's stocks, real estate, cryptocurrency, something, you are going to get fucked up, man. Hyperinflation is here, guys. So, uh, yeah, man, get in there. Learn how to make money. It's only, what, 50 bucks? It's 50 bucks. Oh, God damn yeah, it's, it's, it's actually massively, massively undervalued. And it's massively, massively un undervalued on purpose because we're looking to build an army of people in there and we're hiring people from there for other jobs, other uh, some of the other projects we're running. We're looking for specific talent. So it's the best $50 you could possibly spend. If you're sitting here and you want to make money and you don't listen for, to a millionaire for $50, you're literally an idiot. You'll go to school. People will go. To, listen, people will go to school and spend a hundred grand to listen to a professor about business, and that professor has no business and no fucking money. So when exactly. a so when a millionaire says, "I'm going to teach you how to make money for fifty dollars," and you don't bother to click yes, okay, you deserve the slavery which will be bestowed upon you. You deserve to be poor. You deserve it. That's Facts, a fact, bro. bro. Look, that's coffee for five days. You spend fifty bucks. Yeah, you learn to make money, so that pays for the coffee every yeah. single day. And if you guys don't like it, you can cancel. But they have like a ninety-five percent yeah. plus yeah. retention yeah. rate, man. So, uh, so get in there, guys. Link is below. Uh, okay, started HU two a couple days ago, and I, all I could say is thank you. Resist the slave mind. Facts, bro. Uh, okay, uh, Twan B. Message deleted. Probably made fun of Chris's hairline. Uh, we got uh, Quasi Apaya Kubi. Andrew, gotta wear your glasses less, bro. There's a killer look in your eye that literally I'm trying to imitate in the mirror, but can't. What a badass, bro! I've been around. I've had a hard life. I've seen trauma. You know, have you ever heard the have you ever heard the saying "soldier's eyes"? So there's a saying that they they use in Europe, and it's a soldier's eyes. And they say they were talking about the men who went to World War II, and they came back, and there was something different about their eyes. Like all the bad things they seen was etched onto their eyes, mm -hmm. and it's a real thing. If I ever have beef with someone, I can look him in the eyes and know if he's about it or not. I can look him in the eyes and go, "Do I have to kill this motherfucker? Or is he talking shit?" Mm -hmm. There's a there's a real thing. You're not going to be able to imitate being a G. You have to go out there and you have to suffer as a man. You got to go through trauma to be a G as a man. Too many dudes out here are trying to imitate. That's what all this fucking shit is. You're talking about game. You're trying to be something you're not. The real game is to be the man. That's the fucking game. So you're not going to ever have a killer's look in your eyes until you've done it for real, my friend. I've been in, I've been in 87 professional fights and far too many outside of the ring and cage. So you've got a lot of work to do before you can look like me. 
a fact. So brother Tate in the U.S., we call that the thousand yard stare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thousand yard stare. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, adversity builds men, guys. Uh, all right. Who did your fresh? Fresh should I cancel it except for the 18th to the 19th? Okay. Right. Keep it, nigga. <laughs> uh, okay. Jay Ross, uh, success has enemies. Protect the brand, my guys. FNF life haters need jobs. Keep them employed. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, cra- it's still crazy to me. Oh, we got the Federal Bureau of Investigation in the house, aka the FBI. FBI. Congrats to our colleagues, Walton Meyer and our 500K. Continue expanding the network and attracting America's finest criminals. Mr. Taylor's chat before the 500K party will have 52 coffees waiting for you. This nigga, bro. You guys didn't say anything back to this guy, the FBI? It's fine. I've, I've spoken too much to the FBI in my life. I don't, <laughs> I don't do any more of that. <laughs> Yo, know, Tate, you ever chill with the singer in a, out there in Romania? She's bad AF. She is bad, but she was bad a long time ago. She's an old lady, man. She's got kids, and she's small now. She's like, she's like five foot two, and she's had two kids and stuff. Don't 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 let the Photoshop what, fool you. What was her hit song? I think I've heard one of her. She tweets. has a bunch of dance songs. She's been making dance songs. Mr. Saxo beat? No, that's that's uh, Alexander Stan. Tristan fucked her. <laughs> yeah, Tristan, listen. T, My nigga. T, yeah, T messed her up. He smashed but, a girl. Listen, to Mr. Saxo, Mr. Bro, Saxo. Do you know how me and Tristan got so famous in Romania? There's a girl called. You can look this up. Bianca Dragashanu. Yes. Oh, uh, newscaster. She right? was a newscaster for the number one TV channel in in Romania, and she's married with a kid, and she got caught having an affair with my brother. Yeah, the, the that was it. Yeah, they got they got caught together, and since then, then Tristan became like the playboy of Romania, of running around being a fucking little fucker. So that's the beginning of it. T's, T's tearing through all these celebrities. I'm just at home reading the Bible, bro. <laughs> I don't know what you all think about me. I'm the good guy. I don't do none of these things. Right. I don't do none of this. This is right. Tristan's business. I could never hear that song the same now. <laughs> Tristan, you ruined it for me, damn it. I'll, I'll get T on the clouds. I'll get T to send you some pictures of them chilling in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Otis Willington. Uh, Petches in many states. States have trillion dollar deficits. Yeah, facts. Uh, Mass G, that pre med college girl ain't no angel like she's trying to make it seem. I know her from college and she sucked up my homeboy in the back of his car. Wait, what? Who is that? Who's talking about? That's me. <laughs> what the fuck? Drop his name. What? Sis, what? Get what? Get what? Drop it? his name. Wait, what car was it? Yeah, yo, yo, what car, nigga? <laughs> what car was it? <laughs> Bro, you tell me. Let, oh let, let's hear the car and the name of the guy. And I'll right. tell you. Bruh, I ain't got no shame. Don't do her. <laughs> That's Don't fine. slut shame. <laughs> All right. Damn, nigga. Uh, Dante yeah. LaBella. T- I'm about to order your chess guide. Good decision. Do it, man. Good decision. Do it. Uh, cool. ch- you, you play chess professionally, so. I play chess professionally. I'm not that good anymore. My father was a grandmaster. I play chess professionally. I still oh. like to play chess, but I get upset. I get angry because I play online. Mm-hmm. I, know oh, yeah. I know there's some little autistic Indian kid. <laughs> and, he just, and he mashes me up. Yeah. He hurts me differently. I'm like, bro, I'm going I'm to come Mumbai. I'm going to find you, Abdul. You say, I'll, catch you, I'll catch you on the streets when you're eating your naan bread. You think everything's fine. I'll grip you up by your neck. Why you, why you fork my queen, you little punk? <laughs> Yeah, next thing you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Wait, wait. So, uh, chat saying you're not denying it, though. <laughs> the car? Oh, I'm not denying it. I've sucked the guy's dick in the back of his car, but oh. tell me who. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm the, not going to count. What like, asshole? Which one? What car? Tell me. Exactly. Stupid. Yeah, dummy. Which one? I'm not going to lie. Get your facts right. Which one? Uh, I know. Stupid. What's my head? LA? LA? Well, you know what it is? Though? I fuck with honesty, though. Shout yeah, yeah I fuck with honesty. Yeah, yeah, that being said, we got a video, honesty, video to react to. A funny video. Well, not a funny video, but a video that's kind of crazy because what's going on in society today. Chris, you got a video pulled up? Yes, sir. Cool. All right. Right. It's regarding OnlyFans and uh, dating. So, pull up here real quick. And guys, while we pull this video up, there's 6,697 of you guys on YouTube right now. Please do us a solid and like the video right now. It's up to the channel, man. Okay? Because if you rock with Fresh and Fit, we need your support more than ever before. We need the spirit bomb. The haters are here. <laughs> They're probably watching this video right now disliking the fuck out of it. <laughs> so I need you guys to like the video, increase the ratio. And we will open up the phone lines. Yeah, I said it. We're going to open up the phone lines and give y'all a chance to interact with the panel. So, uh, okay. So, Shelton Go Dom is live. He's another um, content creator like Deja Academics. He has a, a breakdown here. It says, man has a mental breakdown learning his girlfriend wants to do OnlyFans. So, there's a um, yeah, arrow here. Yep. Oh, let me make sure it's not muted. So, TikTok. Every one, two, but a relationship brings exclusivity. Oh, he's hurt. Right. I mean, so nah, he's actually hurt. And you expect not to have this conversation. 
gay. <laughs> he, he is not Who gay. Who's your girls doing that? He's fucking gay. <laughs> no, and right, so, oh my god. All right, like so let's one. let's uh, let's get the ladies' opinions first, and then the guys will go last. Uh, we'll start. So, yeah, here. is it a big deal to have OnlyFans when you have a man? To the mic. Uh, it's gonna to depend the on the man. Um, I think most men would have an issue with it. Uh, depend. I think it really depends on your perspective and if you're okay with your girl doing that. I mean, I think like you guys say, it's you guys. Men have possessiveness over the girl. I'm sure they don't want their girl showing their bodies and stuff. It's just gonna depend on the dude. Um, I would think most most guys, even if they say they're cool with it, they have underlying a little bit of an issue with it. So, cool. agreed. You? Like it has to be like a conversation, kind of like how he was like, you didn't even think to have a conversation. Like it's something to talk about. You're in a relationship with somebody, so it's like if he agrees with it, he's cool with it. There's even some guys <laughs> that have their girls doing the OnlyFans and then they join in, even if they're not showing their face or whatever. So it's like as long as you have the conversation, then cool. Like, all right, not me though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just would never personally have an OnlyFans. So even if I had a man, I wouldn't even get one. So I just don't think, yeah, it's okay to have one if you have a man, unless he's participating in it. Right. Okay. Agreed. Mm. Yeah, one thousand um, percent. If he's doing content with me, yes, but I wouldn't do that anyway. Mm. Especially if you're just a regular person and not a celebrity, you're posting X-rated content. So it's like modern day porn, right? Literally. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> That's just me. I don't judge though. Like sis, yeah, I don't judge. I don't judge, but mm -hmm. I mean what about you? <laughs> I agree that it has to be a topic discussed. But then again, it's like if a girl wants to have only fans, she wants that only fans. Is she gonna have a boyfriend? Probably not. But she's getting her bag. Everyone go subscribe to my only fans, link in bio. Okay. <laughs> My Instagram is at D E S I R E E W V L K E R. Semper Fi. Hey man, you single now, so you could do what you, what you gotta do. Per. There you go. <laughs> it's like per. Yeah. <laughs> oh me, I'm next. Okay, I feel like OnlyFans get a get a bad rap because like. <laughs> I'm sorry, fuck me up. Only fans get a bad rap. Even if you're not posting nudity, like you just posting bikini pics, it's still a bad rap. Like as soon as somebody click on your profile, it says only fans. No, but she definitely was though. From what from what he's from what? crying. Oh. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah she, she's wrong for that. Wait, she didn't tell him about it. No. 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 Okay. Yeah, you screamed that. So you gotta <laughs> tell them about it. That's the thing. You have yeah. to tell them about Somebody it. say okay. your girl's cock hole. Because then it's like mm -hmm. unless y'all joining. <laughs> she <laughs> she <laughs> what about you? I agree with with them also that it should be a topic of discussion. And if he's not okay with it, then you shouldn't be in a relationship. But if, and also like if he's not okay with it, then you should respect that and maybe think about it also. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair. What about you? Yeah, you should definitely talk. If you have a man, you should definitely be like, yo, um, I want to do an OnlyFans. If I have like, I have an OnlyFans, so subscribe. <laughs> um, but if I find now a dude and I will be like, yo, you want to do content together? Like, let's get the money together. Like, don't be stupid. It's good money. <laughs> <laughs> right. Stupid. <Okay. laughs> stupid. <laughs> What's your uh, I think communication is always important, but I also think that um, it is her body and... Um, you know, uh, <laughs> me too movement. No, <laughs> but it is, it is. Yeah. But I think as a partner, also, like you should want to see your partner win. If that's the way that she wants to make money, then you know, I feel like a man should have a choice. Her. I don't want my girl to win. If that's my girl, and I love her. I don't want men looking at her. Millions or thousands or hundreds of guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, I Andrew. Guys feel like that. If anyone was capable of talking about this topic, it would be you. It probably would be me. Yes. So who could talk about this better than you? Other than, mm. your, than yourself. All right. First things first, gentlemen, if you ever find yourself screaming at a bitch like that, <laughs> you need to you need to check yourself on us on a very serious level because that, that was some emotional outbreak bullshit. And females love to draw emotion from men. Females love to do that. They won't admit it, but they love to either make you angry, sure. happy, sad. It doesn't matter what it is. They're addicted to emotion. They're addicted to drama, sure. right? So they try, try and draw emotion at you. Yeah. When you scream like a little punk, all you're doing is motivating her to do more dumb shit to make you scream like a punk again. Yeah. So regardless of the actual <laughs> issue in and of itself, he fucked that up because he didn't handle it right. He didn't handle it cool. You can't be screaming like a fucking girl. 
So that's why I said he's gay, because he is. That's the first thing. <laughs> Second thing is, maybe she should have said to him, I want to do OnlyFans, et cetera, et cetera. But let's say I'm dating a girl and I find out she has an OnlyFans. I'd say, baby, you're mine. I'm possessive over you. I take care of you. She's like, yeah, okay, yeah, I am yours. I know you're mine, which means all these motherfuckers aren't looking at you. They're looking at my property. So I want to know how much money we've made. <laughs> Because I ain't having you showing my titties that I own and not paying me something. Now, out of respect, out of respect to your man, me, if you understand that you're my property, you belong to me, and you want to make a little bit of money showing my titties, that's fine. But I want my fucking cut. cut. Now, if that bitch is going to say, no, I'm not going to give you nothing, da, 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 then she can hit the fucking streets. If she's going to pay me, if she's going to, Sparta! if she's going to pay me what I'm owed <laughs> as a positively inspirational and motivating person, <laughs> then I don't give a fuck what she does. No problem. You can do your little bit of OnlyFans. But what this punk did is sit there screaming at the top of the stairs because he's having a mental breakdown. And what he doesn't understand about females is when they see that kind of emotional vulnerability in an individual, they exploit it. They go, ah, this motherfucker goes crazy when I do dumb shit. That was fun. Let me just do that again. And then that was easy. Him. That's right. She's going to end up sucking a new dick just to send him over the edge. Oh my God. And I mean over the edge for real. Off the top of a fucking building. They like that crap. So She was the one filming it, right? Yeah, of course. She thought yeah. it was funny. This, You know what's amazing to me? You must be such a punk that you're a man raising your voice, and she is worried about getting the Snapchat as opposed to being afraid. If I raise my if I raise my voice at a bitch, she's at least like, fuck, fuck, I gotta get out of here. She has no fear for him on a physical level. Zero. Which means she has no respect for him on a physical level, which proves, which goes, ties into the fact She's doing OnlyFans. She's doing OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Because if she respected him as a man, then she'd at least love him. She doesn't love that guy. She doesn't care about that guy. She doesn't fear that guy. She doesn't respect that guy. That guy ain't nothing to her. And he's sitting here losing up at his emotional energy like a fucking moron. Bam. Yeah. I'm, I'm a full-grown man. If I raise my voice, men get afraid. And you're going to be a little girl to sit there and go, hee, 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 and record it like a fucking, yeah. what am I, a punk? You understand? You, you agree I get it. You know yeah. She had like no respect. Yo, yeah. someone, it was posted. Yo, there was no response. Yo, no nothing. Yo, that was crazy. So that shows that even on a physical level, he has no physical presence. Because not many girls are suicidal enough to disrespect a man physically on that level unless he's just a little bitch. And then he's screaming like a little bitch. He's a little bitch. The correct response as a man is, yo, you belong to me. Them titties are mine. We can do this. You owe me a cut. You don't want to pay me, we're done. That's what you should do. Because, bro, to all the real Gs out there, when you're pushing the Merc for free. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that about? It's the lingo. <laughs> it's the lingo for me. The all right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't know. Okay. Sorry. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me bring it up. Oxfordshire. Let me bring it up. Okay. Oxfordshire. Bring it up. All uh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's go in the bars. All right. What the fuck? When, the video? You're, when you're enjoying the complimentary Mercedes. Mm hmm. When she's bought you a fucking car, you don't care about some pixelated titties. Why would you, right? So that's the that's the reality of it. All men really care about is feeling disrespected, and you're not going to feel disrespected if she's paying you your money. P-I-M-P, -P, that's the name of the game. Right. Ooh. And you don't love her unconditionally. You don't love her unconditionally. Friend. What do you mean? You, you won't you, bring wait, her wait, home wait, 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 wait. I heard the word love. You won't bring her home to mama. <laughs> yes, I fucking would. I mean, look yeah. at my money. This is my baby. <laughs> this is my baby right here. What do you mean? Mama, you see that Mercedes? Oh. This is my baby. Me and her, we're making money. Well, she's making the money. I'm out here on the streets doing what I gotta right. do with my yeah. boys. But yeah. of course yeah. I take her on the mama. Listen, OnlyFans ain't even really that big a deal. I will genuinely not judge a girl for having OnlyFans. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. We live in the digital world, the digital realm. Things have changed. There's no point coming at me with this morals and it's not right, blah, blah, blah. Nothing about the modern world is right. It's all wrong. Everything you girls do is haram. Head to fucking toe. So I'd rather I'd rather you be acting haram and buying me a car than acting haram for free. At least I'm getting some. All right, cool. Do an OnlyFans. I'd rather you do OnlyFans to go to some celebrity celebrity party. Fuck some dude and come home and tell me how much you want a relationship. Fuck that. No. <laughs> do OnlyFans. Yeah, do OnlyFans. The fact that you know what we're going to do, baby, what we're going to do is because you're working so hard, all you do is work all the time. We're making a little bit of money. But, you know, you got those three friends who can put them on OnlyFans. Before you know it, me and you were pimping all these bitches. Oh, we're going to run a fucking game. That's what we're going to do. That's what a real man will be saying. I'd have her, her friends, her sister, her fucking mother. I'd, I'd have all of them on fucking OnlyFans. All of them. I'd be balling. I'd be, how do you think I got, I think I bought that car. It's $5 million. 
Only fans off Only the family. <laughs> <laughs> Only family. Thank you. Only family. family. Only family. Only friends. <laughs> With the breakdown. That was fantastic. There you oh go. Good God. shot there from tight. <laughs> Good shot. Yo, guys, <laughs> like the fucking video, man. Get the uh, engagement back up, guys, because uh, man, right now, agree with him we just uh, broke 7,200 live viewers. So, guys, do us a quick favor because <laughs> uh, we are the littest podcast by far. So, um, guys, like the goddamn video. Um, all right. I'll read some of these chats real quick, and then uh, me and Fresh will give our opinion. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, 20 bucks. Dante Labella. Tate, I'm about to order your chess guide. Okay. Oh, no, we read that one before. Uh, we got, um, and guys, just to keep the show going, we're reading 20 and up right now. Nolan Baptiste, if a woman only uh, does OnlyFans in a relationship, she is cheating. Fair enough. Uh, to, uh, Nolan Baptiste, if a woman does OnlyFans in a relationship, she is cheating. No, he did well, it twice. Yeah. <laughs> he had to say that shit twice. Uh, Bulldog mindset, hundred dollars. No man should care if one of his girlfriends is on OnlyFans. Only if his only girlfriend is. Oh, good point, man. Good point. Oh wow. There you go. Um, yes. And then uh, twenty bucks. Uh, Mark Mansfield's BWC. Congrats <laughs> on five hundred K. Question for the ladies: Have any of them that have OnlyFans accounts had a problem getting or retaining a boyfriend? Okay, we. Uh, you know, uh -huh. what? let's go. Who who has OnlyFans on the panel? I know you you have one. one oh, two only two ladies have one. I do. Okay, this is surprising. A lot of the time, it's everyone surprising. on the panel. But uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, no, no. A lot of time is normal. Um, has a boyfriend that you've had had an issue with it? Uh, or... I didn't had a boyfriend. I made it when I when I'm single. I was single. So, okay, and I don't want a boyfriend. Has it been tough with like retaining a guy? Have like guys had issues with it when you mention it or no? Uh, no, because I I don't talk with men in that type of way, like relationship wise. Talk All right, Mike. That type of way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Oh, uh, what about you? I haven't had any issues with that. Nah. I'm single as fuck. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, man. That's your answer. Uh, what, what else we got here, Chris? Yeah. Um, one second. All right, we'll finish reading these chats. And guys, while well, Chris pulls these up, man, hit the like button. All I right, like the video, man. Congrats on 500K. Right, oh, no, right, read that right. one. Uh, 20 bucks, Twan B. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. Great show tonight. Glad everybody's safe from the other night. Make sure to check all the ladies' purses at the door. <laughs> Huge fan. Keep grinding. Stay blessed. Yeah, guys, we definitely do, so don't no worry. Here. And then we got Jonathan uh, Castillo. <laughs> 150 bucks. Shout out to the squad and Andrew. Keep up the dope content. So, also, I hardly ever big up the ladies, but shout out to Christine and Lena. Yeah, okay. What's yeah, up, Jonathan? Good sports. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely uh, the good sports on the panel. Um, so what I'll say, man, is uh, sim I'll make it very nice. And no, sorry, Marin. Go. Well, last one. Oh, a slice of my ex's bonus for my first super chat. I was very nervous about all that BS recently. Wasn't going anywhere, but glad to know it was BS. Hey, Fresh, how many lows and it could Rob low? Well, this right, is from right, Fresh. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Tongue twister. So, a Fresh. How many lows could Rob low Rob? If Rob low could Rob lows, Mr. Tate, you're a legend of legends. Merch gang, motherfucker. Hey! Shout hey. 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 out to you, man. Gang, speech gang, coach gang. is working out. Uh, out yo, thank you so much, bro, for the support, man. And yo, shout thank out to all you guys that are like, you know, donating, you know, and obviously seeing beyond the bullshit of all the hate. We appreciate it greatly, man, because at the end of the day, bro. They're going to continue to hate because they're going to get a check off of hating on us. Listen, but we're, man, while they hate, we create, baby. We're here to stay, brother. And yeah. look, I we don't need to knock other people down. Our content is solid, so we're cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good content speaks for itself. And it's funny because, like, they'll talk shit. And they're like, who are these fresh and fit guys? And they'll come over. They're like, what the fuck? Why are y'all hating on them? Look, we bring on the best guests. about you. We bring on the best guests. Yeah. We got Andrew Tate here. in the house, man. Four-time kickboxing world champion. We had Robert Kiyosaki okay. in here. Billionaire. We've had Greg Cardone in here. Billionaire. We mm. brought on, uh, what? Conceited? Uh, from Wild and Out. We Top rapper Michael week, Blackson. People come in. It's, it's crazy. Andrew bro. Tate. Andrew Tate. We brought Adam Twenty Two. We brought AD from uh, Tristan. You know, Tristan's going to come. We brought Rolo Tomasi. We had a uh, Sterling Cooper. We had an awesome panel with the Avengers, bro. We brought on a lot of big ass guests, man. And uh, January, uh, maybe uh, you know, some Peterson, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got. We, oh yeah, we got Jordan Peterson and Michaela Peterson coming in February. So it's like you know what I'm saying, like guys. Yeah, you, you saw Andrew's face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to say none. <laughs> hey, I mean, I try, I try you know. Uh, but but you know what I'm saying, like guys, we got we're like we're working really hard behind the scenes to like give y'all the best experience possible, and yeah. these dudes are just trying to tear us down. It's like, you know what I'm saying, like they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes and trying to say we're scammers and frauds, all this extra shit. All right, bro, if we're scammers and frauds, nobody will fuck with us. Like we would have been gone a long time ago. Yeah, so please, please tell me how, bro. Yeah, man, still waiting on that one. Okay, but uh, all right, cool. So we'll do this, right? Oh, I just was gonna finish my oh, point. Only fans. Uh, simply put, man, it comes down to the guy. It depends on your tolerance level. Me personally, I know my main chick is not on OnlyFans. Fuck that shit. But everyone is different. You know what I'm saying? Some guys might tolerate it, want to make money off it, whatever. But the, the the key, the foundational basis of your girl being on OnlyFans or doing any type of this work, it's got to go through you and you got to benefit to some degree. Like 100%. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like me and Andrew might not agree of having our girl do it, but I agree on the foundation that 
if uh if she does do it, it's gotta go through you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But every guy has different tolerance levels to certain things. I don't, Andrew does, but it's gotta go through him and he's gotta benefit my uh from see, a monetary standpoint. This came up, so I was talking to that chick, right? As long as you lead, you're good, guys. And it was like, yo, like I know what she's doing, but like she's benefiting she's benefiting me. So it's like, okay. So you know the whole thing happened with that chick or whatever, right? I actually genuinely don't. Okay, cool. <laughs> but the point is, is that like I'm just saying, once I know about it and it's money's coming to me, I don't care. So Yeah, I think there's there's oh man, I don't want to talk too much, but I'm gonna try and do it. <laughs> All right. It, they call it the oldest profession in the world, right? The whole the whole prostitution thing. And being an OnlyFans girl is not being a prostitute, but we're just going to keep it simple. But that if it's the oldest profession in the world, then pimping it goes along with it. Most girls who are involved in these things, I'd really actually say most girls, especially the ones who are successful at them, Absolutely. they have a man involved. There's a whole bunch of girls with an OnlyFans in their bio making small money. But the girls on OnlyFans making 100, 150 grand, 200 grand a month, that is, they're working with their man. I'm not saying their man on camera. I'm saying their man is in charge of everything, in charge of the scheduling, in charge of getting the photo shoots, in charge of putting it all together, the ideas, the motivation, da 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 So a whole lot of OnlyFans, as it's seen as this independent woman, you know, like motivating independent females, the reality of it, the most of the money ends up with men. Anyway. Andrew, you, know? you, you need to tell, because they might not know your background, how you're speaking about this from such yeah. an educated uh, standpoint. For, for our viewers out there and for the la lovely ladies on the panel, what did you used to do prior uh, that qualifies to speak about this. We know, but they need to know. All right. So I used to run a webcam agency. I had 75 girls oh, who worked for me. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now it connects, right, ladies? So passionate. I can see, the, He's so I can see passionate. the looks on their faces. They're like, what is this? What? How does he, he know this shit? So, money. No, no. Yeah, but that, I, I, about it real yeah, quick? I had 75 girls who worked on me. This worked for me. This is about seven, eight years ago. Uh, so it was before OnlyFans and it was on webcam and it was based out in Europe and they'd sit there on the internet and they'd talk to dudes and they'd make a whole bunch of money, et cetera, et cetera. And the girls would primarily do it. They were either doing it for me, for my brother, or nearly every other girl who worked for us was married. She was doing it for her man. The idea that it was all purely independent woman, blah, blah, blah. That's very new age. A lot of it was just, look, this is a job. I can make a whole bunch of money. I'm doing it for my man. And as long as the man feels respected and he feels like part of the equation, most men are cool with it. Most men are like, you're going to make how much money? All right, cool. Boom. I want to be in charge of it, et cetera. What's actually interesting, I identified something that I see in Miss Young German here. And girls who are making money from dudes, they often very much struggle to find a romantic relationship with a dude. You just said yourself, I don't talk to guys in a romantic way. I don't care about romantic way. Da, da, da. And a lot of girls who do sex work are in many ways repulsed by men for things outside of money. A lot of the girls used to work for me on webcam. They like, all I do is talk to dorks all fucking day. Men are losers. I can't even go on a date anymore. It puts them off, man. It does come up. Yeah. It, it puts them off, man. Is that true or false? Yeah. It puts you off, man. You're like, okay, well, am I getting paid? No, well, then fuck off. I don't want to talk to them anymore. Right. So there are some elements where you can find this combination where I've had girls who work for me, right? They're in love with me. They work very hard. They make a lot of money. I make a lot of money from them. And on top of that, they're probably more loyal than a normal girl would be because the whole idea of all men besides me repulses them. So they're like, you're the only fucking G on this planet. I don't mm. want even another man to talk to me. Every man I talk to is a fucking loser. And you end up with women who are completely head over heels in love with you, and they despise the male species as a whole. So it can, a, it can go point. that way. It can go that way. It can go the other way, too, but it can go that way. So don't the idea that all girls and only fans is bad, et cetera, et cetera, it's absolutely false. It's not this, true. this opens a really good discussion because we brought many women uh, on the podcast uh, that are maybe famous porn stars. Only uh, high earners on OnlyFans, uh, dancers, strippers, exotic dancers, whatever it may be. Yeah. Basically women involved in the sex industry, as we just discussed, that make money from men's inability to get laid. Yeah. And what I've come to realize is you see a very dark side of male nature as, as, a, as a female entertainer mm -hmm. that basically, just like you said, repulses you and is very difficult for you to connect with men. So it's actually interesting that it's almost as if like uh, her career like ostracizes her from, uh, from, from a lot of men. But at the same time, you're in a position where it almost insulates you as the main guy in her life, and she's dis dis disgusted by everyone else. Correctly. If so it actually correct. works in your favor. I never thought of it that way. Absolutely. Yeah. If she's ha if she has no guy, then it makes her harder, right? Because you're right. She's repulsed by all men. She wants to get paid to even interact with them because she finds them unattractive. But if yeah. she's already in love with you and she starts something like that, 
then it can go the opposite way because she's already in love with you at the beginning, right? And the more and more of this dark side of male nature she interacts with, the less and less interest she has with the general populace of men. Yeah. And she's like, every man I talk to, I've been doing this job for four years, every single dude was disgusting. Yeah. He was either a simp or he spoke shit or he was just ugly. I just something about I don't like. And they'll end up falling more in love with you than ever before. But that's only if they loved you to begin with. So it can go two ways. But yeah, it's it's a really interesting it's an interesting phenomenon as a whole. It truly is an no, interesting that, phenomenon. That's, hey, man, I, I just like it, it just clicked in my head because every like every girl that like I won't say any names, but they literally come in and they'll say, I hate men or no, nah, I don't I don't go on dates unless they're paying makes, me or I don't, I don't sense, talk though. to them unless they're paying me. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Like you're seeing the worst side of men. So why the fuck would you want to like deal with them in general? Like your job is to entertain them and you're seeing the, like literally like their sexual fantasies. Like you have to make that shit come to fruition. And let's be honest, a lot of dudes are have some weird fantasies, bro. Feet shit. Putting put needles in their dicks, all this weird shit. So I would feel weird too about that if I was a woman. So it makes sense how it almost, even though people might say, oh, it, it's counteractive. Like it's going to make, it means she's a hoe. No, actually, if anything, if you're managing her and she's under your authority, and that's why I say, guys, it's so important that you have to be the one running that side of her life. You have to be the leader in her life. You got to be the foundation because even if she goes into something like that, that is conducive to infidelity or some other shit, but she's under your leadership, you can't work in your favor. Completely. Makes sense. Completely. If she's yeah. if she's under your leadership, let me tell you something. If a girl is under your leadership, the chance of her meeting a man on OnlyFans that she falls in love with is fucking zero. It's OnlyFans, bro. These guys are messaging her, hey, feet, please. Like, what the? <laughs> I mean, they're, 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 they ain't, they ain't spitting game. So, like, the chance of her leaving you for that is basically zero. And and you nailed it. You see the worst side of, of, of male nature. Man, I've got some stories from webcam you girls would not believe. Because oh, me and my man. brother used to sit there and we watched all the screens. We had a setup very much like this, and we watched all these screens in our big ass studio. Uh, we had, we had. Let me tell you. Tell one, one story, yeah, please, please, uh, please. I want the ladies to kind of see. Uh, what, do you want the dark side? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want a weird one or do you want a funny one? Because one of them was really funny, and then I had one guy who was really funny, and then Let's we had, do both. We'll do. We'll do yeah. both. And you know, we'll yeah. do this. We'll yeah. do a story time. So each person tell a, a dark side of men nature that you saw. Mm. We'll, we'll let Andrew start off first. All right, Holy so probably, shit. so probably the weirdest guy we ever had was a lawyer, and he was a lawyer in New York. Who's from New York? Oh, the uh, Jenny from the block. New York. She's, from New York. <laughs> She's from New York. So we had a lawyer from New York, and this guy, man, you know what? The thing about webcam, it kind of worried me about the world because when you see how police officers. The doctors, surgeons, yeah. lawyers, Thanks. you see what they're doing when they're at home with their money? You don't trust any of them anymore. So now if I ever have to have surgery, I'm looking at them up and down like, motherfucker, you fucking cam, you little pull. <laughs> you know, so I don't trust none of them. So this guy was a lawyer, right? What, what year was this? This was So this, people kind of have an yeah, idea. Yeah, so I got into the cam game early, early. This must have been probably seven, eight maybe nine years ago. Okay. So a long time ago. Right, right? around 2012. 2012 yeah. Something like all that. Right, cool. So IG's just popping off. Yeah. Just all that shit's new, right? So cam's new. My girls are making a bunch of money. Anyway, so we had a lawyer and what he used to like to do is he found one of my girls and he had this, it started with a fantasy that she was his babysitter and that he would poop his pants wow. and that she had to change him, right? So it started off very much like, hey, can you smell me? And she'd be like, yeah, you smell so bad. I, do I smell bad? And he loved it when she was like, you're disgusting. You smell so bad. You're a full grown man. What's wrong with you? Why do you smell so bad? He loved that, right? And then he got to the point where saying, I'm going to ask you to make me do things, but I want them to be completely unreasonable. And the worse they are, the more I'll pay. So she's like, all right, what? all right. I want you to wear a diaper at work. And he's like, all right. So he sends her like a thousand dollars and she wears a diaper at work. But it got to the point across a few months where she's like, I want you to wear a diaper and not, she just had to think of shit, right? She's like, I want you to wear a diaper and not change it for a week. And he'd send her 10 G's and he would actually do it. What and he'd, the... he'd wear a diaper and not change it for a week. What? Go toilet in the sniper, swear to God. And he'd try and send her pictures of it all. She wouldn't even look at them because it made her feel sick. But me and Tristan, me, me and my brother would like print them out, no. put them on her bed and shit. <laughs> but that, that, you got that kind of thing. These are the kind of dudes she's talking to. So you think she's watching this and going, I can't wait to go out there to New York and get myself a nice lawyer? No. These are the lawyers of the world. It's disgusting. And then we also had another guy. Let me, let me light it up with a funny story. We had one guy who was a, who was a bad boy. We had one guy who was a pimp. Mm. Might have been you fresh. No. <laughs> no, no, we had no. one guy called Paul and Paul went to a girl and said, look, you need to buy some gummy bears. He sent her a thousand dollars. Please buy gummy bears on a Tuesday. I remember this story. So she's like, took the grand, whatever. She bought a bunch of gummy bears. And on Wednesday he came back and he made her put all the gummy bears down out in front. And the gummy bears was Paul and all his boys. 
Mm. And they all had names, Paul and Tim and his brother, Chris, and all this shit. Shout out to Chris. Yeah, shout out to Chris. (laughs) And what she had to do was pick one up and pretend she was going to eat it. And he'd be like, please don't eat Chris. Don't eat Chris. That's my boy, Chris. He's my friend. Please don't eat Chris. And don't eat Chris, please, please. And he'd beg on the chat. And you'd see him on the camera, like, panicking. No, not Chris. Please, please. And she'd, like, put him on her titties and pick him up and lick lick Chris. Lick lick his face. And eventually, eventually, eventually she'd put him in her mouth and she'd chew. And he'd, like, have a panic attack. Like, no. No, Chris. No. Right? in the camera please wow. and this would go on for hours while she slowly took his friends one by one his boss from work his vet ugh. i went all when they were all dead <laughs> only paul is left anybody like, please don't eat me queen please don't eat me you've eaten all my friends please uh, don't eat me don't eat me and he'd beg and beg and beg and beg don't eat me don't eat me and when she eventually she put him on the tit she licked him to that when she'd eventually start chewing paul He'd come everywhere. Oh my God. 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 And you know what? Oh my God. <laughs> God. Listen, me and, me and, listen, me and my brother, me and my brother would be sitting there saying, Paul's a G. That is some game. I was like, if I'm going to lose one of my webcam girls to a cam guy, if I'm going to lose any of my chicks, this guy's going to take her. He's a bad boy. That's some sick guy. That's, yes. Girls, don't pretend you don't want this guy. You know you want him. You know you want him. Kill me in my sleep. <laughs> All I got to say to that one is, uh, Oh, oh, you touch my <laughs> <laughs> like god damn what, what? The oh, no. hell? that's that's my cam story yeah. I, got, I got more but that's enough that's and, um, and, and you know honestly that that was that was a great story and that segues perfectly into what i was going to say here which is basically what i've come to realize is this <laughs> pornography and sex work makes women hate men and prostitution makes men hate women and the reason why is because men are paying their money aka providing their security to some degree, their financial security, to get sexual access. And on the other flip side, the woman is providing her sexual access to that man in exchange for some temporary security. So it, it both parties are getting what they want, like from a carnal level, but it's not real. Yeah. So so it, it, it makes sense that the two the two genders are like gonna hate each other when they participate in this thing. Because I've noticed guys, you know, if we flip it, that have sex with a lot of prostitutes have like this incredibly uh, strong disdain for women. Yeah, they like, hate, they, they, hate they, women, they fucking hate them, bro. Because you're seeing the worst side of female hypergamy. You're literally paying her, she's starfishing you, and then you bang, and then she leaves. And you're like, okay, you didn't, you didn't get to enjoy, right? The 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 nice side of female nature, you know, the comforting, the soothing voice, uh, the you cooking, up? the cleaning, you her, her giving a shit about you to some level, right? Like, you don't enjoy that. You're just getting the one thing that you really want from her, which is the sex that she's leaving. Makes you feel some type of way, right? And then the woman on the other end, right? She's getting just the money from you. She's not getting that security. She's not getting that masculine energy. She's not getting that protection. She's not getting enough. She's getting that money temporarily. So she's going to have some disdain for you. So it's kind of funny to see the two genders almost have this, this tug of war and hate each other when they participate in the sex industry from different spectrums. Yeah. My, so. my, yeah. You nailed it, man. You absolutely nailed it. And what's actually funny is when I was doing the cam business, most of my girls who made the majority of their money, it wasn't sexual. They made the majority of their money from being a therapist to some sad dude. They because people would say why that. people would say why are they on webcam? Because porn's free on the internet and they can buy a hooker for cheap. So why are they spending ten thousand dollars a month talking to some chick? It's like they ain't they ain't trying to see her titties. They're trying to sit there and go, My wife doesn't respect me. I'm so sad. My kids don't listen to me. I've worked my whole life. She hates me. I can't even get a blowjob on my birthday. Da-da-da. My girls were therapists much more than they were sex workers. Like the, the plight of the male is absolutely insane. It's crazy how some of these dudes are living out here. They'll pay a lot of money just to feel better. And they'd come into her chat room and she'd remember the name of their dog. And they'd be like, she remembers me like it was amazing to them like people don't understand how miserable most dudes out here are it's crazy it's genuinely crazy there's guides out here especially in the west who are seriously sad i put a tweet up the other day and i almost deleted it because i almost had a heart for a second i don't really have one but i almost (laughs) I, I, i put something up after the taliban one i said isis and the taliban have have girls flying out to iraq to be a fourth wife in a war zone and you're in Philip Philadelphia wanking off because you can't get a chick to even fucking pay attention to you. God damn. Yeah. And 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 the point I was making is it's like the cultural differences, etc. And some guy wrote underneath it, like this really upsets me because basically it's true. Da, da, da. But yeah, it's crazy for American men, man. It's crazy for a lot of them. And they'll sit there and literally, these chicks were full-time 
therapists. I ran a therapy business. I didn't run a, a strip business. It was therapy, all of it. And I want to say this too, Andrew, because um, you're one of the only people that uh, was in that profession, right? In that world as a manager. So you saw everything and brought this kind of dark side when I listened to one of your podcasts before. And you you talked about like, a lot of these guys just wanted to talk to somebody. That's all they, they didn't give do. a fuck about, like, she would be fully clothed sometime or she wouldn't even be showing any titties. A lot of these guys just wanted to talk to an attractive woman that actually gave a shit about their life yep. because their wife no longer fucks them. Yep. She just riding out to get the, the divorce paperwork or whatever the hell it is. Yep. And a lot of these guys are genuinely alone. And I think, um, you know, I, and this is why I think, you know, the male, well, to keep it YouTube friendly, self-deletion rates are significantly higher than women is because, you know, a lot of guys, you know, they're, they're incentivized to not talk about this shit. You know, you're supposed to hold your emotions and everything else like that. And a, a lot of times it's, it's an outlet, you know, the, these uh, sex workers, like these girls, especially on cams. Oh, yeah. on cam, it's all communication. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Not as, not as much as like OnlyFans now where it's like now it's just like straight up like just crazy shit. But you're interacting with the girl real time. So you're like getting that attention and guys are paying for that attention. Oh yeah, my, I, I would, I would, I would, I would, gen I genuinely believe that my business has prevented at least twenty five suicides, at least minimum. Wow, at least, oh, wow. Li literally, genuinely, at least. Where right? do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've unfortunately retired from that game now. I moved into something else. But um, yeah, this was at the beginning of the cam stages, and it was different than it is now, where every guy knows about cam, etc. But a lot of these guys were just kind of discovering it at the time because yeah. it was relatively new, and they were like, "Wow, you actually care? I exist. So why does my woman hate me so much?" All is I all I did is everything she wanted. Why does she hate me? All I did was marry her and work. I did everything she wanted. Why does she treat me like crap? And it's kind of like, I felt like jumping in and saying, listen, G, <laughs> but, but, but I, I, I can't, right? I can't. So that, so instead the girl would give the advice da, 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 and milk them on. Man, there's there are some ruthless stories as well, though. Like I had one chick. Oh, man. Can I even? All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Tell yeah. the story. Yeah. Ladies, yes. while he tells his story, get your story ready, right? The worst story that you could think of where a guy was acting weird. And then think of one story where a girl totally fucked a guy over. But okay? before Anna tells a the story, or whatever, yeah. we need the likes up, though. Yo, guys, this you know is what? Like, should we wait? There's about to be 8,000 of y'all in here, man. We're giving y'all a lot of game, bro. Please man. like the goddamn video, right? Because we're about to give low, you guys bro. some more sauce. Yeah, the likes no, are really hey, low right and now. The, uh, listen, I ain't gonna lie. It's Friday night. We lit. We're having a good time. <laughs> well, and you niggas, like, what, four, what, 4K likes out of... 8,000 watching? Man. That's less than half? Yeah, that's less we than half, We can be in the club bro. right now again. Lit. I don't Turning know. up right now. I'm Friday with Andrew Tate and nine I got people in the club ladies. right now waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all niggas need to like the video, man. Yeah, like the video, bro. man. Because, uh, guys, we'd be sacrificed a lot for this, man. And, uh, yeah, bro. All we need is uh, you guys to like because it helps with the engagement and everything else like that. And um, what else? There was something else I was going to say. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. No. Uh, well. December 18th. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead, Andrew. No, well, no ladies, uh, get your stories ready. Yeah, yeah. Male you, and female. You know what? I kind of I kind of want to hear some girl stories. But um all all in all, it was a super interesting perspective. It was very interesting for me to run it from both sides. It was interesting for me to keep the girls motivated and happy and for them to do it. It was very interesting for me to see all the things that men say and all the things men truly desire. And a lot of these women out here see men as these horrible creatures and that we're evil and that we're always after sex and money and da-da-da. I'm telling you now, the majority of men just want to feel respected in the house they live in. They want to feel like they actually have someone who genuinely respects them and cares about them. And if they can get that and that alone you'd be surprised how many you can keep happy. Keeping a man happy as a woman is so remarkably easy. Facts. It's, it's a miracle that you managed to mess it up. Like Especially it's so it easy. It's so easy, but it's just, I understand there's a culture in the world today that's convincing young ladies. You need to be a disagreeable, horrible, unlikable little bitch. And that, <laughs> and that that's, and it's all about get the bag, all this crap. You, know what, your man. you know, what you need to do is go home to your man and say, you know what? You actually do a lot for me. I really love you. I care about you, et cetera. And if you can do that and that alone, he ain't going to fucking leave you. Any woman, you're never going to lose a man if you show him some respect and you show him some peace and quiet in his own home. And there are men out there who are paying a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars a year talking to some bitch a thousand miles away just to feel like they someone gave a shit they existed. It's Fact. crazy. It's crazy. And I want to say this real quick. I, I I got a question for you, Andrew, and then we're going to turn it to ladies. So ladies, be ready with your stories. I don't watch you guys. But uh, I don't know. You got plenty of time. Only fans versus webcam industry. Is webcam industry dying nowadays? You're yeah. in a unique position where you, you've done both. Yeah, the webcam industry is dying because the webcam industry is a full-time job. Webcam was 12 hours a day, start 8 a.m., finish 8 p.m., full-time job. You had to turn up. You had to actually work. With, mm. with only fans, you don't have to work that hard. The, the truth is the majority of girls on OnlyFans make fucking nothing. Facts. Uh, they true. make nothing. And they'll talk about it, and they'll make a fucking 500 quid here to 1,000 there here. 
The girls I know, I know a few. Wait, girls. what's five hundred quid in USD? Because I know that uh, we got a lot of American viewers. Sorry, sorry. Our British guys won't sorry. know. Sorry, we'll five hundred, like six, seven hundred dollars, whatever. Yeah. I know some girls who are on OnlyFans who are making hundred thousand dollars a month, and they're making big, big money. But they approach it like an actual business. They, yeah. They they do TikTok specifically to grow TikTok mm-hmm. accounts, specifically to get OnlyFans subscriptions, and then they have people inside of their account to specifically talk to the people for them to make sure they get the engagement and to sell the product. And they'll every day they'll do a photo shoot. They will approach it like an actual business, but. They're only doing that because their man's telling them. Bam. So as usual, with OnlyFans, if you have a man in charge, listen, if any girl were to come to me and say, I want to get rich, Tate, please waste some of your life getting me rich. I could take <laughs> I could take a chick with no subscribers, nothing, and in a month I'd be putting on 100 Gs a month. Minimum. If you'll do anything I say, if you'll obey like a puppet, I will make you rich. Women can't do it by themselves. You need a man in charge. But, yeah, Cam is a really Wait, Hold on. They're going to hit you with the misogyny. Yeah, but it's true. The, I'm hungry. Men know what men want to see. I yes. guess exactly. It's not. It's not even that. So, it's no. the work ethic. It's the work ethic. It's the mindset. It's the greed. It's the organization. It's all of that. It's the emotional stability. Oh, you feel sad today? Well, your titties still look good. So get the fuck on the camera. <laughs> it's, it's that emotional stability, right? And it doesn't matter what a woman wants to do. It doesn't matter if she wants to be a housewife. It doesn't matter if she wants to be a lawyer. It doesn't matter if she wants to be an OnlyFans girl. Unless there's a man in charge of it, she's gonna fuck it up. <laughs> So you need a man in charge of all of it, head to toe, from start to finish, or she's going to fucking ruin it. The, the whole idea, the whole paradigm of the independent woman is a fallacy. Every single independent woman is not meeting her potential on any fucking level. Misogyny, Yeah, please. I got you. Please. Misogyny. I've been ready for you, that thank, one. Thank you. And then also, I got you with the... How dare you? That, but, right, right. but it's true. Yeah. But it's true. For a woman to reach maximum potential, she needs a man. And for a man to reach maximum potential, he needs a woman. We are mm-hmm. meant to be together. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful unity of Earth. And this whole division they put in between us all is only bad for both sexes. It's for both sexes, right? So there's, nothing wrong. there's nothing wrong with listening to a man when it comes to OnlyFans or anything else you want to do. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> the power <laughs> levels. No, that's one thousand percent fact, man. Like, like you cannot op- uh, operate at optimum levels without the opposite gender being involved. I've always said a man can operate at one hundred percent, but your girl's going to come in and help you operate at one hundred and five, and that's going to yeah. be that extra five percent is going to be the edge that you, when you're a high level performer, that beats the competition. 100%. She comes in and she becomes an indispensable cog in the wheel of your success Correct. and helps you operate past maximum when everyone else is operating at maybe 100%. They don't have a woman by their side because what are they doing? They're dealing with stupid bimbo hoes yep. that come in, have sex with them, spend their money up, give them stress, give them a headache, you know, give them uh, all this bullshit. But your girl comes in, doesn't take anything. She adds value. Correct. She operates and is becomes an indispensable part of your repertoire. And then bang, you're operating at a whole nother level because you have a helpmate that's by your side versus someone that comes in. Let's be honest. Most women take value instead of add value. Correct. Or you sweat. Nigga, take me on a date. Give me a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to, you need to entertain me. And and a lot of modern day women go into this thing like you need to provide value to me, and that's fine. The guy will provide value to you until he gets the sex, and then if you don't provide the value back, let's see how long he's gonna last around. And that's the problem I think most modern day women fall into is they're not able to retain a guy post sex. And I, the, the key is to be what you just said: have a man operate at optimum levels. You know what I'm saying? Correct. And then for the woman, I agree. I think that um, men are just designed by, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm going to hit, hit myself with this as well. How dare you? Uh, I'm just going to say it. Men are designed to work harder than women. We're yeah. built for it. We're stronger. We're taller. We have stronger bone density. This is why all the physical labor jobs are male dominated. Uh, I don't see any feminists running around cry, uh, complaining, saying there's not enough female Alaskan fishers, you know what I'm saying? Or no, not enough oil drillers or not enough construction workers. They want to fight for the cushy office jobs that pay high salary, but they don't want to do the hard work that controls the, that helps uh, operate the infrastructure, right? Of Western countries, you know, ele- electric uh, power, you know, the power grids, everything else like that is run by men, architecture, engineering, etc. right? So, Men just understand that we have to create value. You know that from, from your, the time you're a little boy, that you're going to have to work to be able to get a girl. Hey, you need to get a good job, et cetera. It's kind of put in your head. A woman, hey, you want to go to school, become successful? Fantastic. But you don't have to. Correct. You don't have to. If you're pretty enough, you don't have to. It is, it is a choice as much as modern-day women get mad at me for saying that. If you're beautiful and you, you come from a good family, et cetera, there will be men lining up to marry you that are worth millions by the time you're 18. You know what I'm saying? A woman can choose to not work if she's beautiful enough and she knows how to carry herself uh, correct. But a man, it don't matter how beautiful you are, bro. You have to work, nigga. I know it does not mean shit. So, um, and with that said, 
like men are just designed to work more. I mean, we men on average make more money than women, despite the fact that women go to college more than men. They're high, more educated than men. Men make more money. Why? Because men take less vacation time. Men work, work more hours. Men work more dangerous jobs. And this is all statistically proven. It's a fact. The wage gap does not exist because of gender. It exists because of choices. Men choose to work more hours and work more dangerous jobs that pay more. That's the reality. So going back to you with the OnlyFans thing, having a male manager, he's going to be able to look at the business tangibly and, okay, we need to do this more to make this much more money, et cetera. The woman, let's be honest, she's already in a vulnerable position because she's showing her body all day, okay? She's already in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a sensitive state. So if she doesn't make it, just like you said, you've used this example many times. I didn't make as much money this day. Why didn't I make as much money this week or this month? She's going to start to feel some type of way because she, like, basically what the, the market is telling her, bitch, you ugly. We ain't paying you no more. You know what I'm saying? And that's how girls are going to take it, even though it might have been some other OnlyFans girls popping off or someone is going viral. And that's why she lost money. But she's going to take it like, damn, am I good enough? Am I good enough? You need that guy there to keep you motivated because women are heavily influenced by their emotions, man. Correct. You know, men are told do what's right. Women are told do what's right for you. We're very different. So, I think having that male counterpart is extremely important uh, as a leader to women to keep things objective, be there for her to, you know, to be that rock when her emotional instability rises. And that's just the reality, man. And this 100 percent true. Every girl that I know that makes a lot of money in the sex industry or makes a lot of money with any type of uh, of these like digital businesses where they're, you know, kind of promoting themselves. They have a male manager nine out of 10 times, whether it's a boyfriend, a uncle, a dad, somebody is in the back, like making sure that she's she, she has her shit all all good to go every, or a pimp uh, or, or a pimp <laughs> every every go every ahead. single time every single rant time. over yeah no no you nailed it every single time okay so uh, just real quick and then we'll get ladies tell their story cool as well. uh hey take can a black guy do well in romania you can do well uh i think you can do perfectly fine however it's the the you're going to be an anomaly you're going to be the only one my friend so <laughs> just keep that in mind like the romanian men may not it depends if you walk i really believe if you were a completely black guy and you went to romania and you walked around and treat people with respect you'd have no problems they're not openly racist however if you had a bit of an attitude and you want to bump into people and shit because you they'd be like whoa whoa he's definitely not from here mm -hmm. yeah. so for that reason it would be on and yeah you, and you don't want it over there because like they're strapped and they mean it so you yeah don't want it. here's another thing too i don't think people un people complain about the united states being like super racist whatever Bro, other parts of the world are extremely racist. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. really bad. And by the way, Andrew's actually black himself. I'm part black, yeah. So yeah. there you go. I'm part. But I, I, I get away with it. I'm like a day walker. <laughs> <laughs> I get away with it. I get away with Shut it. Shut up, Blade. Yeah, yeah I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, guys, like like Japan, for example. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, bro. Like, they, 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 they have the lowest. I think they have some of the lowest immigration rates in the world. Oh, no. Yeah. You know what's? It's kind of amazing when you talk about the whole racist thing and America being a racist country because that is that is absolute garbage. And the reason it's absolute garbage is because you nailed it. Most countries are so openly openly racist you go japan or even korea I, bro, you go korea a, a girl a girl can't date you like no, no you're not korean <laughs> bye like yeah. there's like the, the whole they won't hire nope. you they don't like you girls nope. don't want to touch you the nope. family doesn't want to know you that nope. they, they preserve their culture everyone in japan looks japanese for a reason facts and and they're not going to allow you in and and most countries are like that romania is the same there's romania is not too bad but if you go to bulgaria or moldova or some other countries i've been to i was in moldova me and my brother got attacked by 10 guys because they heard us talking english <laughs> we were walking me and my brother and these two girls and they started talking in russian to the girls and the girls later told us they were saying go home to your families why are you with american men why are you with american men and these two oh, these shit. 10 these 10 dudes come over and we're like what's the problem and they just fucking swung it was <laughs> on it was a street fight out of nowhere and their and their basic logic is you came here to fuck our pretty girls so fuck you like they, they so many countries in the world are so actually genuinely inherently Racist. It's, 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 it's not ingrained. even racist. It's not even racist. They protect their culture. Yeah, they protect their culture. That's why they still have a culture left, and some most countries don't. They yeah. protect their culture to such a strong level, and that's my point about Romania. I believe that it's a friendly enough and safe enough place that if you were to turn up black, you'd have no problems. However, everyone's going to instantly know you're not Romanian, which means if you get into even an inkling of trouble, now you're a target because they're yeah. going, ah, he ain't from here. That yeah. means I can shoot him in the head and I'll get away with it. So you don't want that. That's yeah. the point. Well, yeah, you've been, and he's been to 72 countries, guys, been all over the world. But yeah, like I've heard, like Saudi Arabia, they ain't giving you citizenship no just way. because you're born there. No you're way. Here. No way. You know, look at Dubai. Dubai, <laughs> people talk about Dubai all the time. Dubai is 10% Emiratis, 90% expats. <laughs> and, and, and the expats cannot get a passport. I, I spoke to one guy who was an Indian guy when I was living in Dubai. He was Indian. He'd lived in Dubai for 21 years, and he can't get a passport because in those 21 years, he got a speeding ticket.
You'll yeah, never become a citizen. Uh, yeah. Never. You can never become a citizen because you are not one of us. Yep. You can work in our country. You can be a slave. You can obey. If you steal something, we'll chop your hand off. You're never, <laughs> ever, ever going to become God. one of us. Damn. That's how they work. Bro, yeah. That's how they yeah. Work. Saudi Arabia, I've, I've had cousins born there. They ain't giving you citizenship. Japan, very difficult to get citizenship. I hate to say this. I'm not sound like an asshole, but I know I'm going to get hit with the. How dare but you? I'm just going to say this. I've come to realize. Countries that have low immigration rates have extremely low crime rates as well. It's true. Saudi Arabia, UAE, Japan, it's third world, third strongest economy in the world, lowest obesity rates, technology driven. You know what I'm saying? There's something. I'm not saying immigration is terrible, yeah. but there is a strong correlation. And I know oh, correlation to the causation. Well, if you if you extrapolate, and you look at all the countries that have very strict immigration standards, bro. Their crime is low. Compound that with Spain, France, United States, Canada. All the countries that have very lax immigration protocol, their crime rates are extremely high. Yeah, and so, you nailed it, man. And, and right. listen, I'm half black, half white, and I'm an immigrant living in a country. I live in Romania, and I'm an, I'm, I'm an immigrant, right? So this is this is hypocritical to some degree. But you absolutely nailed it because what happens when you have a homogenous society is that people naturally see themselves and others to a degree. You naturally look at other people. They speak the same language. They look the same as you, and you see yourself and others. It's much harder to be a savage to someone who you can see a likeness in. I, I was in a taxi in Romania and I, I was driving and these three girls were walking through the park and I was like, it's, it's four in the morning. Why are those girls walking through the park at night? And the taxi driver said, but they're Romanian girls. A Romanian man wouldn't hurt a Romanian girl. Mm. Have you ever heard that in America? Wow. No way. No. Because here we all look different. We all think different, etc. And that has strengths. I'm not saying it doesn't have advantages. It does have some. But the disadvantage is you don't see yourself in other people. Everybody's your enemy. He's Democrat. He's Republican. He's black. He's white. Yeah. He's this. He's Puerto right. Rican. He's this. He's that. And nobody cares about yeah. each other. You have no culture. You have no unity. This is why you have a country like Romania where the police force is a fucking joke driving Dacia's. They haven't even got guns. And the crime rate is a fraction of it isn't in the American city. True. Like they didn't, the police can't even enforce anything. They don't need to, right? The crime's so low. So it, you're right. Homo homogeny to some degree when it comes to social cohesion, man, it's been proven. It's a proven fact. Yeah. Damn. Facts. This is a very Shut based, up. high IQ conversation, man. Fire. So like the goddamn video, man. It's almost 9,000 you guys in here. We're climbing up. I'll read these things. And then, ladies, I still hope you guys have your stories ready. Uh, to Beyonce, next to Mr. Tate, I will let a uh, hyena drag me for miles to walk. To walkie talkie buy do dolls on broken glass, just oh, to walkie talkie buy balls on broken glass, just to listen to you, your poopy drop in the toilet. <laughs> the ebony next by fresh, I need them DSLs, and that's from Yo Culprit. Wait, um, bro, bro, it sounds what? like a webcam guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is he yeah. talking about? Okay, I mean, all right, give me her. All right, uh, Cameron <laughs> Slitchler, uh, 20 bucks, uh, message de deleted. He probably made fun of Chris, but thank you for the donation. Hit the fucking like button. What's the lady to the left of Myron's Insta? What's your Instagram? I'm Christine Tran. Not for Tran. It's, it's a Vietnamese last name, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Keandre Alcorn. Hit the fuck. Oh, no. Read that one. Uh, how do we attend a 500K party? Is there a link to purchase tickets? It'll come out Monday. Monday. We're going to put out the link on Monday, Monday. for y'all. But general mission is free. It is pretty much like uh, covered by the club, whatever. But if the VAP is going to be uh, paid. Um, we're going to have Andrew in there and some guys, other people. Hit up me and Fresh because me, me and Fresh, as you know, we're doing a you know, party, coordination, and everything. So, any questions? And this time, Chris is bringing the girls. So, yeah. Yeah. Fresh Prince CEO mm. and uh, Aaron C. Poxon. Check them out, guys. But we're going to have the, the, the thing to buy the VIP tickets on Monday, but it is completely free to come. Limited. And, I, it, and you guys don't have to pay a cent. I'm going to come out and make sure I shake everybody's hand, talk to all of you. If you don't want to pay for the VIP, it's fine. I'm going to still come out and meet all you guys. Me and Fresh will do our due diligence and make the rounds. Uh, Victor Jimenez, 20 bucks. Say, does one prepare for the war room or just join? What do I do if I join with little life experience? I'm trying to level up. Listen, you can't prepare for the war room. The, you just join the war room and we'll prepare you for life. I'm tired of people asking me, how do I prepare for the war room? If you had to, if you had to enter the cage for a cage fight, would you prepare to start training or would you just go to the fight gym? Just go to the fight gym, get over it. That's some cowardice shit where you're trying to find an excuse to not join yet. Join. There's a link here underneath this podcast. That's the link to be on. Get inside ASAP. All right, cool. Um, all right, so we're going to turn it to ladies now. Craziest story from the male side. Uh, that you've seen the dark side of male nature. What starts? Either a guy did it to you or your friend, or you've yeah. seen. Yeah, doesn't have to be your personal party. party. Uh -huh. We'll start with you. Okay. Y'all had plenty of time. Make sure it's now we're mic. turning it to you guys. To the mic. Yep. Okay. So crazy the guy, and then he said, "What a, a girl screwed a guy over." Yeah. If, if if you have both, if, awesome. If not, I only then... have one. Okay. Cool. Um, it's kind of tame, like any kind of type of weird. Yeah. That. Um, I was on a dating app. And here we many, go. Many here years we go. ago, when I uh, I think it was OK Cupid, it oh, was more tame. Oh, he was God. like a guy. Wait, wait, what? 
No, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continue on. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. He, was, uh, he was very much into BDSM, like, dominant, um, submissive type stuff. And he's right away. I think it was just a directness kind of surprised me. He's like, oh, you want to be my slave? And I was like, well, ignore that. Because I was younger. Didn't know how to handle that. That's more tame, though. But yeah. But it was funny. Uh, I, I, I met a girl. And you should have responded, Kunta wait, Kente. Wait, no, okay. <laughs> no, I can't was here, right? So I met a girl, right? She had a slave. I'm like, why is this guy following you around? He's like, oh, he's my slave. I'm like, what? Yo, if she wanted water from, from the store, go, for, go get me some water. He'll go for, get a water. Whatever, Wait, what? she, whatever she said to do, mm-hmm. the slave would do. She had a slave. That's basically. normal. That's normal. Nice like, guy. Yeah. When, guy, there's guys that oh, will yeah. have girls put them on leashes. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. When, 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 when walk around with them. No, yeah. remember, remember when you, you uh, hit me up on live, on Instagram, that day you went live? Yeah. I joined a live? Yes. I was at a, a condo. Yes. Uh, remember that? Yep. And she had a slave there. I'm mean, like, who's this mm. this tall, bald head white white dude? That was Andrew. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and mm. whatever she said, he would do. And I was like, what's what's going on here? What? I was like, yo, this shit's crazy. Okay, it's true. It's oh, true. Okay. Yeah, because right. it's, it, he what he gets female attention. How yeah. else? How else does he get female attention in his life? He doesn't. So that's why he does that slave thing. Bro, that's he, that's super common. It's even with the cam that being that submissive and I'll do yeah. anything you say. That's the most common yeah. thing in the world. Oh. It's super common. But he, he drove four hours. To pick up her bags to buy her water. Yeah, but she's brave. She's really brave. Cause I don't know. If I was a chick, I wouldn't want some weirdo following me around. She's brave, right? There's a load. This kind of thing is offered to girls all the time. Yeah. But do you really want some dude in your house who's like wants to be a slave? What if he's obsessed with you and flips the switch? Exactly. And- yeah. 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 That's true. I got a crazy story for you guys. I'll go last because it's fucking wild. Uh but um, okay, so that's your story. I will I will say this. I've heard crazy stories, you know, of like girls getting paid like 10k a month to like, you know, show up at a dude's house on a weekend and like you know put him in a cage or beat his People ass or step on him weird kinks like eating like acting like a dog like literally eating kibble or like shitting in a diaper or pissing on you or being furries there's i mean i'm not judging but there's a lot of weird oh no we judging <laughs> <laughs> i'm, I'm judging judging today <laughs> y'all niggas crazy right. y'all be wild what about you okay so i kind of have like two stories one oh, was more so like the first story weird to me is like I had a friend, she was like a stripper and she was like, this guy would come in and he would pick out certain girls and then he would buy one bottle in a room, a private room. And they will go in one by one and he'll hand them the bottle and whoever can shove it up his ass the best, <laughs> he will pay them the most money out mm. of the whole night. And that's all he wanted. He would come in every week. What? And do the same thing, and I was like, "What?" what? She was like, "I was like, not me." Like, yeah. mm-mm. and um, for me, like, it was what was kinda, the bottle of? We need to get a size here. I don't know, but he had like hella money, so he would buy like really expensive bottles. Was it a big bottle? Probably. I don't. She didn't really describe exactly what type of bottle. But a I, bottle of crystal. She there? got me at bottle, uh, but. And I was like, oh, no, that's just too much for me. Oh, right. And then um, it's like weird, but I kind of like took advantage of the situation at the oh, same time. You don't say. So I was getting my security license at the time my aunt put me on. I was mm-hmm. the only one in the class. Okay. Upon me being the only one in the class, I had to learn how to properly search a person. Oh. So he was saying that. You could have used that the other night. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying that, you know, a guy can't really search a girl, but a girl can search a guy. So mm-hmm. he was like, out of respect, you know, I'll probably, he had like a plastic knife or whatever. He would, I would turn around, he would hide it or whatever. So I did the search. I was getting it wrong at first, but we did it like two times. By the third time, I noticed that he started acting like weird. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what's going on? And he started like kind of moaning a little bit. He was like, touch me right there oh, and touch me right there. And I'm like, I wasn't even touching him inappropriately. Like I was just really like just patting him. But and I'm like, what the hell? So he didn't, he just kept doing it. So then after he's just started saying all these things, like, hey, we can set up stuff. Oh, you should talk to me dirty. I'm like, I don't really do none of that. I was, I'm you know, like it was out of my whole world. Like I've never been in that position so but i'm like damn i need the security license <laughs> so i was like riding through i'm like okay yeah yeah yeah. he at first he was like you're gonna come back the next day do your fingerprint blah 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 mm-hmm. but he got so excited that he did everything that same day mm-hmm. and he thought i was dumb because you have to go somewhere else give them the paper your picture so they can make the actual hard copy mm-hmm. card so 
his excuse was after I got all the paperwork that I needed, I left. Like I just dashed out of there. Yeah, he of called me. He was like, Oh, you know, you got to do one more class. I'm not stupid. I'm like, I don't have to do stupid. one more class. So then I go there, but I went with at the time my boyfriend. He was in the car. So I'm like, okay, just in case fool gets crazy, mm-hmm. I got somebody in the car. Mm-hmm. So I go up there. Now I'm acting mad. Like now I'm acting real rude. I'm like, what you want? Da-da-da-da. So he's like, oh, why are you acting like that with me? And I'm like, bruh, you're weird as shit. Like you don't know I just played you out of a hole. So you, I didn't have to pay shit. You gave me. My, he even gave me my money back for the class and the license. Perfect. So I'm like. You just got played. So then he's like, what did I do to you? He chased me all the way to the car and everything. And I was cussing him out because I was like, you're telling me to come back to get the hard copy, knowing damn well I could go to Durrell and do that shit. Like, you dumb as fuck. And I sped off like, you stupid. So I got over, but it was like really weird for me. I was like, I'm... He could have locked locked you in there. But it was like, out of the the grace of God, I don't know why he never... Wait, wait, wait. (laughs) The grace of what? Out of the grace of God, like sorry, uh, <laughs> last girl who came on. No, 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 to the point where I was able to get out of there. And even when I got back, I didn't really go in his office. Like I was standing at the door, making sure the door was open. Like, cause I got weirded out just in that whole experience. Did he offer you pudding pop? I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's uh, very, but it was weird. Very, and... very strange. That's, that's yes. strange. Yeah, guy has a job pretty much to get patted down by chicks. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Miss uh, Chewy, well, former Chewy. Former, former. Chewy. Uh, I don't really know anyone personally, but I saw this one girl who said she made like 40k, I think, a month, um, just selling her farts. Yeah, in little, <laughs> yeah, in little, in little jars. She, put, oh, no. she would even put like a little petal in the jar to give it. She says like caught the scent more, and she would sell just little jars of her farts. Guys, how much was she I'm selling dead. per jar? <laughs> she had to be selling a lot of jars, yeah. bro. <laughs> I came back at just the right time. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, wild. Okay, so but she made forty k selling fart jars. Yeah, I believe it was like around forty k. Yeah. What was she eating? You're selling fart Here. that much? She, she like shared because she, she's like got a turn on TikTok, so she like shared her, her whole diet and she just like gorges all day, like stuff like beans, everything that you would possibly need. Oh to, like, God, wow. is she is she uh, fat? <laughs> no, she's beautiful. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very strange. And that's probably yes. why they want her farts, honestly. Oh, God. All right. Listen. <laughs> I have to take it to the grave, guys. I, I'm sorry I, pre- I, I, I plead the fifth. Man. I got to take it to the grave. There's a lot of experience right, you know, here. Listen, I got to take it to the grave. I mean, we've all had a typical, you know, a guy or like. You can tell us like, a, a friend story. Door, you can tell us like, a friend story. Your house. You can tell us a friend's experience. You don't got to tell us yours. I really don't have a friend's experience like that. Not Nothing like crazy like out of the box but tell us it in, in the third person I, that? <laughs> that would I, be can't. Really I can't i can't i can't i really can't she's that buzzkill i really got to move on really got to. Yeah, sorry yeah, guys whack whack <laughs> sorry guys yeah whack no. don't invite her back all right <laughs> what about you? wait who <laughs> uh, what, was the, what was the question like the strangest thing that ever happened to me yeah gotcha you. You. you stupid <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah like the the, the strangest uh, male experience that involves some kind of weird sexual innu- Either innuendo. Either you or a friend. Or a friend, or yeah. You know. Okay, so, like... Or the other way around. A girl did a dude grind No, I truck. have a Tinder story to tell ya. Oh, shit. How so, long ago was this? <laughs> no, this is, like, summertime. July. Oh, okay, recently. I was bored. It was, like, Thursday night. I was bored as fuck. So I was like, damn. Bored? Kind of want someone to come over. So I went on Tinder and I met this guy. He turned out to be a Marine, too. So I'm like, bet, we're both Marines comes over my house we're making out and shit and like y'all know what a tonsil stone is mm. oh, oh, yeah. that's yeah. just nasty I have not that's lived. Just, wait, no that's because his way. tonsil stone flung to the back of my throat oh, and had his no. head in the back of his head. what no. is that no wait 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no a tonsil stone I'm fresh <laughs> fresh <laughs> wait wait is fresh that oh. story went too fast I'm so sorry before I tend her to your house <laughs> yo what the fuck bro is me yeah I was about to eat some food after this. I'm, I'm sorry. What is no. that? Like a piece of like, like yo, we, I, I, yo, it was a t- his tonsil stone flew into the back of my throat. Oh. Mm. And what I had to do was 
spit it back in his mouth and act like nothing else happened. What? Oh, oh, no. A tonsil stone? All the night in my world Did you like Thank you, girl Look at that. Oh, that's hilarious, bro. You have to Google it on your free time. He didn't notice? You said you What? Started, started he acted like nothing happened. <laughs> oh, so he was playing it because... I was ew. just completely turned off to that. I was just like, right, did you wait? Did you tell him to go after, or did you keep making up? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> she, she took it to the wait. scene. <laughs> <laughs> did he smash? Got to see it through, my boy. She's like, it's got to see it. He definitely had to see through with that one. Yes. Yeah, got to and see that was it through, that. my boy. Yeah, yeah, after, that, I mean, after that night, I never spoke to him ever again. But the other night, actually, I yeah, saw. After that night. After that night, look, look, look. I haven't talked to him that long. I looked at my. My story the other night, I said, oh. Who's watching my story? He was watching my story. I said, Why are you watching my story? He was like, Why not? I was like, What is going on right now? Did y'all smash again then? Mm-hmm. No, absolutely not. Oh. But see, but see, but see was, was it bad the first time? Did it, when you smashed the first time, it was bad? This no little comment. tonsil stone ain't that bad, right? No comment. <laughs> it Wait. is. Yo, but see, she was bored on a Thursday night. <laughs> yeah. She wants someone to come over. <laughs> yeah. It's too late to find anybody else. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. No, I, Myra, 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 guys, I, I officially give up. <laughs> Jay, no, 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 first off, first off, first off, wait, you have to keep in mind that I moved here a few months ago and I didn't, I have, I moved here with no family or friends. No, no, I ain't touching you. <laughs> so how, how <laughs> else am I supposed to meet no, people? No, that's fine. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm just keep saying. I gotta put up with though. some tonsil stones. I gotta do it. Oh, bro. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I, I would have uh, quit. That's nasty. I can't. Go no, ahead. that was honestly Andrew, go ahead, go ahead, Andrew, go ahead. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, yo, sir. I can't. Where's the asteroid? <laughs> it's done. Take us all out. It's done. Yeah, it's time to end. Look, that was the final. He put an asteroid in her mouth. He, he put something that else was in her. easy. He put something else in her. Uh, what's the correct word we can use? Yeah. Got you. Her pocket. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's all, this is all haram. I give up. Bro, I give up. These what women are Beyonce. No, exactly. Haram. It's haram. It's haram. Beyond exactly. saving. Get it? Beyonce. Beyonce. All right. All right. That was an interesting story. Yo, I can hold Yo, you. you dedicated for that one. That was disgusting. <laughs> no, it definitely <laughs> was. Disgusting. It definitely was. Okay, moving on. I mean. Hey, thanks for telling us the story, though. That was awesome. Yeah. Great radio. <laughs> yo, yo. Niggas in the chat. I bet you never heard no shit like that before. No, I no, no, no. Either, no, no, no. Because I got crazy, crazy story, but that's, I that's, that's yeah. Guys, do me a quick favor and like insane, the goddamn bro. video, man. We're giving y'all a lot of entertainment, man. Eight thousand plus y'all in here right now, man. You know we got a lot of haters, you know, watching. So guys, like the goddamn video. Help us suppress the hate. All right, let's uh, go ahead, uh, Lena. Yeah. So there was this guy that I was dating, and uh-huh. you know, like later on when we was texting, he was like, you know, he want to see me. Fuck another nigga while he choked me. I was like, what? And then he asked me for like videos of my exes fucking me. So he. All the night in my world. Did you like it? Ain't it good? All right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm so serious. I want to make this up. I'm so oh, no. serious. Can you, can you say that one more time for the people in case they missed it? Hold on. <laughs> One more time. He messaged me saying that he wants to see me fucking another nigga while he choked me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so weird. That's weird. Then he sent me videos of like, you know, like two guys and a girl and like one took another hole. They all took another hole. Oh, no. I, mean, I was like, whoa, this is a girl's dream. I was, so, like, oh. <laughs> was it hot or what? No, I found it weird. I mean, you're like a point right now. So I, I, so I it's cold. It's very cold. Uh, right. It's right now. Cow. All yeah. right. Uh, who's cold. up next? Uh, <laughs> Miss uh, Miss uh, Vehicle. I'm just going to say backseat car. <laughs> All right. So the car, car, I had awesome. a friend. We were in class one day and we were just talking about like like our sexual experiences. Wait, wait, wait. Like... wait class. Uh, sorry. Middle school, high school. Like, please. You know. it, was, it was high school. It was right, high thank school. You. Thank you were 18, right? 18 over. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All the night. Yeah, yeah, she was 18. All right, go ahead. So anyway, continue the story. She so anyway, she was talking about her sexual experiences. She was like, oh, like, you need to try this. And I was like, what? She was like, fisting. And I was like, what, what the fuck is that? That's lit. And I was like, Ooh, where he grabs his whole fist and just shoves it what? up there. I was like, bitch, what the fuck? What? 
Mm-mm. I was like, there's no way that should fit inside you. She's like, yeah, we would fist each other. I was like, each what? Other. Wait, wow. each, other? each other? I mean, it's not that crazy of a story, but I was like, each other? Like, bro, are you good? Are you sure she wasn't <laughs> talking about, like, fighting each other? No, no, just full on. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. So she wasn't <laughs> talking about boxing. Okay. I mean, it's not that crazy, but I was just so surprised because at that time, I did not know a lot. Yeah, I mean, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, at 18, goddamn. Okay, you just went from zero to a, mil- a million right I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I'll consider it, but I don't think I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know, you're an earth science, uh, science class next to you. know, she'd be like, yeah, you know, let's it- talk about some butt science here and fucking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, hit, hit. She wants to hit you with the fucking. <laughs> she wants to hit you with the <laughs> of the butthole. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, shout out to all my Street Fighter people out there that know that reference. Uh, what about you? I know you got something crazy. Yeah. Um... Give it to us. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I actually have two stories. Like I have one like working as a stripper and one in Germany. So I was okay. still in Germany. I was 16. Uh, that's. So uh, I was on a dating app, a German dating app, and then this man he texted me, like he keep texting me, and I was like, Why he keeps texting me? And I was like, What do you want? And he was like, I want to be your money slave. I was like, What what is that? And he's like, Oh yeah, just you just be mean to me and I send you money. And I was like, oh. I was 16. I was like, yeah, I need that. And I am can be mean, so yeah. And he, we went on the Skype, and he explained, like, yo, you need to do that and that and take all my money. I was like, okay, I can do that. Like, he just wants to be, like, feel like he cannot pay rent, no nothing. So... I was like, okay. Make I me can't... poor? What the fuck? Yeah. So he was like, <laughs> I've heard of that. And he was like, <laughs> he get, like I gave him my PayPal. <laughs> Imagine being so rich that you gotta hire a chick. I, bitch, I need you to make me feel poor. Right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I gave him my PayPal and he sent me the money. He sent me his rent money. And I was like, <laughs> And what'd you do? <laughs> I was like, no, what the fuck do I have to do? He's like, just be mean. And then, like, I kept going, like, six What'd you tell months. Him? Six months. No, I would just be like, you Shut piece up, of bitch. shit. What's your me side? Wait, wait. Say, like, with the voice and everything. Say it so. with rossity. Yeah, rossity. Like, yeah, say it like how you would say it when you were right. talking to him. And uh, stare into the camera, okay? Ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at that camera right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, for all you pubs out there, yeah. you guys are going to get a free demonstration sit with of a girl chest. being mean to you, okay? And we'll get more on her OnlyFans. All right, go ahead. Already. <laughs> I was like, you're a fucking piece of shit. Your dick is little. Like, no girl wants you. Like, ew. Like, what the fuck? Like, you nothing. Like, you mean nothing. <laughs> but if I could say it in German, it would be funny. Say it in German. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that camera right there. Hey, 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 make the video, you perverts. I know you guys are watching this going crazy right now. I was just Fresh saying. Fresh movie out the way, nigga. All right, there you go. All right, Chris, Chris, a real one for the chat. All right, look in that camera and tell them to their eyes. Let them know what time it is. Say it in German. Du bist nix wert, du bist einfach scheiße und dein Schwanz ist klein. Keiner will dich. Alter, du bist so eklig. Alter, mit deinem ekligen Sack. Ich schwöre, ich könnte kotzen. Like, das das, das ist, weil du mir dein Geld geben musst. Like, weil kein kein Mädchen dich mag. Like. Oh, period. Sure. Period. <laughs> period. Period. Where is she said? Are there even periods in the German language? Uh, <laughs> he <translate>? Look at his face. Oh my god. Which city in Germany are you from? Um, Leipzig. That's two hours from Berlin. <laughs> Yeah, it is haram. You know what's most haram about it? Germany's an Islamic country. You know that. Oh shit! Mm. Germany's an Islamic country, isn't it? No, but we have a lot of Arabs and Islamic people. If the majority of people within a country are of a particular yeah, religious that's why faith. why I know what haram is. Yalla. Uh, uh, yeah, haram exactly. Inshallah, yeah. mashallah. Germany's an Islamic country. These actions are haram, my dear. You should know better. <laughs> <laughs> 
You shouldn't be doing these <laughs> what things. Is haram? <laughs> they won't tell me. What is haram? You don't know what haram is? Haram. Bro, if you're bringing me on the panel where girls don't even know what haram is? No. Hello? Oh, bro. What is haram? Oh, haram. I mean, your brother's here. Like, oh. We know who's haram. I'm ready to enact. Who is the This is haram. This is extremely haram. The German. Get the video, Chris. <laughs> well, this entire show has been extremely haram. I am here to punish. Oh no! All right, the Saudi Punisher is here. Bob Marley. Muhammad Castle is here. Okay. This, it's a plastic sword, ladies. Don't worry. It's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're looking at me like, oh, shit. This thing's serious. <laughs> so, uh. We put it to the side. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is very haram. I, I mean, this is haram even being here right now. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, man. Chill out, you know. <laughs> man, <it's> chill, boy. <laughs> cool yourself, you know. <laughs> um. All right, so what did you say in German there? Because I know that people are going to want to uh, translate. I said, this, oh, I said the same thing. Like, he has a little dick. He's not worth it. That's why he has to talk with me. That's why I have to oh, take damn. his money because he's not worth it. What kind of man do you want to end up with in future? What's your plan for an ideal man? My kind. Oh, that's. I'm curious. If, and is he German? <sighs> no, I don't like German men. Why? I don't like German men. Why? <laughs> fucking boring as shit. <laughs> Germans are born. You know what the thing that's crazy about German? German is the most literal language. So everything they say is very literal. So like, oh. you know, like Luftwaffe, right? That means like air armor. Everything is, is literal. Oh, yeah. So if you try and have dirty talk in German, it's like the worst. Either. It's the worst in the world. Because really? Like, yeah, like a nipple is like a chest wart. <laughs> What? Uh, what? How do you say? Yeah. See, yeah. Not a <laughs> so it's super literal. So, like, when you're trying to describe anything that's even sexual, it's just the worst description. <laughs> what the fuck? Like chest wart. Uh, what do you call uh, pubic hair again? Uh, oh, the... Translate it in English oh, in a literal translation. Hair is, uh... Anyway, basically, I forgot. It's all she does. Like, she does, She knows less German than me. The point is, it's all awful because it's the most literal language. Yeah. And I, I was, I was, I've lived a varied life, but I was in Munich. That's why I asked where she was from. I was in Munich. I was in the Kapinski, and this girl was chatting shit in German, trying to like turn me on or whatever. whatever. Yeah. And I knew enough. Aww. I knew enough German to say, "What my my chest? Or what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my, my sex stick? Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> like, it's just like it's the worst language. It's horrible. All of it's horrible. It's a good thing they'll all be speaking Arabic in a few years, and we'll be done. Oh, so, there we go. There you go. I'm telling you, we're we're killing them off, baby. We're killing them off. We're taking over. Yeah, uh, Germany is basically a Muslim country now. Like, give, literally, yeah. if you go to Hamburg, if you go to Hamburg, you, you may as well speak Arabic. Yeah, like, wow. you yeah. need to speak Arabic. There's no point speaking anything else. Like, yeah, it's full of. Salam, salam alaikum. Malikum that's salam. why. That's why she left, bro. That's right, because she wants to come here and be haram. Haram. <laughs> I, I, I had a um Arabic boyfriend and what? my sister. Did you wear a burqa? No. Well, this is the problem. Now look at you stripping. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. If I, I was would, him, I would I have you wrapped up. up. I would broke up with him. I would have had you wrapped but up. He's, uh, <laughs> he was he was obsessed with me, like obsessed, and that was crazy. That was not funny. Why? Mm. Like I don't know. He was obsessed with me, like. He like I broke up with him and he was like stalking me, yeah. telling that he gonna kill uh wait, wait, a wait, new wait. dude and everything. Like it was mm. damn. I mean, yeah. so don't I don't say it. words like you know, K I L oh. unlive, unalive. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to do this honor thing anymore. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> it's a waste of my time. What about you? Mine is just like a little funny, like a little funky. Um, I like made a new friend in grad school and he texted me one day. He was like, yo, Chris, oh, he's like, yo, Christine, can I borrow your bed sheets? And I was like, okay. <laughs> because you sleep in it. What? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's his face. I can only listen to half of these stories. <laughs> it's hurting my brain. Yeah, I, I made. You know what? Z, but there's the, the thing is. Listen, good ladies. I know this is the first time I've met many of you, but I'm like a, I'm a hyper professional. I'm a professional. So you don't realize you're trying to tell the story, and even in the first sentence, I've already deduced the whole story. I was in grad school. I made a new friend. Okay, so some dude's trying to fuck you. Like that's that's the beginning of it. And why did you even say he's your friend? He's never been your friend. You talked to a creep. Yeah. Like, finish the story. Was he a creep? 
Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So here we are from the very, very beginning, the first sentence. I'm like, well, duh. How the fuck are you falling for this shit? Bro, if I was a chick, my, my game would be out of radar, laser tight. I know yeah. all of it. All of it. I don't want to be your friend. Fuck off, Mr. Nope. Sheets. No, <laughs> sir. No, but he was like, um, my family is visiting, so I just needed like a extra pair of bed sheets or something. Did you give them to him? I did. Oh, I know you did. <laughs> see, <laughs> see how it happened. Of course you did. I know. <laughs> I, know I know. I know. I was like, rolled I up in that shit. <laughs> so you, so you, you, you <laughs> give this guy the bed sheets. Then what happened? Um. He, I guess he washed them and he gave them back to me. Well, <laughs> that's all. He didn't wash, he didn't wash them. He, he had a good night. He, he <laughs> Not after yeah, he used them. Bruh. What? Wait, no, he had a good you night. You <laughs> <laughs> took them back? You took them back? You took them back? Yeah. Wait, did you use them again? Yeah. Wait, that's your craziest story? You handed out bed sheets? What the fuck? Wait, did you use the sheets again? They're in my trunk. Oh no! Oh, oh, you still oh, have them, oh. bro. That was the most anticlimactic story <laughs> I've ever heard. You let off bed sheets. So weird. That's nothing. Yeah. What the hell? That's a Tuesday for for most people, man. God damn. Yeah, right. You know what? I have I have a worse story than most of these girls involving a dude. Let's do it. Ooh. Ooh. So I had a and I got a story after you. I, had a I got one too. All right. <laughs> The men are going to have to carry this again. We gave you guys a chance. Yeah, we have to carry it. We gave you a chance. We like the video. So we got 5.4K likes. Women can't tell a story. So let me know. <laughs> okay, I know my story. Was some, some, gay guy, some gay guy. Some gay guy got obsessed with me. Mm. Right? <gasps> at, at the height of my fight career, <laughs> I was kickboxing. I'm fighting all around the world. And there's this gay guy who starts messaging me on Facebook because I'm an old man. So I was fighting about 10, 11 years ago. He starts messaging me on Facebook. Hey, Tate, you're the best fighter. That I'm like, yeah, thanks, G. Like, yeah, you're the best at it. I was wondering, have you ever beat a guy up and fucked him? I was like, oh. <gasps> here, 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 here we, here we oh, go. So it's like, hey, have you ever beat a guy up and had sex with him? That would you, how much, how much would I have to pay for you to beat me up and have sex with me? I'm so gay. Someone needs to beat me up badly. Please, do you beat guys up and make them have sex with you? You're so alpha. You're so straight. That all this shit. How much? You're so straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Weird. How, how much? Yeah. To, I want your after your training, your sweaty t-shirt bed sheets kind of moves he's like hey how much for that da, da, da. anyway anyway so i'm like listen fuck off your weirdo so i block him on i block him on facebook and he keep making did you sell accounts. the t-shirt though i sh you know bro if i needed money and I, <laughs> no, but I, I, I still didn't sell him a t-shirt anyway okay. so i blocked him on facebook he kept making new accounts kept messaging me all this kind of crazy crap anyway about how Man. like yeah all this stuff then about six months after this and when i say this guy messaged me every day i mean every day with some new elaborate story and they were really elaborate really <laughs> long i'm walking down the street on the way to the shops and then i'm going to buy some milk and you look over my shoulder and you see i've looked at gay porn on my phone so you beat me up in the store and they're like this is crazy <laughs> so crazy oh, no. story where i beat the guy up and then i end up falling in love with him anyway so anyway <laughs> yeah i'm just ignoring this dude yeah holy weird so i'm totally ignoring this guy everything's fine with my life another weirdo online no big deal then i'm fighting to defend my world title fight and i'm defending to uh fight to defend my world titles in brighton england i'm at the back and anyone who's fought professionally knows that the scariest part of fighting isn't the actual fighting is when you're waiting to fight you're sitting at the back and you're like, come on. It's like waiting for a car crash. It's like, oh, fucking hurry up. So I'm sitting at the back, sitting at the back, sitting at the back. And I always used to sit on my phone to distract myself. So I'm sitting on my phone, boom, and I get a message from this dude. And it's a picture of the ring <laughs> oh. that I'm about to fight in. Oh, and I'm like, no, I'm like, no way. He's out there. This guy <laughs> is out in the crowd. No way. I'm like, okay, well, he can't really get me. I'm, I'm more scared of him than my opponent. <laughs> He's been stalking me for ages. Joe. So I, 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 I swear to God, and I'll, I'll have to find the video. It's the only world title fight where I'm walking to the ring and I'm walking kind of like. <laughs> Looking around. Because <laughs> I don't know what he looks like. I don't know. He could be anyone. He could be any of them. I, swear, I still won the fight, right? But I actually swear to God, there's been a time that was in between a round. Like I blocked the jab, I jabbed him, and I I, I stepped back, and I was and literally, I swear to God, I was thinking uh, that dude must be fucking jizzing in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was weird. I was fighting and worried about some raging homo ten meters from me. Strange, strange, strange. And after that, I stopped advertising my fights on Facebook. That's, that's the story. That's oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, shout out to all the the guys out there that choose the alternative lifestyle. No, no offense to you guys, but come on, man, he's a heterosexual guy, man. You know. Come 
come on, man. Pick and choose your battles, guys. That's right. All right. Um, so you want to go first or me? Uh, ooh. All right. I'll tell my I'll tell my story. Wait. So, um, oh, I think I've only told this one on Patreon. So, all right. There's a girl, right? Uh, that that I used to uh, talk to. And, uh, you know, she's uh, she's pretty famous in her home state. I won't say the home state, but she's a pretty famous dancer slash OF content creator at, in her play, in her location of business, right? And there's this guy that would come into her club and say, hey, listen, I need you to poop in this bag and give it to me every week. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you got to be on a vegan diet. And she's like, okay. So she gives him, and he wanted it hot. So he'd go to the, the spot that she works at. He'd pick up the bag, okay? And just for purposes of YouTube, I'm going to use certain words so that I don't get triggered. All right, I don't alert the YouTube algos. And um, he would get the bag, and he would pay her like 2K a week. So this chick is like making like 8K a month just for pooping in bags. It's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And then one day, she's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to eat some goddamn chicken wings. This vegan diet sucks. Because anybody that's been on a vegan diet, I'll tell y'all, niggas, that shit is trash. The, the food is gross, man. Y'all vegans, man. Shout out to you guys, man. You guys love animals and everything, but bro. Vegan food fucking sucks. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I, I already know what's going to happen right now. I'm going to hit with, get hit with all the politically correct people with the... How, how dare, dare you? you? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, anyway, vegan food sucks. I said it. It is what it is. It tastes horrible. But, you know, I did feel good when I was on a vegan diet, but I lost a lot of mass. The, the point is, so she said, fuck this shit. I'm going to eat chicken wings. The dude comes in, takes the bag from her, eats it, right? Whatever the hell. He calls her back. <laughs> Bitch, you had chicken. I could taste oh, it. God. And I was like, what the hell? Oh, and he cut her off, bro. He cut her off. He stopped, he stopped fucking well, paying her. her. Oh, stopped talking no. to her. And he knew. Diablo. Yeah, and he fired her. Uh, so, yeah, that, she, she had that, job. that is a professional man. I like that he takes his job seriously. It's very serious. Wow. Shout out to us, nobody. That is crazy. Wow. So, uh, yeah, guys, um, shout out to all my <laughs> vegan ninjas out there. <laughs> shout out to all my people out there that like chicken wings as well. Yo, yeah, <laughs> that story was crazy. Right, that's, that's oh, man. What? Okay, Fresh, you want to go next? On. That that was I actually know the girl too, which is funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. She's actually a really cool chick. Yeah, she's cool. Really, really down to earth. But yeah, she, yeah. yeah, that was a. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So my, mine good. is not as elaborate as that one. Okay. But um, so I used to work at AT. I'm not sure where I used to work. I used to work at a company, right? <laughs> AT&T, nigga. And I used to, <laughs> over to make Stupid. phone calls. And one of my coworkers, right? One day his car broke down, so he needed to ride home. So Marco, I got you, bro. Don't worry. Mind you, it's like 11 at night. So we're going home. He's like, yo, bro, you're going to meet my girl. She's super cool. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, whatever. So we put up this house, right? There's two parking spots. They're both full. I'm like, bro. Is it in your car here? Oh, no, no, it's not here. You got some other people coming to my house. I'm like, why are they at your house? Oh, they're friends of my girl. So, all right, cool, whatever. I just parked by the side. We walk inside. And I go to his, like, living room, right? So, we're there waiting, whatever. Um, And then I'm just chilling for a little bit. And then his girl walks in. I'm like, okay, cool. My name's uh, Fresh, whatever, boom, boom, boom. Nice to meet you. And then I see her pull out a book. And it's a book of names all crossed out. And I'm like, uh, what is this? He said, oh, that's my girl's book. I know, but like, what are these names? Like, all oh, the guys that come to see her. I'm like, what? Now, mind you, back then, back page was a, was a thing. Uh -huh, so yes. what happened was, like, when he was working at a job, she would have guys come to the crib, and they would smash. And she would write on everybody's what? name and cross it out. And let me tell you, that book was full of pages. Like, from start to finish. Mm -hmm. I was disgusted. And I asked him, bro, why are you letting your, your, your girl do this? He was like, yo, extra money? And let's work for me. But real talk for me, bro. Uh, I was disgusted. Mm. So mind you, your girl is gonna plow out every single day, and you're at work, and she's like random with random dudes from Backpage. That was crazy, bro. Oh wow, that's crazy. Mm. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And that's the bottom line. Fuck don't go set up. God damn. But at that moment, so I knew how thirsty niggas, niggas were because, like, bro, this chick was not. Pretty, pretty at all. Oh, really? She's yeah, terrible. Oh. Yeah, but did she eat chicken? <laughs> 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 all right, man. That was that was fucking hilarious going through those stories, man. Guys, <laughs> like the goddamn <laughs> video. And then now we're gonna turn to the ladies to grill the guys. Okay. Um, you know, as you guys know, we grill you guys quite a bit. Not grilled chicken in this case. But uh, <laughs> you guys have any questions for the guys on the panel or maybe a male perspective on something? You got a multi-millionaire a four-time kickboxing world champion over here. You got uh a Bayesian guy over here. And then you got some random Arab dude here that puts on multiple cultural hats. Yeah, what's so the question? questions we're here. And uh, last thoughts. Oh, wait, hold on. You know what? Hmm. Let's open up the phone lines. 
They heard all the crazy stories. Guys, phone lines are open, okay? Uh, the number is 505-605-9740. Again, that number is – do we still have it up, Chris? Yep. Okay, 505-605-9740. As you guys know, on Fridays we do call-in shows. Um, so, yeah, we're going to interact with y'all a little bit and uh, take some phone calls. Yeah, like the first 10, 5, you know. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, – and then, guys, if you want to cut the line – Super chat the last four digits of your number, and Chris will put you to the head of the queue. All right. Uh, Muhammad Newell Hassan. Uh, Tate's Mind Hacks to Unlimited Motivation video was a game changer for me. I hope I can meet him one day after joining the War Room. Thank you, sir, for your contribution to men. Hashtag Wudan. Join. Take action, guys. Uh, we got a link also for the War Room as well in the uh, top of the description. Uh, Christian Fordre. Here is the thing, guys. Those countries with strict immigration policies don't have a colonial past. The Western countries col colonize the world. For instance, I'm from Cameroon. French colony, they stole. Okay. 20 bucks, MC heavy tits. Okay. This is my first time seeing Andrew Tate without sunglasses. He is sexy AF. Andrew, you want to drop your Instagram for her? It's a her. It's a her, right? I hope so. Who knows it now? Don't listen. Next time, if that ever happens to me again, I'm getting out the ring. Cobra Tate, C O B R A T A Z. And it's a verified account, so you'll know it's him, okay? Uh, Christian, uh, uh, crush, cr oh, there we go. Christian Faudre, countries like Korea or Japan don't have centuries of looting like England or the U.S., so it's okay for them to be and, and to be conservative. Okay, uh, we got uh, the Westfield Society, <laughs> Nicholas, Nicholas, all the way from Australia. That's the that's a fact. Uh, Bill Cosby, okay, with the Bill Cosby oh, photo. Here we go. Strange story. I met this girl out and about, wanted to smash, so I went and did my regular routine. Wink, wink. Took her home, got to business, and mid session she wakes up and says. You're paying for it, Bill. <laughs> what? So she was a prostitute and he didn't know that? No, no. no. Bill Cosby? He's pretending he's Bill Cosby. Yes. Oh, oh hey, never mind, Bill. <laughs> That's before hey, their yo. time. They don't know the, they don't yeah, know about yeah, yeah. the, the Cosby show. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's way before, 23, that's way Bruh. before your time. Really? Who are you, nigga? Cosby shows in not, like the, the 80s and that. 90s, man. Early, late 80s and early 90s. <laughs> the uh, internet is so weird. Who are these people? <laughs> 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 Bro, we got so many trolls. The FBI showed up. Bill Cosby's in here. The FBI. Did Where's that up. asteroid? You know what I'm saying? Someone just made an account called Where's That Asteroid? Yo, y'all got me huh. dead, bro. Okay, 20 bucks. Tyson asked, Andrew looked like he was fed up with the entire male gender after hearing all of those stories. <laughs> uh, and then here's Andrew right here. Where's that asteroid? I have I ha I I give up. up. This, this is haram. haram. <laughs> Yo, culprit. <laughs> Literally just made that account now. <laughs> Yo, culprit. Beyonce, I just ordered walkie-talkies. Now I need to find a hyena. To Ebony, when I get them DSLs, you can't use those Hulk hands. You will make my baby maker look small with that orangutan <laughs> grip. You still man? bad. What Hashtag no sipping over here. Please, who is he talking to? Who the fuck is that? Who is he talking to? Is it you? You? I, I, I don't know who's talking about. Yo, real talk. I think this nigga's name is Jigsaw, bro. Like. <laughs> uh, okay, what else do we got? Okay, then we got Jesse Salazar Tate. Don't know if my last uh, SC went through. Uh, what you do you think it takes to become a man of your grit and masculinity? I've never strived to become such a man as you until I discovered you. I used my credit card to buy this. Give me a Don DeMarco. I got you, bro. You got you to invest in yourself. But you got to get in Hustlers University, my friend, if you want to really real demanded. secrets of money. But go ahead, Andrew. No. You nailed it. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. It's the same answer that I gave over and over again. A, a female, the best you can hope for for a female is for her to have a nice, happy life. Trauma doesn't really add to the benefit of a female. Facts. A female doesn't need trauma to grow into a, a respectable person who can have a nice, varied, enjoyable life. As a man, you need to go through trauma. You need to go through difficult periods. You need to go through things which are extremely uncomfortable to become any kind of man of value. Every single woman on this panel, if you were to ask her to describe the kind of man she wants, she would describe a man who she thinks makes her feel safe, who is dominating, who is smart, who is charismatic, who is interesting, etc. You cannot be all of those things by accident. Any man who grows up with a very, very easy life, who never goes through anything, who's born with a silver spoon in his mouth, is the exact kind of punk bitch these women don't want to touch, right? right. As a man, you need to suffer and you will survive and you need to internalize it, not become a weirdo, accept that the trauma is going to make you strong enough to become the kind of man that's respected by society and you need to use it for your 
own advantage. Every single man out here, the man that you're going to love the most has been through the most crap. That's why women love gangsters. Mm-hmm. He's been through a bunch. Mm-hmm. This, this he's been shot. This guy's been shot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. As a man, if you have not been through extremely difficult processes, you're never going to be a high value man. So when you ask me that question, the answer is an answer you're not hoping for because likely you've been avoiding trauma your whole life. If you weren't already avoiding trauma, you wouldn't already be a fucking punk because you can find trauma yourself. You can go get in the boxing ring. You can go get in the cage. You could go to war. You could join the Marines. You could do a whole bunch of stuff, but you don't want to do any of it, right? And you're hoping I'm going to give you some quick fix. There is no quick fix. There is no replication. There is no way you can falsify on a long enough timeline to convince anybody on any serious level that you are about it unless you're actually fucking about it. So the answer is if you want to be a man of distinction, you need to go and suffer. That's your answer. There you go. God damn. Yeah. yeah, the reality is, guys, I say this to all the fat people as well that want to lose late weight quickly. There's no short-term solution to long-term problems, okay? You need a long-term solution to fix long-term problems. That's the reality. Correct. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, fresh and fit first, phone lines on the after hours. Okay. So uh, let's hit the phone lines. Um, right. uh, and uh, Lucky, uh, 4574. 4574, you're on the Fresh and Fit What's podcast with Andrew Tate and nine lovely ladies. What's up? Uh, what's your question or comments? Going once. Hey, what's going on, man? Yo, what up? Hey, um, I just want to say I got my two favorite uh, Red Pill content creators, and that's Coach Greg Adams and 33 Seatricks. So my question is to you guys. Sure. Um, you guys, why you guys haven't invited 33 Seatricks? I mean, we're not opposed to working with other guys, bro. It just, uh, you know, we have a very busy schedule, so it is what it is. But no, man, if he reaches out, whatever, we can maybe maybe make something yeah, happen. Tell him to come. Yeah. All right, next. Uh, 7052. Shout out to 33 Secrets, guys. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He puts out good information. He does. Yeah, shout out to him. And shout out to Coach Greg Adams as well. That's one of our homies. Go get the free agent CJ lifestyle. Coach gang in the building. Hey, man, we show love to everybody, bro. Uh, who's up next? 7752. 7752. You're on the air. What's up, caller? What you got to say? Going once. Going twice. Sold. Uh, zero nine nine zero, zero nine zero zero, zero nine nine zero. Yep. Yo, what up? What's Welcome up, to the Freshman Podcast. Hey, we can hear you. Doing tonight? We're chilling, man. How y'all doing tonight? We're bad, chilling, man. man. Great day. Uh, great hey, night. I've been, watching, I, I, I've been watching you guys since you uh, had Better Bachelor on. Okay, cool. But uh, it's it, it's been a minute. But I, I got I got a question for the ladies. Because I'll I be watching y'all, and I, I notice that they do a lot of uh, smiling and grinning uh, on some of these questions. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm really wondering how many of these women are really taking this stuff serious? Uh, <laughs> probably zero. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. In terms of what? Yeah. Taking yeah. what serious? Like, what are y'all saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, oh. just, just any of the questions that are asked to y'all, you know, uh, you know, uh, as far as, uh, you know, just, just say any of the questions, you know, because y'all be laughing at a lot of this stuff. I mean, do you expect us to be bawling our eyes out <laughs> when people go against? Well, no, I'm not expecting you to be bawling your eyes out, but I mean, it, it, right. it's just, you know, men, 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 men really do have it hard. And, and y- y'all think it's uh, a lot of times I, I look at y'all like and y'all be taking it like it's a joke. We oh, I'm it. sorry. Do you want me to suck your toes? <laughs> We take everything man with a grain it. of salt. Yeah, literally everything's with a grain of salt. Feel me? Like we could care less yeah. about you. What say men what say. you want to say about females. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person that everybody has their own journey. You feel what you feel, and if I'm not feeling what I feel with you, who's to say I have to bring it up? It's all in my head. You'll never know what's in my head. Period. You'll never know mm. if what you said bothered me because I keep a straight face. It's called mm-hmm. discipline. Mm. Feel me? Her. It's called Marines. Then unhappy because you would rather have the bag than have a man. Have the what? The bag the before bag. a man. You can get both of them. I mean, I you can get both. But the both. thing is, sure. I am my bag and I don't need no man. Period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this ain't, you know, I'm a grown ass woman. I get my own bag. I don't mm-hmm. need no man. I've been single. I'm actually divorced in 23. Thank you so much. 23. <laughs> um, caller, I, I kind of let that play out because I wanted you to f- see it with your own two eyes and experience it that women really don't give a fuck about your struggles, bro. They they wait at the finish line and pick the winners, bro. That's the that's the cold, hard reality that I want guys to understand that watch and listen to our podcast. Like, 
here's the thing, bro. We definitely have shows where we talk about getting over RP rage. We talk about, you know, overcoming obstacles as a man. We talk about overcoming sadness, depression, whatever it is. Um, and you know, we give you all the cold hard truth because you just saw from their reaction right there. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And, and like, and that was their that was their hard instinct to literally shit there, clown you, roast shit on you, you. Yep. in front of everybody, and not give a fuck. And I let it play out because I wanted you to experience it firsthand, live. That women really don't give a fuck about men, guys. They care about a small percentage of men that become something. If you're a loser, you're invisible to women, and that's the cold hard reality. Me and Andrew talked about this at length. Since the beginning of time, only about 40% of men have procreated, whereas about over 90% of women have procreated. What does that tell you, bro? Women have no problem ostracizing men outside of the sexual marketplace and allowing them to procreate. They, they don't give a fuck. They're going to pick the best. So with that said, you have a choice to make. You can either A, adapt to the cold, hard situation and uh, become better, or B, you can you know kind of sit there and be like, yo, well, you guys should give me some sympathy, whatever. Yeah, they'll give you the little sob thing. Oh, you know, it's okay. You know, they'll play this shit. <laughs> But then they're going to laugh behind your back, say you're a fucking pussy, and go suck the chat, bro. That's yep. the reality of, of the world, man. And, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many guys want to be able to give girls a piece of their mind, and you stupid bitch, you're going to stay single, and blah, blah, blah. That sounds great on paper, guys, but women rarely suffer the consequences of their bad mistakes early in their life when they're still young and beautiful. They're going to get everything they want. Niggas with boats, money. Etc. All these girls have told you they've been invited to exclusive parties. You know what I'm saying? And they're all in their 20s. What do you think? You think oh, we're going to get invited to that shit? No. Girls have it easy up front, right? Not, no offense to you, ladies. But women are born millionaires and die poor if they don't get married to the right guy. Men are born poor and only become rich if they put in the work. That's the reality, man. So, right. you know, I don't mean to go on a rant here, but I really wanted to, like, illustrate naturally at like what happens when a man tries to get a woman to sympathize with their reality. They don't give a fuck, bro. And you just saw it just now. My thing is, why do you care if you get what you want? Mm. You know I me? Mean? So I don't know, brother. Yeah. But no, man, thanks for calling into the show, bro. And I didn't mean <clears throat> to like, you know, put you down there, but I just got to keep it real with you, man. All right. Uh, seven, zero, five, two. All right. Let's go. And fast. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. He's gonna sell that jar for extra. Yeah. 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 Outside opinion, hundred bucks. Shout out to Chris and his forehead. Myron almost missed me earlier. Never thought I'd get both Myron and Fresh to read my chat and both f up. Shout Tim Cast IRL and Better Bachelor. Y'all, y'all's collabs are why I started watching and you completely took over my YouTube. Thank you so much. Thanks, and we're gonna be back on Tim Cast this month, guys. Yeah. I'll have a, a solid day for you guys very soon. But we're gonna go back on Tim Cast. We're gonna discuss some criminal cases. What's up? All right. What? Grant Cardone. When's the event? Oh, that's the third. That's next week. Tim Cast the week after. Oh, cool. we're good. Good. <laughs> Busy. Uh, yeah, uh, we're making some moves behind the scenes for you guys. All right, next call. 8495. Hey, guys, you got some lovely ladies on the panel. You got Andrew Tate on the panel, man. So feel free to, uh, you know, talk to them. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, uh, can y'all hear me? What's up, man? What's Welcome to the podcast. What's your question or comment? Yeah, hey, I just wanted to know uh, what your thoughts are on that uh, drugged out crackhead fool. I know Jumper talking shit about Joe. Uh, we have no clue who you're talking about. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> are you talking about like the Bing Bong guy? Bing Bong. There's a Bing Bong guy. On, uh, that rapper fool from No Jumper. He was talking shit. Who? Okay, we don't care, bro. Not aware. I mean, we're not at, very at aware. this point, everyone is talking about us, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's holidays. No, no, that's just foul. Cause he he went to our studio, y'all invited him to our home. Mm -hmm. That's foul. I mean, well, now you now you see kind of how people move, bro, and you got a choice to make. You know, you going. <laughs> you know, all right. We would never do that to somebody, but it is what it is. If people talk smack, smack about us, it is what it is. At it's this point, is, it's, it's just at this point, bro. You got to understand. I've come to realize this. Every time we we trend on the internet, for example, we had the thing with academics with the girl in the blicky, right? Prior to that, we went viral for me saying women don't want, want a traditional man without being a traditional woman. Prior to that, uh, you know, um, we went viral uh, spiritual world on spiritual world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shade room. 
Terrible. Like we've went viral so many times. We're all star hip hop, etc. Anytime we spike in the algorithm or people start like seeing us trending, they immediately make a hit piece on us or start talking about us, bro. So whatever, man. It's a business move. It is what it is. People just are attacking us to attack at this point. So we don't know all the who who all the detractors are. Yeah, I so, mean it's a uh, holidays. You know, it is what it is. Right? Yeah, man. We keeping it positive over here, bro. All right, all right. Anything else? Yes, sir. Keep it up. All right, thank, thank you, man. Cool, man. We're gonna keep it, giving you this heat, man. Appreciate the support. All right, uh, zero one eight four. What's up, caller? Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. This is going to be a good hello, one. What's hello, up, man? Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm fresh and fit. You guys look awesome. I just wanted to know, Andrew Tate, how does it feel to be in a Shiron Bugatti if you do have that car? What do you mean, if? What do you think I lied to you? That's next thing. Uh, no, I don't. Do you think yeah. I lie? No, no, it's genuine. You think I lied? I didn't lie. So it's not an if. I'm. You have to be very precise with your language. I'm gonna. Answer, I'm gonna give seconds. you. I'm gonna answer a different question for you. I'm gonna tell you something else. The biggest mistake people make on Earth is usually language related. The first thing is the way they are, right? Even these phone calls. Most of you cannot speak. You cannot speak concisely. You cannot speak correctly. You. It's um. It's ah. It's uh. You're not gonna get very far in life if you cannot translate the ideas inside of your mind into the ideas of someone else's mind in a succinct manner. So you need to practice speaking. Most of you can't even speak English. I, and I mean that I, I do not consider you. Seconds. I do not consider you English speakers. It's so bad. That's the first thing. The second thing you have to be very, very careful with the words you use. Don't use the word if, unless you mean it. I take that as an insult. I take that as a direct attack. So either you directly attacked me or you're imprecise with your language. And it was an accident, both of which are unprofessional. So for that reason, I'm not going to answer your question. Nice. All right, go. All right, caller. And and here's the thing. I, I'll I'll tell you this, caller. Um, because it, a lot of people ask me about this. Hey, Myron, how are you able to speak so confidently? Blah blah blah. Well, that comes from my from my law enforcement background. When I when I ran cases, you'd have to get out in front of a board, and you'd be able to you'd have to tell them, Hey, I need you guys to stage at this side of the house, and you guys to do this. Hey, this is the person. This is the picture. Of what he looks like. Always speak in the active voice. Okay. If I'm going to keep it nice and simple, English class for you guys. When, especially when you deal with women, you need to speak in the active Ten voice. Seconds. No, I feel like I think if n none of this, like, you know, uh, halfway language, it's got to be um, deliberate, concise and to the fucking point. All right, man, that will help you immensely, especially when you communicate with women, bro. Women need a leader and they look for a leader. When you use language that is unsure, they're not going to be sure about you. All right. So always active voice, especially when you talk to women. And then when you address other guys. You know, they might take your unsurety as you're a pussy, bro, as Andrew just uh, <laughs> identified just now. So always speak in the active voice, my man. Say what you mean and mean what you say. All right. All right. Uh, two, three, five, five. Two, three, five, five. You're on the air. Welcome to Pressure Podcast. <clears throat> uh, hello. Uh, how are you guys doing today? What's up, man? Hey. Uh, I just wanted to call in. Uh, I, I tried to call in at the earlier show uh, just to give you guys my support. Um, I know... You guys have been going through some shit, but you know what? I salute you guys. You know, you have the army of haters and you guys still just fight through it. Stay on top of your game. That is admirable. Thanks, bro. I, I do. Thank you for, for Thanks. the support, man. I, I appreciate it, bro. Uh, you know, obviously this always happens, you know, like they make a hater video and then they all come and dislike the video and talk shit and say we're frauds and then you know that happens for a bit and then they go back and then we go we go trending again then they come back and talk more shit yeah, yeah i'm starting to see the rhythm here and, and the pattern so it's part of the game man yeah it's so part of the game bro they, it's, uh, uh, it's eat, annoying you know? but and to lighten up the mood too i want to on a positive on a positive note <laughs> uh, i got a question for andrew tate go for it um, can you bring up the story about Luke the man again? That shit was hilarious. Oh, Luke the man. <laughs> Luke the man. Yeah, that's a good story. But I don't, I don't like repeating my stories. But um, it's out there on one of the other Fresh and Fits. But yeah, Luke the man was the man. Luke the man originally was the man. You know, what? I'd love to know what happened to Luke the man because I'm pretty sure by now he's man. He must probably shacked up with some fat bitch. Or something. <laughs> but Luke the man was the man. That's an old, that's another episode. You'll have to watch one of my old Fresh and Fits to, to find out. Check out the last episode. Uh, he breaks down uh, Luke the man. Actually, we probably have a timestamp on that, man. So yeah. Uh, yeah, man, go check that episode out, guys, if you want. But hey, we got a bunch of people on the line. Yep. So uh, so we're going to move on. Thank you so much for the support, bro. Like I said, man, you guys are showing crazy love and you guys are the cold to the furnace. And then, um, guys, if you want to skip the line, by the way, 
Um, send a super chat in with your four, the last four digits of your number, and then we're going to prioritize highest yeah. to lowest, and then we'll go back to the regular phone lines after the super chats. 20 and up, no, like two bucks, you know. Fuck it, you know so. No, I mean, if they donate with the number, bro, yeah, we'll, we'll tip, just we'll tip it by a number. A couple more. No. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's go 3553. All right. Go ahead. 3553. Remember, guys, we got some lovely ladies on the panel. Andrew. Yo. My man. Yo. Thank you. You ran fresh. You know what I mean, you know, I just keep doing you, man. You got it. shout out to you, bro. Thank you for the love and support. Yeah, why are you sound so Appreciate low, it, dog? Bro. Why are you sound so low, bro? No, he's high. Next, Nick, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you high? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Nick, you high, bro? <laughs> what? Nah. <laughs> I've been doing the dance, man. I'm tired, bro. Nigga, you high. Okay. Next. Right. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Hey, no, man, call them to support, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to you. Thanks, fam. Uh, 8784. 8784. Nigga, still leaning back. Just chilling. It's like, yo, I'm in the shit. Shout out to bro, bro. 8784. Go once. Twice. All right. Uh, All right. 47770. Four, seven, seven, <laughs> Go ahead, man. You're on the air. My red. <laughs> all right i guess that one is sold as well and no answer yeah. hey guys by the way uh blog talk radio is closed now but if you called in before you are now in the in the queue so you got your spot locked don't 8910. worry 8910 oh he's trying to find it okay yep. and then we got 3460 Yo, as well hundred your fresh calling and roast chris man that should yeah, be fresh. funny yeah, i know oh man uh let's see all right let's uh for now let's try um Five six seven one. All right, five six seven one. What's up? Yo yo, can you hear me? Yo, got yep. you. Uh, I was. My question was, um, because like lately I've been seeing like, uh, um, like on the street I've seen like this lady like try to challenge challenge a guy like to a fight, and she just got stomped <laughs> out. I've been wondering like why are women out here like, why do they question? or just don't know the damage a man can really enact upon them. Let's ask the ladies. Um, have you ever challenged a guy to a fight, or do you think you can fight a guy? <laughs> no. No? Miss Tran? No? no? It depends. No. Okay, it depends. Tell, uh, uh, Jeremy, you look like you will fuck somebody up, no? No, I I could go, but I know I'm going to lose because at the end it's a man. Okay. Mm. What about you, Miss Cuba? I mean... To the mic, I, said I have a little experience in fighting, not too much. Not with a, a man, though. But like, if he's like the same size as me, type shit, like I could. You beat like, his ass. I know a couple of takedowns, type. <laughs> like okay. What? Not too much, but yeah. Like... <laughs> I mean the uh, got got three thousand takedown. Yeah, the ball. No, yeah. no, I used to do kickboxing for a yeah. couple months. So okay. Oh, okay. So, I can yeah, defend chat, myself, try, but I'm not gonna challenge someone that I can't. <laughs> That I know I'm not going to be. Would you fight him? For sure not. No. <laughs> definitely not. Especially because he has won a couple of fights. Like, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> a couple, a couple of fights? Well, imagine. I don't know how many. I don't know how many. Like, I mean, he's a world champion. Anyway. All right, exactly. He's a world champion. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. Uh, a couple I, fights, couple I, I only did kickboxing and Muay Thai for a couple months. <laughs> Yo, That's months? It. Months, literally. That's why I'm saying, like, no. no. All right, like, what about yeah. you? What about you? Uh, I don't put my hands on guys, but I'll just pay niggas to just beat him up if he hit me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Niggas, yeah. niggas, yeah. Up. niggas on your ass. Yeah. All right. What, you should. Uh, what about you, Miss Marine? Yeah, I don't really fight men. I mean, I have like when I was doing um Marines, like map and shit like that, but that was pretend. But like in real life, I would never hit a man. But it's like question: Did the military make you aware of the force that men really have and make you understand that you can't compete with one? Mm, kind of wake you up okay yeah all right but i never really was like oh my god damn i'm so scared to leave my house a man's gonna knock me out one day no no no. i mean as in like like did it like put into perspective like how physically inferior women really are to men and i'm not saying that to be sexist or anything but it's, mm, it's the truth like women are not aren't. really Sorry. because i never i never really ever experienced a man hitting me full force so uh, I really don't it was know. always like in, in role when you were training it was always doctor. training you know what i'm saying oh, it I was thought, just so, so they took it easy on you when y'all were practicing it was like Training, like, okay, this is what you do. Take the arm and fucking. It was just, uh, just like, okay, let's just run. How about you show me right now what you learned? Oh, 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 o
Hold on. I want to see the microphones. Are we going to do this? We should do this. I'm really curious. Like, what, you I take have a my dress arm. on. You, so you, you take my arm and beat me up. I want to see this. I'm really no, curious. No, no. You do the takedown on him. He ain't going to do it on you. There's not enough room for that. So sorry. No, there definitely is. <laughs> Next caller. <Whoa. laughs> She's shaky now. All right. Uh, what about you? No. Have I'm you ever tried like, to fight a guy? No. Like, no, not, not in real life. No, not like actually for real, for real. I mean, I'm a big girl, so I've slap boxed and, uh, you know. <laughs> slap boxed. <laughs> yeah, but they, he like, that's, that's maybe like my freaky story. Maybe. That's maybe like my this. freaky story. Uh, okay. Slap boxing uh. the guy, he liked it. Man, he yo, it funny. whose aunt is this, bro? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> God I'm damn! Whose no, house is this? I'm whack! Yeah, man. All right, go ahead. You got the wine glass is up there. Is that a gauntlet? Right is that a gauntlet? Yeah, up on the heat game. Get him out of here! Get I'll be back. Out of here. I'll be back. All right, what about you, Chewy? I'm tiny as hell, so no, I would never try to hit a guy. Or okay. I wouldn't think I could. All right, what about you, Miss uh, <laughs> Pat and Nick is down? <laughs> um, <laughs> immature me, I've hit a couple guys before. And what happened? I remember, like, they never... Right. It was always in, like, Okay, so some were in defense because because I'm so skinny and some certain like actions or whatever, I will cuss somebody out, but they always feel like they can put their hands on me, so I'll defend myself. And then there was that one time I like really punched the shit out of my ex. And it was more so like I feel like you're trying me. So it was like a entitlement in me, but I've learned not to put my hands on people like I'm not gonna challenge nobody no more. Put some respect just, on my name. <laughs> like I probably smacked the shit out of you, didn't he? Somebody. No, he never hit me back, but it was just the simple fact of he he walked away from it. But it was the simple fact of he was like, you just really like violated. What if I retaliated and really hit the hell out of you? Now you're crying, calling police, trying to put me for domestic violence, and how like a lot of girls do, they provoke the man, they hit the man, beat on him when he retaliates. Now they call it that. Like, oh my God. Yo, you lucky, like, bro. Most dudes would have like, taken that shit like, oh, really? Get over here. And then next thing you know, it's like, <laughs> and then, which is true. So. And then <laughs> it's a wrap when the cops show up, bro. That nigga got a <laughs> literally. Yes, in the he was fight, a very man. patient person, but <laughs> no, never again. I'm one with the soundboard. Living in the West. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, if he hits when he, I agree, like, and then it's like, uh, what is it, misogyny or oh, uh, double I got you on that sound effect. If, Misogyny. If they uh, hit you back, but it's I would never. I, I personally, I, I would never put my hands relationship or otherwise on a man. Um, I I know self defense moves. That's about it. <laughs> if I really needed well, to. Do you want to try it on Andrew? Can as you well show us self defense? <laughs> oh, no. Can you show it? Yeah, so, the, the, you can. Yeah, there's not enough room. Female. No, there's room. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's room. Yeah. Female self female self defense is a fallacy. It's not real. It's, uh, well, every. Like, no, 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 no buts. That shit. No, 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 no buts. Break it down, That's Andrew. Not... Fe what? Female self-defense is preventing yourself from being in a situation where you're attacked. Female self female self-defense is hiding. Female self-defense is not combat. Nothing you can learn in any class is gonna give you a, a smidgen of a chance against an actual dude who's about violence. If you go to any class and they're convincing you that you're gonna learn something that's gonna help you, they are wasting your time and money. There is nothing. Any of you women could learn for the next 10 years that would prevent me or a guy my size doing whatever he wants. What, what, what about, about like, I, mean, was, like I have a chin, question. Like, wait, wait, okay, okay, one at a time. All right, ladies. <laughs> like, we will get you. If you get triggered, trigger, relax. Yeah. 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 Okay, because I, I knew I already knew that was All right, one at a time. One at a time. We will start with, I think Miss Germany had her hand up first. You can start first. Who else, who else wanted to go? Just so I can. Yo, All right, cool. You know that viral meme with that black guy teaching people how to yeah. dodge bullets? Oh yeah. my yeah. God. Yeah. 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 He's like, he's like, turn this way. So, all right, so I just want to get an idea because, again, ladies, the reason why it's one at a time is so that we can actually hear you and good have good discussion. All right, Miss Germany, what's up? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I never tried it, but in my head. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> it's a good technique. It's called the final in the solution. The finger in the butt. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, you think you would let go? The, wait, wait, what? Like <laughs> you're trying to <laughs> kidnap that me? You said she and never, I. She never tried it. Oh wow! Do oh. that. You think he will let go? You know what the problem is. With, you know the problem is with actual genuine violence. Most of you girls don't anticipate how quickly you'd be dispatched. You think it'd be like mm -hmm. a struggle if a dude yeah. smashes you in the face. 
like yeah. actually grabs you by the hair and hits you once, maximum twice. You now need a hospital. Your cheeks broken, your jaws broken, your brain's Pretty bleeding, sure. you're in concussion. If 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 I wanted to, if I want to put my hands around a, a if, if a man like me put his hand around a girl's neck and squeezes as hard as he could, she has maybe 45 seconds of life left. That's it. Like you're thinking it's going to be some struggle, some God, shit like a Hollywood movie. It, it, it'll it take two or three seconds max to dispatch any of you. It, if a guy was actually trying to hurt you for real, not trying to slap you, not trying to teach you a lesson, yeah. actually trying to actually hurt you, you have no idea. You wouldn't what stay. About the she but that's the female, though, because okay, ladies, one, one at a time. Ladies, ladies. One at a time. Uh, so you had a point? Who, no, she, had, had, she, she was next. I have a question. Okay, so you're saying a man like you, so... Some guys don't even know how to throw an actual punch. Doesn't matter. They're too big and they're too heavy. They're too. They're too heavy. But they're let's too large. say you watch UFC, right? I'm guessing. Not really. I fought. Oh, <laughs> no, he fought UFC. He's a watcher. All right. Like, so knows. one of my favorite fighters for females is Zhang. So okay. let let's say someone even half as good as Zhang. You think you could go against? So if you took like okay, that? so if you took a girl who was one of the best fighters in the world, a UFC I said fighter, half as good. Too. Uh, no, 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 no. If you took a girl who's one of the best in the world, you took one of these female fighters. If she met a man who was smaller than her and he didn't expect her to have some hands, maybe could ca- maybe she could catch him once or twice and run. But the truth is that most once fe- or twice? yeah, most females are physically smaller than men. The point is that, that doesn't it, matter. Though. Listen to me. Please it let is, him finish. And then it, you can make your if a 250 pound man, 300 pound man, even against the best woman in the world, who's who's what, 130, 140 pounds. There's weight classes for a reason. You, you think this is going to be a fair fight like the UFC? You think he's not going to grip her up, grab her by her fucking jacket, lift her up over, slam her on the concrete? It's different. Violence is different than fighting. And and true violence is nasty and it's ugly. And the idea that you're going to be able to do this, or do that, or just kick him in the balls, none of that is real. None of that is real on any level. Now, you're talking about a UFC fighting girl. Maybe if you're the one of the most highly trained UFC fighting females, maybe four names you can name on the planet, maybe there are some men your own size you might be able to hit and beat. But that, but you're talking about a complete anomaly. That doesn't disprove the rule. The rule is you're saying most men don't know how to throw a punch. Let me tell you something about punching. Any idiot on the street, if he swings as hard as he can and hits you in the face, it's going to hurt. Not knowing how to throw a punch is about landing it. It's about technique, right? Mm-hmm. You don't know how to slip a punch. So it doesn't mean a difference if he doesn't know how to make yeah, throw a punch. Yeah. He's going to hit. He's going to hit you anyway. You, you you don't know how to slip, dodge, counter. You don't have no moves. So what he can do the haymaker. You and you're gonna, no you're gonna take it right in your mouth and you're gonna fall over. Another thing you have to understand: most of you women, a lot of men who have been around the block, we have a propensity to violence. If you hit me in the face, I'm not gonna panic. I've been hit in the face. I've been hurt. Most of you women have never even been hit. You've never even been gripped up. You've never even had a man grab you. You never okay. felt a man's strength. You think you felt a man's strength during a little bit of sex? That was a fraction of it. You don't know how yes. strong a man is. It's like getting grabbed by a lion. Yeah. It's like getting hit by a car. <laughs> if a real man were to grab you, it would be feel like a car hit you. You'd be like, what the fuck? Facts. You'd be on the floor and you'd be a fucking mess. And there's no bullshit little arm lock you learn <laughs> in some Tuesday <laughs> class for $15 from <laughs> some dyke that's going to save you. <laughs> it's garbage. This is why you need to get garbage. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew fucking say. Okay, but who else wanted to? Someone else wanted to. Wait, I wasn't finished. You weren't Okay, she wasn't, uh, she wasn't finished. Go ahead. Okay, so I agree with the fact that obviously men are stronger than women biologically. But most of the time, the violence occurs like uh, like a scene where you're not sober. So if a woman was smarter than a man because he's intoxicated or whatever he's on, you don't think that it could that she could overcome his like smarts just with her wits with some type of technique or takedown. <laughs> I think it definitely could happen if she, if the man is Andrew, intoxicated. You want me to take this one or enough, you got it? You got it, bro. I mean, you're, you're, you're using a very particular scenario where the guy's intoxicated, you're fully, Because that's you know, usually aware. what happens. I mean, let's be honest. If, you, if you're at a bar, you're going to be drinking too. You're going to be intoxic- intoxicated to some level. And here's the thing. Even if the guy is drunk, right, and you're fully aware, that, that might actually fuck you up even more because he ain't even going to be able to tailor back his strength. He's going to hit you nah, for real, for real. Facts. He said, okay. that drunk strength? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bong! And then you're done. Bing so, bong. Okay. Like, what, an- what Andrew's simply trying to say, ladies, is do not sit there and try to square up with a man. You're going to fucking lose. 99% mm-hmm. chance. Run, leave, put yourself in situations where you aren't going to be in that position. The last thing you want to do is be squaring up with a guy. Run. Okay. That's yo, all he's trying yo, to tell bro, you. You know what's the scariest? He's telling you guys this for safety. If you didn't give a fuck about you, yeah, yeah, yeah. square up, fight. But you know what's the scariest part? 
we have to explain that. Yeah, that's yeah, scary. Yeah, 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 it's, it's scary. Hold on, you had a point, right? Go ahead. I, no, yeah, I, was, go ahead. I was gonna be uh, same situation Please. where like if a guy's intoxicated, um, but I guess drunk straight because they can't control it, so they're just gonna go with it's, with it's their not, all. It's not even. It's not even just about strength, and you're, you're thinking about fighting in a very technical way. Look, I can drink this entire bottle of vodka, right? I drink all of it. You make me angry, you attack me. I get, I get my left hand deep in your hair, and I'm holding your hair. My right hand, your face is here. You think I'm gonna miss? <laughs> <laughs> How, and and I'm, look at the size of my hand, your teeth, your nose, your forehead. It's all going to crack at once. How many times am I going to whack, 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 whack? How many times are you going to hit you in the face until your whole face is a God fucking damn. mess? Thank you for oh, the sound. It's over. That. It's over. It's <laughs> done. done bro. It's done. There's none of this. Oh, yeah, but he's drunk, so I can use my ninja technique. <laughs> Bullshit. It's not yeah. real. It's not real. I mean, no, I'm just scared. Stay strapped, like, ladies. Stay like strapped. Like, what, what, what am I sure. supposed to do? Get a gun. You're get a gun. Get a gun. This yeah. Yeah. This yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I can yeah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I will kill you out here. Personally, Ladies. I can actually agree with the guys because, yeah, I've hit a guy before, but it was more so entitlement. I was in a relationship <laughs> with that person. I felt like I, oh, you're not gonna hit me. You love me, da da da. But I was also in a situation where I really didn't do nothing. It was over a shirt. Fool got mad, this, that, and a third. Sure? And he, yeah, it was like a shirt. Yeah. And he thought that I was, because it had something to do with family. And I didn't really, it was real stupid. But yeah, just no. the way he grabbed me, I couldn't really defend myself. And then he slammed me in my car. So it was just like, I ended up fracturing the rib and everything. But I tried my best to defend myself. But once a guy is able to just yeah. grab you, it's over. It's, it's over. It's, yeah. it's fucking over. You can't do shit about it. And it's like, you could try your best, scream, kick, do whatever you want to do. But once he has a certain type of control, it could be your hair, your arms, things like that. You lose just like that, especially if you don't have no taser, you don't have no mace, you don't have none of that. You lose. And it's just like, you got to take the punches. And it's Sucks. So it's better to knock it in that position. Don't, exactly. Yeah. I, I can no, confirm as a ninja that Look you will not guy. be safe. <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm as a ninja it will not work on a man. <laughs> you are not nimble enough. Sub zero. <laughs> I am one okay. with the nimbleness, and I cannot teach you how to be nimble enough to evade a man. So run away, woman. You will not win. I just gotta get on Jackie Chan level. And I'll be good. What yeah. are you looking at? No, no, wait, no it's wait, not going to work. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, a man's yeah. rage is yeah, driving. Yeah. Like, yeah, a no. guy can get so heated. All he sees is just yeah, right. you, and he just wants to yeah. kill you. You know, unalive you, okay? Yeah. He yeah. wants to get his target, and it's just like, there's no stopping that. You got to get out of the way, hide, find a couple of people, call police or something like and that. And say, excuse me, excuse Yeah, me. like, help me. You got to do something, because once that you're in that target, yeah. You have to get out of the way. There, the there are no female ninjas. ninjas. Yeah, that's the why blicky. you gotta have the blicky. That's why you have yeah. to have like a lot of little Sonya things, Blade. you know. Yeah. These girls walking She's around with um, knuckle like, ah, things, she wasn't knuckle brace. And Yo, there's no female ninjas. None of you can even break this board, probably. All right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right who's uh? Who wants to break the board? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of board is that? Marie? Marie? It, it's a it's a karate board. Yeah, it's children's. It's a very sturdy. Yeah, yeah. I've broken it many times. I'm very good at this. No. <laughs> no, I'm saying the girls can't break the board. Yeah, now look at you all shaky. A real ninja shows up, Yo, and you know what time it is. My balls need a rest. Wood. Bro. My balls need a rest. Bro. <laughs> all right. Um. Okay. Uh. Who else had a point? I think that's it. Someone, that's it. it. Y'all interrupted all this time. There was more you that wanted to talk. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just filling in for the host. You left for a second. You have to go get something to drink. I just, you guys said something about ninjas. So I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I call okay. her. Hope that answered. Yeah, hope that answered your thing. No, no, he's all gone already. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. pulled a ninja. All right, <laughs> who's up next? All right, uh, uh, zero three three two. What's up, caller? Welcome to the show. Damn, everybody's giving us a ninja treatment now. <laughs> don't know. All right, uh, all right. So, uh, six two three nine. All right, so. Uh, Yo, what's up? All right, move on to the next one. Yo, what's up? All right, yeah. callers. Yeah, uh, he, he, has, he just has the YouTube playing in the background, so he's not here. All right, 8160. All right, 8160. Yo, yo. Yo. What's up, caller? Welcome to the show, sir. What's up? What's up? I got a question for Dominic Toretto across the table. <laughs> Dominic Toretto? He means he means uh, Tate. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I don't know who Dominic oh, yeah. Toretto is. 
All right, I go ahead. I want to ask him if, if he ever been in a fight with a female. Ever been in a fight with a female? I've had females try to attack me, which I think every man has. And uh, I showed great restraint, as a man should. I've never, I've never punched a woman full force in my life. No, I've never have. And if I did, I genuinely believe if I hit her even once, I don't think she'd ever wake up again. I genuinely believe that. That's why I never have. So yeah, a few crazy women have attacked me, but you know, I'm an Aikido master, so it's no big deal. <laughs> women are ultra feeble. You just grab them and just. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> That's the end of the game. All right, caller. All right, next, uh, eight nine one zero. Yeah. Noah. And ladies, if you have any questions or comments for the end. We will turn it to you guys as well. Who's up next? Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Yo, what up? Noah? Noah Crandall? Hey, I just want to say, yes, sir, Noah Crandall. I just want to say, King Cobra Tate, you fucking are my roller to Mossy because you kind of helped save my life. Oh, man, it's amazing to hear. Thank you. Shout out. Thank you very much, friend. There you go. And my, my question for Mr. Andrew Tate is, how much do your drink choices when you're out in public settings matter? Because I'm a beer drinker, and some people have told me that like beer makes you look white trash. So <laughs> how much do your drink choices? Okay. Well, I don't know if you are white trash. Drink choices or not. matter. Okay, so I personally don't drink beer, but it's not because of the white trash thing. I think it's a whole bunch of calories and it's a whole bunch of estrogen for no reason. You don't need to go down that route. If you're really going to drink alcohol, which you shouldn't, but obviously we have vices, you should stick to spirits. Stick to vodka if possible. Think about it, bruv. The Russians are strong. You want to fight a Russian dude? No. What does he live on? Vodka. There. Stick to that. <laughs> that's the that's the little bit of science for you. And it's low calorie. It's low calorie. Yeah. And I think that vodka is the healthiest thing you could possibly drink. But you shouldn't be drinking, really. <laughs> you shouldn't be smoking cigars. Shouldn't be doing half the things I'm doing. But you know, I survive. So you you shouldn't you definitely you definitely shouldn't be drinking twenty beers in a night. Maybe you are white trash. <laughs> send, send us a picture. Send me a picture on Instagram at Cobra Tail and see if you're white trash. Or not. <laughs> there you go. All right, who's up next? All right, all right, King. All right, man. Thank you so much, uh, Noah. Appreciate it. Michael Blackson, two seven. What? Nine, two. Michael Blackson? <laughs> okay, that, that's not him though. Buddy. Yeah, I know. It's right. a troll. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. Bro. Really We've had Michael Blackson on the show. That was hilarious when we had him on. He's Very coming back guy. soon. He's coming back soon. Oh, okay. Lit, lit, lit. No, but what? Um, three who's four up? six zero. Three four six zero. All right, cool. And I think we got three more numbers, and then we're going to turn it to the ladies. Go ahead. Ask your question quickly, please. Hello. Yo, you're on air. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'm on air. How are you doing, sir? What's up, man? Can What's your you question or comment? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I have something that I saw like uh, with the whole fresh and fit drama. I kind of feel like what happened is like, you remember when you were telling the people like, "Hey, we have no beef here. You can copy my stuff. You can take that stuff, and then like, uh, you can criticize me, and uh, it, like, I don't care. You know, make your money." I think a lot of people they took that and they, they took it too far. And they started to really go like you. It's like you like when when Chris, you are we doing twenty and up? The door, the body goes in. What, what was that last part, bro? I don't know what he just said, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when you open the door a little bit, people take people open the door fully, or they take the whole thing, you know. Oh, and you say if people, yeah, already, yeah. If you give them a, a here, piece here's of, a, here's a the thing, bro. Like they 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 went fully the whole time and they wouldn't yeah. stop, bro. Like we were like, okay, they'll probably stop, yeah, whatever. It's been four months, man. You have been generous and nice. It's been four months. They, they took it like a, yeah. So, I mean, if people are going to have a point of contention with us defending ourselves, bro, we're not even making hit pieces back on them, but just merely defending ourselves, our reputation and our, our name, then I don't even, it is what it is. I mean, it's just common sense that you're going to protect yeah. yourself and your business, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, but, but, but I, like, I like what you're doing now because you put boundaries. Like, I think, like Kevin Samuel, Kevin Samuel put boundaries. I think they should know that it's not okay. Because you know, I think it's okay to do that. Well, the but problem is that if you, back, if think, yeah, when you, it, it, they don't care about the strike back. They care about who issues the strike back. Since we issued the strike back, it's a problem. When other people, it's no one cares. So but yeah, that's not tonight's nice topic. But that's not tonight's nice topic, bro. But is, uh, uh, but we appreciate the support, though. All right, all right, bro. All right, bro. Thank you. Thank you. all right man. All right. Peace. Uh, who do we got up next? Michael yeah, Jackson. Um, one thing first because he's not here right now. Oh, but then okay, who's next? Oh, yeah, move up to Jr. Ranks. Yeah, well, four MC. It's a lot harder because it's got 42 live callers right now. Holy shit. Yeah, no. It's... Damn, y'all show crazy love. All right, we'll do, uh, I think I'd see two more. Oh, man. How many more do we have? Uh, a lot. Um, But a few, let's see. Four, seven. 
He's not here, but he's not here. Okay. No, so let's try uh, zero two five eight. No, uh, one seven one three. All right, one seven one three. Go ahead. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I uh, just have a question to Tate. Uh, my question is, is basically, what's your opinion on Russian women? Actually, two questions. What's your opinion on Russian women? And the second question is, as um, do you do you really feel your thoughts on the West? Um, I saw you on a podcast with a Irish guy. I think his name is James English, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, and you were talking about the West versus the East. And I just wanted your, I just wanted to make sure that do you really feel like the West is crumbling and you feel like you prefer the East more? I yeah, just want you to clarify. Yeah, this is a, this is questions. a this is a really long answer. I don't want to give because I don't want to bore all the girls with all the pol- political talk. In regards to Russian yeah, women, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, so, no. In terms of Russian women, I want to make something clear. There's a lot of guys in the West who believe that for some reason, if they go to the East, you have all these absolute beauty queens who will obey and align themselves with some dork for no reason. The game is the same basically everywhere. You're either a G and you get women or you're not a G and you don't. It doesn't matter where you are. Russian women are not. You're not going to go to Russia and just grind up with some baddie beauty queen who does everything you say when you have no value to provide. Life is a value exchange, right? Certain things may be valuable in the West, which are not valuable in the East and vice versa. But to some degree, it's always a value exchange. A woman has to find value in you to want to be a valuable woman to you. So this idea, because I get this all the time. I live in Romania. People are like, well, if I move to Romania, I'll have girls. No, bro. You're a dork here and you're a dork there. You're a dork everywhere you fucking go. So it ain't going to change anything. So it's all about value exchange. That's the first thing. In regards to the West versus the East, yeah, there are different ideals, which I believe put the West at a disadvantage in the long run. But that's more of a political argument as a whole. You as a man, you should have the same goal no matter whether you live in the West or the East. And that's to become as high value as possible. And truthfully, people constantly shit on the Western girls and American girls. And they say that all the girls here are trash, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. If you're a man who genuinely has his act together and isn't a weirdo and knows how to be kind to the right woman, knows how to keep his life in order, you can very easily find a beautiful, submissive, kind, gorgeous, loyal girlfriend anywhere in the world, including the USA. There are plenty of beautiful women here in Miami who are going to listen to you and not cheat on you and be good if you are worthy of such, right? You don't need to be flying around the world to get a little bit pussy. So that's my overall answer. Probably I could go far more in depth from the political perspective, but we have a whole bunch of women here. And women don't want to hear me talk politics. So why do you say that answer. though? No, oh, because it looks because, like they do want to hear it, comrade. Because I can talk about politics all day. I'm, I'm not. not I, I didn't mean. Yeah, I didn't, no, yeah, I didn't mean. <laughs> pat, I didn't mean. I didn't mean to be patronizing. I meant that it's a very large count of can of worms we haven't been discussing all night. Yeah, it's a whole yeah, other exactly. podcast in and of itself, and it's something else to talk about. So I can confirm that Russian women want a winner. Okay, <laughs> vodka only. And Russia. Yes, uh, Russia best country. All right, uh, we got here. Um, yeah, uh, five seven. Shout seven, out to three. all my Russians out there, by the way. Uh, what was that? Five seven seven three. All right, five seven seven three. Last two callers from hey, Texas. What's up, guys? Yo, Texas in the house. Hey, uh, this is a question for Mister Tate. Okay, go ahead, shoot it. Okay, so I I know from the last that uh, how. Yo, we can't hear you, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro, you're cutting out we really, can't hear really anything, bad, bro. bro. I think you're too far away from the actual uh, mic. No, nah, bro. All right, your service is bad. Come, come closer to the to the phone or something, because you're, you're, I can't. We, we can't hear you, bro. Okay, hello. There yeah, we go. We can hear you now. All right, go ahead. You Shoot now. your question quickly, please. Okay. Okay, so I noticed from the last show that Mr. Tate had a he he pretty much talked about how he had a strong father figure. So I wanted to know, how do you overcome the struggle of not having a strong father figure to become successful, basically? So this is for Mr. Tate. Sure, I'll answer that question. Firstly, I'm a bit confused as to how you didn't know how to use a phone, my friend. (laughs) Because we said, put the phone closer and it was all good. But um, no, you need to find mentors. It's not, I was lucky because I had a strong father figure, but there's a whole bunch of people who didn't, who did very, very well. It's very, very easy in masculine communities to find mentorship, but you need to show a degree of bravery. I said this all the time. You could be a complete nobody and walk into any boxing gym nearly anywhere in the world and find a good mentorship of men who want the best for you, are going to keep you off the streets, are going to keep you dedicated to something, or teach you grit, determination, hard work, all of those things. 
But if you're afraid of getting punched in the face, you're not going to go to the boxing gym. <laughs> so there's there's male mentorship in certain areas of life. It certainly exists. I found a lot of mentorship in fight gyms. I think that fight gyms are a fantastic place for men to be because they're ultra competitive and men should be ultra competitive. But the number one thing you should not do, and I'll make this very, very clear, is never see, find yourself looking at your situation and feeling sorry for yourself. Well, I didn't have a strong male figure. I didn't have a strong father, blah, blah, blah. Listen, my friend, you have arms and legs. So there's a bunch of people that don't even have that. So there's no point in sitting there and feeling sorry for yourself. That's not going to help you in any regard. You heard the woman, or you heard the women earlier and how they spoke to that guy who was trying to get some sympathy for men as a whole. They don't give a shit. And truthfully, I don't think they should. Women have all the options in the world. I don't think you should be sympathetic for a dude who hasn't dedicated his life to excellence. I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say you should be. You should be ruthless and say, look, I'm a chick. I got the choices. I want the best man I can get. That's how I'm going to live my life. I completely understand why they are that way. So there's no point you feeling sorry for yourself. If the women don't Thanks. feel sorry for you and the world don't feel sorry for you, nobody else feels sorry for you. So there's no such thing as an excuse. You either win or you lose. Life is binary. It's black or white. You're either successful or you are not. So if you do not have a father figure or you didn't have a father figure, then you better go find one, my friend. That's the simple answer. That's all, that's all there is to well it. said. Give me a hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. All right, that's man. Right, G. Shout out to you, bro. I call her. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna turn it to ladies. Uh, any any comments, questions, last thoughts, last thoughts? Who wants to go? We can start. Want to start here with Tran? With questions or thoughts? Yeah, questions, thoughts, or comments, critiques. How was the show? Or how much you hate us? I don't know. No, it was really insightful. Very insightful. Thanks, guys. I saw you guys listening, man. This was a very uh, observant panel. Very good. Yeah, yeah no, no, no one got kicked off. Yo, <laughs> not the crazy one. When that. takes both, they listened. I love that. <laughs> uh, Miss Germany. Uh, yeah, it was really nice. Like it was good. Like, so if you get in a fight, are you gonna try to put your finger? Thank in you for the... using was... Blog Talk Radio. And Goodbye. No, think that's gonna it, save you? it was a joke. Oh, okay, I, never mind. I, I know I couldn't like. I got in a situation with my ex that I made him really mad, and then I know he just he just sent me to the bed and he swung his arm and I was oh, shit. like, literally like this. I was like. Finish like, her. I see everything in the, like in, flash on like, like in slow motion. I see his hand go like this, and I'll be like, I'm sorry. Oh, did he I, actually strike you? No, no, he oh. didn't. Oh. I just, I just literally, I was like, you know what, bitch? Because if you keep <laughs> acting crazy, Wait. you're gonna be <laughs> on the live. You call him a bitch when he about to hit no, you. No, he was talking to herself. Oh, yeah, right. I was like, on myself, I was like. I need to chill. Like, I was like, I need to chill. And my mom told me, like, you cannot do that because that, you literally, like, this. Shout to your mom. Smart move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, miss, uh, I can fight him if he's drunk at the bar. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> but no, I found this podcast really insightful, too. I got to see both sides of everything and other people's opinions. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Um, Misogyny. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it. Next, you should. I mean, <laughs> well, you Last sure? Thoughts? No, I can take all day. Misogyny. <laughs> Go ahead, just say it. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Misogyny. All right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chris, by the way, in the back. That ain't me. <laughs> no, it's okay. Sorry. All right, yeah, Lena, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, um, it's always great. But I just had a comment about the whole um, Japan having like the lowest crime rate. Yeah, they also have one the lowest. High they also have the highest suicide rates in like the whole what? world. And they have like a, a forest that's called the suicide forest. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it. Yeah. Um, Logan Paul. Uh, uh, no, man. Us. Try to pause on the uh, S word, please. I'm alive. You gotta just, say I'm alive. Uh, yeah, yeah, try call it. Could just call it self deletion because we're on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 you you yeah. said it once. It's not a big deal. Twice. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that doesn't change the fact that it's still like, I mean, it's a fairly it's a fairly good society, a pretty strong nation, third strongest economy economy in the world. You know, uh, they have a strong family unit. And I think everything is built on the backs of families. Mm -hmm. And Japan still has a very strong family unit, whereas like if you come to the United States or other Western countries, we have high divorce rates, mm -hmm. high, um, high low, low marriage success rates. And, you know, it, it is what it is. So, I mean, if people if we if they have a higher self deletion percentage, yeah, that, that OK, that sucks. Yeah. But all the other positives definitely outweigh that. You know, because we yeah. still have high self deletion rates here, and things suck. Well, they don't suck, but if you're if you're an average man in the West, you're doomed. That's all I got to say. If you're an average man, <laughs> if you work and you put your put the work in and you get yourself up to above average or, or exceptional, you're good. But if you're an average guy, it's tough out here. 
Anything yeah. else? No, that was all. all right. Japan also has a, a great growing time. old oh, population. Go ahead. Go ahead. Japan also has like a growing like population of elder people mm-hmm. where they don't have enough younger people to replace the working economy. Yeah, so that's what I think. Low, low birth rates, yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. Very low birth rates, and they don't have enough people to replace the working economy, which I don't every think every is Western also every good. Western country in the world has a birth rate which is lower than the expiration rate, except for the USA, and that's because yeah. your, and that's because of your massive migration. So the point is that you, the culture here is not the culture here is not conducive to a a family and having children, so you just import. The, the truth is there's a whole bunch of countries that are outbreeding the Western countries. This is a really long political argument, but in the future, you need go people. for it. No, but in the future, you need people. And those are the countries that are going to win. And it's usually Africa, and the Middle East, Middle Eastern countries have the highest birth rates because a man gets to find a woman. She will obey. She will shut up. She will be loyal and she will have his children on repeat. And that's what men want nice basically shit. on a whole. So they get to have nine, 10 kids. Name a woman here with nine, ten kids. None, because mm-hmm. they're too busy in the club getting the bag. <laughs> that's why. And you Absolutely can have multiple, not. No, and you can have multiple wives too. And you can have multiple wives. That's right. So you have a whole bunch of children. So and no, for the first time this show, it is not. <laughs> Correct. Uh, awesome. All right. What about you? Comments? Questions? Um, I had a great time. Um, Damn it. Hearing everyone else's perspectives on different <laughs> subjects, I always am hard on my own words. So. I value everyone else's opinions and I have my own. Except for that nigga that called in. <laughs> oh, we have a oh, tough existence. In. I don't You're, care. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really don't. Give a I don't care, care B. <laughs> We're from the Bronx. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. All right. Facts. Well, Bing bong. Uh, hey. Someone's aunt that's missing. Miss <laughs> no. Party Pooper. He yeah. actually oh, no. touched on what I was going to ask um, women in today's society. Okay. You know, the modern day woman. You oh, know, sure. we're so, you know, rough and tough and stuff. What right. are like the top check boxes that men are looking for to complete you know i, I guess a, a man's life i guess he, he said loyalty and you know advance and all that like he kind of just already touched on it though i was going to ask that what are some of those check boxes men are looking for in today's society with modern women in today's society with modern women the most important thing you can possibly find is loyalty because most are not loyal and when i say loyal i don't mean not cheat i mean actually stick with your man through some something and and i also mean and Man, it's getting late. But uh, I also mean stick with your man. I okay. think the ladies want to hear it, man. Ladies, no. do you want to hear it? Of course. Yeah. No, okay. yeah. So even if your man hits the club and he messes around with some other chick or whatever, he's your man. You can't leave the man you love. Absolutely not. You cannot leave the man you love. If you're in love with a man and he's your man and he takes care of you and you truly love him, you can't be leaving him for any reason, especially not some little bit of pussy on the side who gives a fuck. That's not even big enough reason. It's not important. But he doesn't love Marine, you. Marine, I'll give you a chance, ladies, pussy. ladies, because I already know he's about to trigger the fuck out of all of you. So <laughs> let him finish his point. And then I'll go one by one and let you guys be able to, uh, you know, challenge his view. You know, I just want to be able to give everybody a shot here. Let's not talk over each other. Go ahead, Andrew. Sorry. True loyalty from a female is the fact that if he provides for you and he protects you and you and you feel like you're in love with him, you basically should have no reason to ever leave that man. You shouldn't be sleeping with a bunch of men anyway. You should find a man you love and you should be with him forever. You have no reason to be sleeping with man after man after man. That's bad for you. It's no good for you. It's no good for your state of mind. So loyalty is the most important thing. That's the first thing that a man's looking for and the second thing is looking for obedience and subservience most men live difficult lives if your man doesn't live a difficult life you shouldn't be with him if you're living if you're with a man who does not live a difficult life then he's not a man of value and you shouldn't be with him your man's just playing video games smoking weeds why are you there right but if you're a man who's actually living a difficult life out there trying to get rich trying to do all this you don't have any idea the levels of stress he's already under he does not need more at home he wants peace and quiet at home so you need to find a man who's already going through enough difficulty that You can reward him with the peace and quiet he requires at home. You need to be loyal to him. I'm not saying let him abuse your loyalty, but you need to say to him and say, look, I'm never, ever, ever going to leave you unless you push me to a point where I really feel like I have to leave. Make him understand that you're so loyal that you're near impossible to replace, especially in this culture where every other girl he's going to get with is just going to run out there and be a hoe. If you can be loyal to him and you can give him some peace and quiet and show some subservience, if you can show him some respect in his household, men like to feel respect respected we work extremely hard to feel respected we go out here and work and make money to try and feel respected there's ceos who've given up their lives to work some shit job just so they get to wear a suit in a particular office to feel respected men who get the cage 87 times to feel respected men who go to war and go get risk getting shot at with machine guns to feel respected you think we're gonna go through all this crap to feel respected and come home and be disrespected in our own house no make him feel respected be loyal to him show some subservience and boom that's all we're looking for. Okay. Nice and easy. Now, uh, okay, I, I know I know. you got something to say. You got something to say. Uh, we'll go here, and then you could go after. Go ahead. I don't have nothing to say. 
<laughs> what the? I'm about to cut him off, but I stopped. Okay. You, anyway, so um, no, not you, not you, her. Oh, her, I Cuba. Have... <laughs> Say it to the mic. Okay, so why do you feel like March. that subservience <laughs> is like how you are respected? Why does a woman have to be subservient for you to be respected? Firstly, I don't feel like I know. That's the first thing. Second okay. thing. Why do you know? I know. I'll tell you why I know. Because it's completely natural for a female when she respects a man and trusts a man to act in a subservient manner. If a woman truly loves a man and she respects him and trusts him, even down to the fact of where you eat dinner, you want him to choose. There's no such thing as a woman truly respecting a man and loving a man and wanting to be in charge of him. That's that, that's not real. When you see a woman who's trying to be in charge of her man, she's lost respect for him. She may feel that he hasn't got his life in order, her needs controlling, her needs mothering, et cetera, et cetera. If a chick gets with me and she realizes all the amazing things I've done by myself, all my accolades, all my achievements, everything I've done completely by myself, she's not going to be sitting there trying to tell me how to live my life. Why would she? She's not qualified. Women say all the time, I want a man who's dominant in charge, who leads, who I can trust, who's going to guide us, et cetera, et cetera. That's what women are looking for. And that's based on respect. You're not going to listen to a man you don't respect. So, of course, showing respect is an act of subservience. It's the exact same thing. They're the exact same thing. The same reason you respect the people on the ship, respect the captain by being subservient. We show respect to the captain. The captain is in charge of the ship, and we obey our commands, and that's how the ship functions. If the captain said X, Y, Z, and everybody on board said, well, I don't know if I should listen, then you're going to lose. The whole ship's not going to function. Subservience in and of itself is an act of respect. That's what it is. I will only listen to somebody I respect. I won't listen to anybody else. If my kickboxing coach told him what to do, I respected him. I would listen to him, right? right. So you're trying to separate something. You're lit they're literally the same thing. Subservience and respect okay. are linked. Okay, and and I agree <clears throat> with that. So you're saying that men can be subservient to women too. I'm saying that a man can be subservient to a woman, but I'm saying that that's not a healthy way for a relationship to function. And why is that? Oh, man. All right. I feel like I've said this stuff before. I don't know if anyone's watching Fresh and Fit. In it's, their a new, time wait, it's a new panel wait, of girls. I wanna, so I want to add something, too. Sure. Um, I don't know if it's just in my culture, but like my family, especially like the women run our family. Like my mom runs this family and we respect everybody and their opinion. Are you Cuban? Where are you from? Yes, I'm Cuban. That's why. Exactly. No, so, but I'm, I'm not saying women. Oh, wait, but can I finish? Sure. Okay, oh, thank you. No, sure. No, no, finish. No problem. That the women and everybody respects their opinion. We take everybody's opinion into account. It's just my mom was the first one to to come here in this country. So everybody respects her and her opinion because she knows the most about how to, you know, like, go along in this country and do things right i didn't say women can have an opinion i didn't No, say and i didn't say that either but like you're saying that men run like are the first ones to have the opinion and run shit but that's that's not true women can run shit too and still have the respect for for men i'm saying that in the happiest relationships on the planet the man is in charge I'm saying that in that's most false. That's not false. I'm saying in most situations where a woman is in charge of her man, sooner or later she's gonna leave his ass because she gets tired of him. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that my women, parents are both happily together and my an mom exception does not disprove the rule. Even if what you're saying is true, it's an exception. And an exception does not disprove the rule. The rule is as follows: the happiest relationships on earth are with a man who, and who is in makes charge. The, rule? the man is the rule is made by biology. That's what who makes the rule. The rule is made by bi biological triggers. And biology is a theory. No, biology is not a theory. Yes, Bi it is. <laughs> it is a theory. You cannot tell me it's not a we theory. We have evolved in a very particular oh manner. And we've evolved in a manner in which women needed men for physical protection. And because you needed men for, for physical protection. I know, you know, I know you know karate, blah, blah, blah. But most of the women out here evolved needing men for physical protection. And they afforded that. They were given that by being subservient to said man. They'd come along and they needed a man to protect them or they needed a tribe to protect them and they would obey that man. You can't go up to a man and say, I'm not going to obey you. I'm your boss. Fucking protect me. That's not real, right? This is all biology. This is all biology. This is all evolutionary. This is the way that humans have evolved across hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of years. You're sitting here saying things because it's just new thing. It's not real. All the things you're saying are just garbage. Your, your parents, as fantastic as they may be as individuals, are not the rule for the broader section of society. And I, I agree with that too, but biology, you can't say that biology is not a theory. Biology is a fact. Uh, yeah, if well, you do not drink water, right. you will die. 
Okay, but okay. you understand. If you don't eat eat food for a period of time, you will die. It's got science. That is biology. Just, yeah. All right. Yeah. But science. You, you, science is just a theory. Nothing is 100% correct. Nothing is 100% okay, okay. proven. Why do you think men have been in charge of society always? And I understand that because no, that's asking. what we have studied from I'm, biology. I'm asking, why do you think men have always been in charge of societies on average? And because we've studied biology and the male species has been dominant over the female. Why? And I understand that. Why? Because biologically like, as i said before that they are stronger and whatever like so biology is real now no yeah I, I never said that biology was incorrect but it's also a theory nothing's 100 percent correct and things can change over time anyway oh. the point i'm trying to make here is that in, the, right. ha in the happy no no but I, I literally don't know how to compete with what you're saying because it doesn't make enough sense for me to compete with all right the point i'm trying to make here is that on average, for a relationship to be happy, and I think most of the women on this panel would agree with me, the man has to be dominant and to some degree in charge. The woman gets to feel looked after and cared for and protected. That is the normal okay. relationship. There's no such thing as 50-50 in life. There always has to be some degree of dominance. And in most experiences, okay. maybe your parents are different. Wherever the woman achieves dominance, the woman loses respect for the man and the relationship falls apart thereafter. That's the truth. I'm, I'll make this simple. I don't her. agree with that, but that's fine. Okay, well, I... well, hold on, hold on. You, you, I will just say this. You don't have to agree with it, but it's the truth. The fact is this, since the beginning of time, men have led, women have followed. There's not one single matriarchy that has stood the test of time. They've been wiped out by men all this time. The only reason women are able to be in a position that they're in to say things like this that are ridiculous and ludicrous, to be honest with you, are because men allowed you to do so. The reality is men have privileges and accesses and everything else like that because men allowed it, which is great. I'm not here for saying, oh, don't give them rights. I'm not saying that. But for us to sit here and say, oh, a woman can lead. No, they cannot. As a matter of fact, if I took 100 women, 95 of them are going to say, I want my man to be the leader. They're not going to want to assume that leadership. And as a matter of fact, if you put a woman in a leadership role, nine out of 10 times, she's going to be repulsed by that man because he can't do his only duty, which is to what? Lead, provide, and protect. That's a man's job. Okay. Now, you might have an exception to the rule. Your mom might be dominant. Your dad is a little bit more submissive. The family works. Excellent. But that structure is not going to work for most situations. That's effectively taking a round peg, putting it into a square hole and hoping it works. Again, I'm not saying women can't do what men can do. You guys can absolutely do it, but you can't do it at the same level we do. If you were the ruler of a country, you had 20,000 men and 20,000 women, and you had to choose who you were gonna send, send to war and the, the livelihood of your country was dependent upon this war, who would you send? Obviously, the men. Okay. And I've already agreed to the fact that but, but men why, are stronger but, but, than but, women. Okay, because that's a biological physically, fact. Physically. Okay. physically. Physically. It's a biological fact. They yes. are stronger. Yes. Okay, that's indisputable. We have more bone density. We're stronger than you guys. Yes. We're taller than you guys. I agree. We have more testosterone. I agree. Indisputable. Completely agree. Biology is not a theory. It's a fact. Scientific fact. Okay. Science is a theory just like religion, just like any other belief. Okay. Anyway, continuing on in reality. So <laughs> you. that you would pick okay. the men. Your theory is women can do what men can do. I agree, they can, but they can't do it at the same level and at the same consistency and more importantly, at the same level of competence. The men that you send in to fight are going to win that war and have a higher, what probability of winning? The women, they can go in and fight, but there's a higher likelihood of failure. Yeah, that's true. And uh, sorry. So that is why, that, that's, that's, that's what he's trying to explain is that men naturally are leaders. Women are naturally followers. Your parents' relationship is an exception to the rule, but that does not make the rule. I agree with that. I have an I have an example for you to assess. Sure. So you said that that women can't lead, correct? On a balance of probabilities, most women cannot lead men in a relationship. So during this pandemic, the first country to completely eradicate COVID was New Zealand. And who is the oh leader of God. New Zealand? Oh my god. A woman. You triggered my trap card. Who wants to take this oh one? She god. is a female uh, bro, and she completely bro, I, I was just going to continue on what we were saying. I'm gonna I wasn't going to talk about COVID. I was You're, just going to say in, well, I, I promise Miss Marine you will definitely get your chance to challenge the view. We just got to It's really debunk it, this and then right. we got you. It's no, a, I'm good. Y'all can continue then. Like No, what? no, no, no. We we we, we are not going to we, we will continue. Like we're not going to sit here and just dismiss you like, "No, fuck you." We'll explain and if you choose, you know, to can I, accept I, it or not. I put on my uh, two sets about uh, Cuban girls. Yeah, so I was, you know, highly high, born and raised, well, not born and raised, but I went under the school and everything. Cuban girls are very submissive to masculine guys and who? And highly high. Okay. Uh, long story short, I don't know what, uh, you know, uh, country you're from. I mean, hot, Cuban I'm are, Cuban. 
Fully. Yeah, but I'm saying Holly is it's always a good thing. So go ahead. <laughs> All right, Andrew, go ahead. New Zealand. Man, this is it's it's actually amazing because there's so many different tangents on which she's incorrect. It's it's okay. So her name is Je- Jessica Arden, I think is her name, the leader of New Zealand. First things first, she's a new world or, new world order shill who's genuinely evil on nearly every single metric. She's not a good person. I never right? said that. Okay, either. no, but I'm telling you, you're saying okay. she's eradicated COVID. That's the first fault. Fa- that's a fallacy. She's not eradicating anything. Second well, thing, she locked everyone in their houses for two solid go. years under a new world order, which you don't even understand how the world actually functions because the leaders of Earth are not the leaders of anything. And there's people above them who control the money and banks who bribed her to control her population to the point where more people died of missed doctor's appointments than they ever died of fucking COVID. So that female was a murderer she was not a good person so you're gonna sit here and say she's been a fantastic leader she's been the absolute opposite i never so said that, that either. Oh, yes you did you said she was a, the first country to eradicate covid fallacy it was done because of a female leadership more fallacy it wasn't even a female leadership she's just such a psychopathic individual that she could literally obey new world order to the point where people were getting decimated in real time you that's, don't understand earth that's third, wrong on my part i third, was misinformed third yeah absolutely misinformed Third, the rule we're making, the reason you are upset and the reason you are arguing is not because you disagree with what we're saying. It's because you're triggered and you think we are saying women have no value. Absolutely incorrect. Female life is more valuable than male life. That's I true. will tell you right now, us men are, if someone comes now. in this door with a gun, we are prepared to die to protect you. We would die on the Titanic so the women could live. If we talk about five men dying in a car crash, no big deal. If you talk about five women dying in a car crash, it's a big deal. Female life is super valuable, and you are super valuable members of society, and you have something very, very important to do. You are so important and so valuable that men will lead, protect, and care, and provide for you. You're so important that we'll go put ourselves on the line and take all the responsibility of ensuring your safety. When we say we are leading, we are not demor- – I'm not trying to degrade females – I know you get triggered instantly because you live in a Western society where you feel like that's an insult. We're not trying to insult you. We're saying that it's a man's job to lead. It is a man's job to lead a a relationship because it's his job to protect and provide. He can't lead if he isn't protect. He can't protect and provide if he isn't leading. You understand? So you're saying that your parents are different. Fine, whatever. On average, a woman wants a man who could take care of her, provide safety, provide stability. He cannot do those things if she disobeys him. How can he do those things if she's disobeying everything he says? We just talked about the ship. If the captain of the ship gives orders and no one listens, how can the ship be successful? The captain talks, everyone else obeys. That's why the captain is responsible for the ship. The man is responsible for the house. That's why he is in charge. That's why he should be listened to. Exceptions do not disprove the rule. Females are not designed for leadership, and that is not an insult to you. You have a far more important purpose on the planet. You procreate, you create life. It's a beautiful thing. You have far more important things to do than be out here carrying garbage. That's why men do it. Mm-hmm. We carry the garbage so we can make money so you can stay home and have fucking kids. Jessica Arden's also pure evil. So don't talk about her again because she's negative in every single respect. If you have 10 hours, I can sit and explain to you how the world actually functions and how all the female leaders during this imaginary pandemic sub- dead. Oh, bro. The things that the female leaders have done during this imaginary pandemic are borderline criminal. No borderline. It's literally criminal. Only men had enough honor to stand up to the New World Order shill and at least try and give people some freedom left. The women leaders in Finland and New Zealand and these countries. Australia. Australia. You pe- People have been locked, locked in, in their homes, bro. For two years. For two years. In their house. You think it's a good leader? No. She's just obeying someone else above her. Obeying. They can only again. leave to get groceries, bro. Like, yo. Crazy. That- we got a lot of Australian supporters, guys from New Zealand, etc. These countries, <laughs> man, it, 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 it yo, it is, an it island. is fucked. It yo, is fucked. They're really down under. Yeah, they're yeah, bro. <laughs> they're down bad, bro. And, yeah. and 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 here's the thing: we got guys from Australia, and New Zealand that talk to us all the time, bro. They can only uh, travel like maybe one, the equivalent in U.S. miles, like one or two miles to go to the grocery store, get the food, and they have to come back for years, for years, guys, for years. And that's because the female leadership of these countries are actually, do you know what they're doing? They're actually being led. You talked about her being a leader. No, she's subservient. She's just subservient to people you don't know exist. And she's ultra subservient to the point where a man will still resist to some degree, where she'll just going to sit over, bend over and agree. And that's what this kind of crap's happening all around the world. The countries that are worst affected are not the countries with the worst COVID cases are the countries that have female leadership. The female leadership in times of crisis is the worst thing that could possibly happen in this situation. Female leadership in crisis is detrimental to the overall populace. I'll tell you this. If all of us were right now on a plane and that plane crashed and we're all surviving, we're in a survival setting, right? We need to find food, shelter. We need a fire. We need to survive. Who do you think you're going to put in charge? Us boys? 
or you girls going to say, I'm in charge of everything. <laughs> no. no, you're going to say, okay, we need everything. Boys, help. Well, I mean, you're going to put us in charge. And if you didn't, we'd all die. That's <laughs> the truth. And also, just to add in. And then men gonna, are hunter gatherers. Yeah, yep. and, and just you to know. add into that real quick, because that was actually demonstrated. Then we're going to move to Miss Marine. Uh, they actually did this. They put men and women on a separate island, right? Bear Grylls. Shout out to uh, Think Before You Sleep. He, he broke this down beautifully. The women and the men were separated on two different islands. The women almost died within three days. They couldn't uh, clean the water. They couldn't hunt. They couldn't build shelter. They couldn't make fire. The men, however, had built shelter. They had some food because they quickly delegated authority, found a hierarchy. You know, hey, this is what we got to do. The women, on the other hand, were trying to make pets of the animals. They didn't want to kill them. They took a vote. Hey, should we kill this animal and eat it? No, that's fucked up. Oh, they took a vote and they, they couldn't clean the water. And, you know, they, there was too much uh, of this um, communitarianism. You know, I'm not trying to. I don't want to go too deep in it because I agree. I know where we're going here with uh, Andrew, but if you leave women to their own devices, they tend to be more communitarian. Hey, you get one, you get one, you get one, you get one. Guys are like, hey, you did the best, motherfucker. We give you the most, and then you get the second most, whatever. Men typically tend to compete. Women tend to, hey, let's spread things out evenly. If, if you give them their own, leave them to their own devices. So it's been proven on reality TV that, you know, even women put in a life or death situation of survival – don't have the tools to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's very difficult. And they took average guys and average women. And and they, the women were like, fuck, man. They almost died. The, the crew had to come in and rescue them multiple times during the filming of the show. So, so oh, wow. what oh, say man. you now, oh, Miss Cuban? How, so like, many, fuck you, how many females were on that show? I had heard. Well, there, there was, there was, a, there was a, I don't know exactly how many contestants, but it was somewhere between 10 to 20 women and then 10 to 20 men, separate islands. And they gave them the same resources. All I'm going to say is that you can't base the female species or just the female population based on those 20 people. We're not but, saying but that. But they were average women from all different walks of life. And then they took no, average exactly. men from all different walks of life. So it's an, it's, it's an excellent aggregate of like the normal of, of normal people is what I'm trying to say. Let's ask the girls. Do you want a man to be in charge in a relationship? Okay. No. I've been trying to talk this whole time. All right. <laughs> I'm 23 years old. I um, oh, shit. Was in a serious relationship with someone, and I was the one who bought the house. Okay. And that's why you're, 20 and that's why you're divorced. You're exactly, divorced. is what I'm saying. But I feel like there has to be a happy Merch. medium between, like, okay, you got it, and all right, like, you need my backup. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the type of girl that just wants to be a stay at home mom because honestly, I don't want to have kids. But it's like, if I don't want to have kids, what else? Stop the cap. No, I swear, I really. It's because you're young and still children. attractive and fertile, so you don't understand yeah. the gifts that you have. But as you get older, I promise you, you're gonna change your mindset. Mm. You're gonna want to have children. I promise you. No, 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 no. Yeah, right? well, take it from her. Some girls actually. I'm, really I'm no, 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 no. I don't want to have kids. I want my guy to lead, and I'm an alpha female. I'm dominant. Like, yeah, I'm I want my alpha man female. to lead I'm my me. Alpha definitely alpha. I just do. Oh I God, do. the can of worms keep opening. There we go, bro. God damn it, bro. I mean, it's nothing wrong with a guy leading. It's just how you lead. A lot of guys yeah. think That's just right. because they got the money and you know they're buying all this stuff and you're eating and you're sleeping well or whatever exactly that they have all this authority over exactly. you and things like that. It's really how you lead. Like like he said earlier, it's a balance between both species. Well, you got to understand. Right. Right. Here, here's the thing. What yeah. all you what you just mentioned there. He's providing a lifestyle, etc. He has a lot of responsibility. Clearly, yeah, you cannot have responsibility without authority. I know. The it's problem some is that, it's the problem is this: women want responsibility. They want authority with zero responsibility. They want to be able to dictate how the relationship goes. They want to tell their man what to do. They want to be a boss ass bitch, but they don't want to sit there and have the responsibility of protecting the household if five mass intruders break in. Or if the power goes out and you got to go out and take out the trash or mow the lawn, whatever. Like a lot of women don't want to do that oh, shit. Which is true. I, I'm a little right. different because I didn't really grow up with men. So I have that ten and that's the problem. tendency of masculinity in me where and I don't have problem. no problem, you know, finding ways to protect my home or cutting the grass and things like but that. What did I say earlier? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did I say earlier? Just because you can fit a, a round peg into a square hole does not mean does it's mean, optimal for the situation. I know. You get the job done. But you are never going to get it done to the level of efficiency Which that I a agree. man is going to do. And I completely agree about that. But it's like I feel like sometimes men think, oh, when I'm providing, it's like a really dictatorship in a way. No, like, it's not that. Hold on. Andrew, that's how I head. feel sometimes. You guys are ashamed to be women. That's the real problem. Modern day women are ashamed to have children, to be pregnant, to caretake the home. To raise the next generation of people, yeah. they are not proud Who of it. Said that? I actually it's, want. It's because, hold on, let me because women shame women, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I if I tell, kids. if I told, if I sat on this podcast, which I have, 
And I've said like, oh, it's okay if my man steps out on me as long as I'm his main woman. I get a lot of crap when I go home. I get a lot of crap from my friends, my girlfriends, my my aunts, my 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 family because there's that's like, oh, you can't let a man like have dictatorship over you. You can't let a man control you. I'm like, that's not at all what I'm saying. Yeah, the the, the reality is this. We've interviewed hundreds of women now yeah. from all different walks of life. Yeah, right here in Miami. And what I've come to realize with many modern day women, especially raised in the West and especially from fatherless households is women want to compete with men and they're ashamed of being a woman. They want to be able to say, I got my own job. I pay my own bills. I do all this other shit. Cool. Fantastic. But you shouldn't be bragging about that. That's like me coming up to you on a date. Hey, I got an extensive line of Jimmy's Chew shoes. <laughs> I got more Gucci bags than you. I'm way more fleek than you. You'd look at me like, what the fuck? I don't give a shit about your ability to dress well. Okay, we don't give a shit about your ability to provide. But why is it crazy when I say it that way, but when you when we say it to you guys it's back, it's like crazy. misogyny. It's simply this. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's simply this. The things that you guys value are not the same things that we value. We are opposites and we are different. Of we course. are better at certain things. On this podcast, right, we've been talking about the things that men do really well. Let's talk about what the what women do really well. Because you guys tend to forget about the things you guys do really well. You guys are socially superior to us, right? Same thing. I said 20,000 men versus 20,000 women going into war. But Andrew, you used a great analogy last time. Let's say I can put my kid in an all-guy run daycare or an all-female run daycare. Where are you going to put them kids? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But here's the thing. Women never pat themselves on the back for being women. Never pat yourself on the back. If, if a girl go, st- stands up and says, I want to be a stay-at-home mom, all the women are going to look at her like, Exactly. Meanwhile, guys like us sure. are applauding. They're like, "Fuck yeah, that's what you're put on earth to do." You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. if a guy says, "I want to be a stay at home dad," you should clown him, motherfucker. Your job is to create yeah. the security. The woman's job is to create life and to raise that life. Men and women are very different, and we're good at different things. And we should be using our skills to complement each other. But women want to sit here and be men so bad. Ah, da, da, I'm a alpha female. I'm do this and all that. That's fine. I if you saying. want to have male tendencies, you're absolutely within your right to have a career, make money, to, become though. successful. But do not expect a man that's successful, that makes the same money you do, the same security you do, to want you. Because that is equivalent of you making a lot of money, being successful, tell, and me telling you, hey, I dress really good. I'm a pretty boy. Take, Let's go on a date. You want to pay half on this shit? You're going to look at me like, uh, like, no. Nope. But why is it when a guy has standards that are opposite from what you are, it's an issue. It's crazy. Come I on. mean, I don't have no issue. Not you, not you, not you. But in but general. I'm saying in general, yeah. I get where you're coming from. I was just saying, like, just watching different podcasts, things like that. Guys feel a certain entitlement and then they want to turn around. Okay, we can provide. We do all this, this, and the it's third. And then it's just like. It's, it's responsibility. I mean, it is a responsibility. But when I say, like, entitlement, meaning that it's like they don't really know how to connect to the woman that they're trying to lead and then okay i'm giving you the house i'm giving you this i'm giving you the space to be the woman that you are but then you're also degrading that woman you're not allowing her to there's, be there, who she is in exactly. reality no 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 Listen, you're not supporting there's an her emotional nothing. there's an emotional edge to everything it's not trying mm-hmm. this i think what you're trying to say is that it's it's not transactional just because a man can buy a house does not mean you instantly will obey everything he says of course not. It's not transactional. There's an emotional edge, right? Yeah. You have to like him. You have to love him. You have to respect him. But my point is, is that there's still overall themes within the relationship. Let's say a relationship has 10 things which need to be done. Five should be done by men. Five should be done by women. And they're completely different things. And in the modern world, men are still trying to do their things for the large part. And many women are ashamed to do their side. That's the point. Many oh, women are ashamed to just say, you know what? My man takes care of the money. And he takes care of our family's future. And I have babies and I love raising my children. And they're ashamed of that. And you really I'm shouldn't sure. be. There's no reason to be ashamed of that. It's a beautiful thing. That's what we're trying to say. Uh, Miss Marine, Thank I you didn't know. want to cut you because you had you were making a point. You said you were 23, you bought the house, uh, or no, sorry, you were younger. You let did you leave the relationship? Yeah. Is that what made you kind of say, eh, fuck this? Yeah, basically. And here's yeah. the thing: there's nothing wrong with that. Like a lot of girls might say, like, oh, you like what? You you scared to be a leader, or whatever. It's I always say it, man, like. Women are not built to be leaders. And if they are in a leadership position with a man, it's just a matter of time since you realize that, man, this guy's a pussy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go get another guy. Mm-hmm. But society lies to you and tells you, you could be a boss bitch. You could do everything a man can do. You are equal to a man. Society lies to you guys and sets you up for failure. The reality is this. You want a strong, masculine, dominant man that's more competent than you, better than you, so that he can provide you security, so that you can raise children because children are how women are fulfilled and the most happy. I don't care what no one says. A woman's pleasure is derived from creating pleasure for others. I'm going to say that again. 
A woman's pleasure is derived from creating pleasure for others, namely her children and her man. That's where women get their fulfillment. You guys are creatures of people. We are creatures of things. So if a woman isn't allowed the ability to create her own creatures and to love said creatures, she ain't going to be happy. Women don't give a fuck about a career. You don't believe me? You know how many PhDs I know? Mm-hmm. How many women that are scientists, mm-hmm. so, uh, lawyers, et cetera, et cetera? See, you, uh-huh, because you know. Mm-hmm. You you entered the professional world. They enter the professional world. As soon as they have a kid, they're like, nah. Nope. My kid is going to take, number one, I'm taking less hours at, at the work. You, hey, uh, my husband's going to work more hours. Fuck that. I want the kids. As soon as you have children, that switch comes in. Bang. Mm-hmm. I'm a mom now. Number That's more instinct. important. Fuck That's my right. career. Men, yeah. however, not, not in every, not in every yeah, case. Yeah, men are, men are. Let me let me continue on. So, men, on the other hand, if they're a sane guy and not a loser, right? I'm assuming you pick the right guy that you marry, right? When he has a child, what's going to happen? He's going to work more hours. Yeah. You're going to want to work less. The He's going to want to work more more hours. Mm-hmm. There are very few things that motivate a man more than a child. I've seen deadbeat mm-hmm. fucking bums that smoked weed every single day, didn't do shit with their life. They knocked up some girl. All of a sudden, they got a job. I've all of a sudden, they're working that. crazy hours. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, they're I taking life seriously. Yo, I got a kid now, man. Mm-hmm. I can't do this shit. Mm-hmm. There is nothing more motiva- motivating than children. Hey, if the guy's ambitious off rip, excellent. But having a kid is that extra kick in the ass. Men and women are different. It's hilarious that women keep want to, wanting to fight it. But a woman's pleasure is almost always derived from a male's pleasure that she's serving and her children, most importantly. Because that man, right, it, it, this is how deep it gets. If the man pleases, uh, sorry, if the woman pleases her man, he's more likely to say. Then that's going to allow her the security to do what? Raise the children. So her security is dependent upon keeping this man happy to protect her. Because remember, before today's day and age with internet and porn and all this other weird shit, mm-hmm. a woman needed a man to survive. How would you, you would not be able to defend yourself from the, the animals, the um, nature, the, the, the wilderness in general. A woman will not be able to fend herself and more importantly, her children without the provisioning and security of a man. That's why women are hardwired. I want to go as tall. I want to go as good looking. I want to go that has muscles. I want to go that has money. I want to, you look for all these security things. Women look for security value. Men look for replication value. Is she hot? And then him, does he have money? If we're going to boil it down. So it's ingrained in us. We can sit here and cap and be like, oh, well, I could do everything a man can do. Get the fuck out of here, bro. The more money a woman makes, all it does is it increase her own innate drive to find a successful man even more. Mm-hmm. And just send an asteroid. Right. <laughs> okay. Is that uh yep. uh anyone comments, uh, questions? Uh, Fuck like, you, Myron. No, it's right. it's actually true because I was raised by a man. My dad raised me uh alone. Like my mom was there. I now live with my, now I live with my mom, but I was raised by a man. And and it's true. Like I'm literally that girl that's like, I don't want to do the stuff that men do. I don't want to do that. Like <laughs> I don't think I'm built for that. I don't want to build a house. And don't be ashamed of saying that either. That's mm-hmm. fine. I don't want to. I can. I don't. I always say that I don't want to even put gas in my car. I always keep saying <laughs> that. Right. I don't want to do Take that. I think I in my that. place, I think you gonna say, mm-hmm. but in my place, I think men should do that. It's a man's place. And I always, my my dad always told me he was like, well, if I was a girl, I would get. Three kids by a rich man and not work no one more day. And I think, yeah, that's true. We have it easy. Like we have it easy. Like we mm. just need to find one man, make kids, and that's it. You gotta we, pick the right one. Yeah, the yeah. right one. That's, that's, that's the only hard part is finding yeah. the right one. The right yeah, one. that's what's mm. basically <laughs> what I was trying like, to say. But it's like if you know, you know, you know, you see a bum, you know who is a bum. <laughs> you know who, who's working hard. Well, hold on. But, I gotta call you out here. Did yeah. you choose the right one? Huh? Did you choose the right one? I didn't. I <laughs> uh, I I thought I and currently I thought I choose the my my husband that I almost got married to because I have a son with him, but I saw he he changed. Like he changed. He got money. He had money. He didn't know how to act with the money. Like mm. he, he lost it. You can say mm. he had money. Mm. He he was disciplined. He got his own money. He he was good, and then he fumbled the bag mm-hmm. completely. So he didn't know how to lead even his own life because how I'm gonna be with a man who how right. I'm gonna be with a man mm. and and be a mother to two kids. I have just one kid. Mm. 
I cannot have two kids that not like he's not my kid. He has to be the man. That's what I think. Okay. That's why it didn't work out. That's true. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Sure. Okay. Um, Miss yep. Cuba, do you have anything else that you want to say? No. No. Okay. She's like, "Fuck you guys." All right, Marine. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. All I was so, gonna say was that. Um, do you agree with us? I guess. Only fans. Uh, I guess I'm like. There's a silver lining because I am. I was an active duty Marine at one point, and mm-hmm. for me, growing up was just like, okay, I just have to get it. Like, um, I guess the lack of my father figure there led me more into a masculine role where I was just like, all right, I'm gonna just do whatever I gotta do to get where I gotta go. And I didn't mind like taking the trash out or doing manly things, whatever yeah. is considered manly. <laughs> um, right. yeah, I've been living by myself do. since yeah, I was yeah, 17. So it's like, I'm very much accustomed to the independent lifestyle where it's like, I don't even know if I ever want to get married again, really, because I'm just so comfortable by myself. And I don't see my purpose as, oh, I'm going to have kids. Like my purpose is to have kids. Like I have so many different lenses, like so many different things I want to do. The child lens is going to clear up very soon. Don't worry. I promise. It's coming. That, no, 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 no. It's, 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 I mean, again, I, 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 I've noticed this with like young, uh, young women, right? Especially like you're, you're probably attractive. when I'm 35. How you're 35? No, I'm saying I no. probably have a kid when I'm 35. Ooh, but right that, now, well, that's that's risky. I'm 23. You know, you know, at 35, I mean, your ability to bring a child to term is like significantly decreased. But, right? Like, see, and if it general, doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. It's but not in general, a carrying problem. a child is risky. Like right. in general, yeah. girls yeah. lose Increases their memory. Build, girls lose hair. Yeah. Girls yeah. get diabetes, so, heart wait. failure. So if you know yeah, that it's that it's dangerous to carry a child in general, wouldn't you want to do it when you're at your peak fertility, so it's not going to fuck you up long term? I mean, it doesn't good. matter whether you're in Oh, no, it matters. Like, in, it, it in really certain matters. ways, it depends on how that person is taking care of their body in reality. You could push you the know? clock a bit. Like, yeah, you could push the clock. But I'm saying just young or old, it really depends on how you really take care of your body. Because 35 and up, though. Are you aware? 35 I mean, and up is yes, a high-risk pregnancy. High risk pregnancy. And then after 30 years old, you, oh, oh, around 80% of your eggs are gone. Yeah, which is true. So I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong. Yeah. I'm just saying in general, for all females, no matter how old you are, it's a risk to carry a child for nine months. If you're not gonna, like it's sorry, risk. my headphones got off. If you're not, if you're not gonna have, <laughs> if you're not gonna have children, if you're not gonna have children, what are you gonna do with your lives? That's a genuine question. Right. Keep, I'm keep us. I mean, a lot of women go around the table. That's a good okay, question. Go ahead. Go we'll around the table. Here. Fine. If I'm not gonna have children. Um, travel, just pursue anything that makes me happy. Um, try to make money. I love traveling, so I would probably just drink pres- co- drink cocktails on the beach. Okay, next <laughs> about the same thing, like travel, focus on my career, things like that. Like my career will become my baby. Right? This is actually yeah. very telling. This is this is this is a good question. All right, go ahead. I'm just gonna be completely honest. I don't know what I would do because that's be my because you want children because it's important. That's been my yeah, that's my dream. That's my goal. Have children. I five. <laughs> you can ask her. I tell her all the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, well, I traveled the world. I've done all those things. Been there, done that. I I want my I want my kids. I want to create my legacy and all that good stuff. I want my mini me's. Oh man, you better hurry up. Yeah. God damn. I know, Mr. Right. You're at yeah. the eighth hour. <laughs> damn. Eleven. Right. What What about uh? What about you? Um, I honestly just want to get right into my career okay that's pretty much it which is what huh which is what that's not who me. just that's, asked me that that's who's... the nigga behind the screen that's chris, oh, I was about... <laughs> chris put the camera on you bro. <laughs> i'm like who's looking yeah. right now i don't see the drunk nigga behind the screen. what do you want to do in life um right now so i go to the university of miami i'm majoring in, in interactive media what i want to do with that is uh build virtual reality simulators for the military and then i'm also minoring in motion pictures i'm interested in acting and shit like that all right Right. Like, yeah. right. Lena, you? if you don't have kids, what are you going to do? Well, or is I'll, that the goal? It's the goal. Because like, I want okay. somebody to take care of me when I'm old. That's the whole thing <laughs> of life. Somebody to take care of you because it's going to change your diapers. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, I want know. kids regardless. Okay. Miss Cuba, what about you? Do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Which is what, what? What would that be? That we're, not, asking, we're asking what, what is it the fuck that you want to do? I'm not saying that I don't want to have kids. But if I decide not to, well, I plan on becoming a doctor. So I'm just my career. Your career. I'm okay. passionate about it. So how old are you? I'm 21. Okay. Wait, you're in med school already? No. no oh, you're no. trying to. Okay, you're gonna go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. You want to be a doctor? What about you? Uh, I, I I have a kid. <laughs> 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 it was the best thing that ever happened to me, and I want more. Yay. Okay. Yay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fresh. Trend. 
What about you? <laughs> what the fuck, nigga? Are you stupid? What happened? Bro, are you stupid, dog? What happened? Nah, he's retarded. Okay. Nah, nah, that's oh. cool. All right, go ahead. Probably similar answers. I probably saw around myself in the most community community that I could if I okay. didn't have that. So you, so you do want, okay, so you don't no, want, ki- do you kids want kids? Do though? you want kids? Or, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. A life without children is is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of whim and don't give That's a second, right. don't give a solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life and you're sitting there by yourself, do you think the fact that you could afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there. My grandmother had nine children because there was my father and and eight more they all had a bunch of kids blah 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 i stood there and i looked at my 93 year old grandmother and there was a room a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman isn't that remarkable that nobody cared about her career nobody asked what job she did nobody asked how many times she went to the club nobody asked if she had time to go to festivals no you had 70 sentient beings including myself full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and 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 a good and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're going to work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54 you're not going to be suicidal alone with a cat, then you're dumb. <laughs> you are dumb. Right I'm not saying you I are dumb. Really Perfect plug here. Right here. Right Invest in Chewy. Yeah, Save yourself from <laughs> <a> heartache. <laughs> Invest in Chewy. 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 Telling you right oh, now. Wow. I'm not Yo, saying I didn't one, want two. kids. Like I'm just saying in general, like for the question. Yeah. If yeah. I had that, if I didn't have any kids, but that's what I'm Not I would having kids would be the worst thing that <laughs> but could possibly happen. I actually happen. do want kids. That's not the problem. I just want to be able to have kids without oh having a self. You know what, Myron? You know what, guys? Fresh, fresh Myron. I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Okay. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I can't handle anymore. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. They're all listening to nothing. I saw your face. I saw your face. I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I They're all listening to me. It's like, bring the asteroid. All these women are sitting there saying, oh, no, I don't want to listen to a man. I don't want kids. So I just want to watch Sex in the City and drink martinis and go on a beach. And what kind of life is that? That's like the worst life. That's not even real. That's who? That's I never said that. Real. I never said I didn't want Oh, now they didn't say it. Everyone. No, I really want to pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Opinion, you can pull it back. The happiest really women on it. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the happiest true. people on earth. I guarantee it. Your this your mothers, true. ask your own mother, do you yeah. regret having me? Literally. She's going to say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so now you're going to sit here and you're going to end your own bloodline? All your ancestors were out there surrounded by saber-toothed fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care <laughs> and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page (laughs) is worth more than ever having children. You're a selfish fuck. Fuck that. You should all have kids. Sorry, Myron. (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) Fresh. I'm done. All the night.